Hello everyone. Good morning. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Is everything with the sound alright? Apparently the intro music was loud. I don't usually st stream to YouTube. I just use the same settings I do for Twitch. <laughs> 200 viewers already. That's a lot. What's up everyone? Good morning. If you're in Europe. Good night if you're in America. Thumbs up to all, thumbs up to all my American viewers who are watching where it's currently between about 1 and 4 a.m. <laughs> And uh, good afternoon or evening to all people in countries like India and Australia and whatnot. Korea, I know Rollercoaster Tycoon is fairly popular in South Korea. So, how you all doing? I have a massive storm here, so hopefully power isn't lost. Well, here's hoping. Tokyo, Japan, hi from Korea. That's cool. You know, I've actually, I've looked in my analytics obviously many times and I've taken a look at all the countries and I think, according to my analytics, I've had a viewer from at least every country. Now that might be VPNs and whatnot, because there have been North Koreans, except Vatican. I'm not sure if, I, I'm not sure if I've seen the Vatican, but I've seen North Koreans, but that might just be VPNs, although who would use North Korea as a VPN? Hello, originally from the Netherlands, but currently living in Edinburgh, Scotland, after three years in Helsinki, Finland. Well, you quite like it up north then. Howdy from Ohio in the States. Oh, hi, oh. <laughs> what is a strip club all night, now I get to watch the stream. <laughs> Those are two very different things, but welcome. <laughs> you in Gelderland. Uh, no, but you probably were talking to the guy with the storm, not me. Any viewers from San Marino? Probably. Maybe someone who was on holiday who's, you know, tuned in once to watch a video or just a San Marino one. Who knows? You know, it, it, even if just one viral video was watched by one San Marino pe person once, that already counts as a viewer from San Marino. It feels weird watching an actual stream given how long I've been watching your VODs for. Yeah, and especially on YouTube, because, like I said, I don't usually stream on YouTube, but this is a big celebration stream, and I want to reach the widest audience possible, so I just do it on YouTube, on the main channel. Usually I stream on Twitch. Any Antarctica viewers? Ah, but that's not a country. So, I don't know what YouTube does with views that come from non-countries. Like, if you're in the middle of the ocean, on a ship or whatever, or you're in Antarctica, how does it count? Or if you're in, like, Birtawil, is it Egypt or Sudan? Or other contested territories? 10 a.m. from Slovenia here. Yep, 10 a.m. here as well. Holy crap, almost 300 viewers. Yes. So, my record for the most viewers ever consistently on a stream is about 700 something. Um, not including raids on Twitch. Which was during my last celebration stream, which I did for 25,000 subs. At which I reached um, 750 or whatever. 700 something. I got like 2200 or 2400 on Twitch once. But that was because I got raided by someone with over 2000 viewers. So that's not really organic. Anyone watching from the upside down? Almost guaranteed that there's someone from Anta uh, Antarctica. Australia. I think Antarctica counts as an individual country for location detection. That makes sense. 1416 Kazakhstan. Oh, that's cool. Someone from Kazakhstan. I don't know a lot about Kazakhstan, but I'm a big speed skating fan, and there's a wonderful uh, 400 meter rink in uh, uh, Nur Sultan. And there are a few can Canadian speed skaters I like. My wife is on a ship in the North Pole now. Oh, that's cool. 10 a.m. Czech Republic. Oh, I like Martina Sablikova. You might know her. One of the best speed skaters ever. And she's Czech. Oh, Stranger Things reference. I haven't watched Stranger Things. I don't watch series. India here. Welcome. Hello from Schiedam. That's 
like sort of a, a satellite city of Rotterdam, right? Fun fact, RCT land is not a signatory of the Geneva Convention, so no need to worry about the consequences of your action. Yeah, there's nothing uh, I need to worry about. I can drown as many people as I like, although that's not very... That doesn't help me beat the scenarios quicker. Hello from Groningen. Hello from not more than a few kilometers away. Uh, Ted Jan Bloemen. Yeah, he is both Dutch and Canadian. I like him very much as well. He uh, has had both the world records on two distances, 5 and 10k. Hello from Sweden. Ah, Niels van der Poel, another S Swedish speed skater who won the Olympics on the 5 and the 10k this year. A lot of speed skaters. <laughs> I don't know how, how much you guys are interested in that, but, uh, but I am. The only thing I do not like about YouTube streams is that I cannot have the video on big and also look at the chat at the same time. Yes, I agree. I don't like that. For me, that's not a problem. I have, like, in the YouTube studio, I have the chat. And my chat is massive. It goes all the way up my screen. So I can read back without scrolling up quite a bit. Hello from the beautiful city of Kampen. I don't know much about Kampen. It's not that far away from me. Um... I've been through it, I believe, on train. I believe if, if I go to the south through Flevoland, I, the train goes through Kampen. I'm not sh exactly sure, though. I'm playing along with you tonight. You're playing along with me. <laughs> Good luck. I don't know your name, Mark, so I assume you're not a speedrunner. So good luck playing along. <laughs> well, let's camp us out. No, that makes sense. When you have two monitors, you can put it in a second window on Twitch. I think it's not possible on YouTube. Oh yeah, the, the pop-out thing. Yeah, I currently have Rollercoaster Tycoon on the monitor on the right and the YouTube stream uh, studio thing on the left. Your YouTubes about this game have been amazing. I'm so glad you just scienced everything out. These videos are everything I've needed. Oh, thank you. Happy you're enjoying them. Hello from Chirac. I don't know... Is that a city or are you trying to make a joke with China and Iraq? How much coffee will you be drinking? I hate coffee. I, I, I have a liter of water, a liter of apple juice and a tap to refill the bottles. <laughs> If I need more, uh, if I need more water. Oh, Jerax, Chicago. Macclesfield, UK. I know quite a few cities in the UK, but I've never heard of Macclesfield. But uh, greetings back. Then it's probably fairly on the small side. Apple juice tap. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I love apple juice. It's good stuff. Good to know I'm not the only one who hates coffee. Oh, you know what's an, you know the thing? I don't like coffee. I don't like tea. My mom thinks that's absolutely bizarre. She thinks it's so bizarre that I don't drink either of them. Lots of people drink either of the two or both. I don't like I don't like both or either or whatever you want to call it. And she she thinks it's so weird. Well, hate tea is a bit of a overstatement. I don't hate tea. I just don't really like it. Like, if I need to drink tea, it's fine. But I don't I don't particularly like it. Coffee, I actively dislike. I mean, tea is just hot water with a little bit of a taste. That's not nice. Marshall confirmed for caffeine hater. Well, I don't drink energy drinks. So, yeah, I don't get a lot of caffeine. Do you like RCT3? Uh... Yeah, it's a good game. You know, Summer Air is my favorite thing about RCT3. It's uh, probably the most well-known piece of music from it. It gives me more nostalgia than any Roller Coaster Tycoon music piece does. Although that might be because I've played Roller Coaster Tycoon so much in recent years that I've gotten desynthesized to it. But still, Uncle Iroh would be so disappointed in you. Yeah, my favorite, uh, my favorite Atla character. Oh well. He would still like me for other stuff, I hope. What's your opinion on the Postal franchise? I don't know what it is. Unless you literally mean the Postal system in the Netherlands, but... If it's a video game franchise, I haven't heard of it. When do you start? Uh, soon. You know, just chatting for a bit and as soon we'll start. So yeah, just a bit of an intro to that. I'm gonna beat all scenarios. There are... 
146. We have 21 in the Roller Coaster Tycoon. Well, 22 if you include Mega Park, but the objective is have fun. So I can use cheats to beat it, but otherwise you can't beat it. So that doesn't count. Then we have 30 in added attractions slash corkscrew follies. Name depends on where you are. Another 30 in loopy landscapes. Then we have 15 in Roller Coaster Tycoon. And this I did in 54 minutes, 56 seconds um, on stream last week. Well, last week, no, a few days ago, and I uploaded it to my YouTube channel. We have another 17 in Wacky Worlds, 14 in Time Twister. Then we have 8 real parks and 11 other parks. And that's all 146. And uh, I've done. I've done personal bests for each of these 8 categories and if you add them together then you get to about 7 hours 8 minutes. So I can take it fairly slow today and still be done within a reasonable time. I would like to be done within 12 hours because that's the limit of livestream that YouTube can automatically archive. Is this a speedrun? Yes and no. I'm going to do it fast, obviously. Um, Otherwise, we won't be done within a reasonable time. But I'm not going to go as fast as possible. I'm going to take it at a reasonable speed. You know, chat a bit with you guys, all that good stuff. If I take it as fast as possible, I will be dead tight at the end. I won't interact much with the chat. Which is fine if it's for, you know, if you're going for a record. But this is just to celebrate 100k subs, by the way. Thank you very much for that. The Rio run was insane. Which one? The 400 hours one? Or the one that was um, 458,000 times faster at 36 seconds? Already at 101k. Yes. It's going to be uh, growing some more. I'm very happy with that. So, I suppose we could get started. You see on the top left, you see this timer. I have eight timers set up, uh, one for every category. I don't have a timer for all categories combined set up. If you want to see how long I've been doing that, you can just look at the time I've been streaming for. Have you got the shiny play button yet? No, I got the notification yesterday that I could order it, which I did. And uh, it will arrive, I don't know, two weeks or whatever. Usually it takes a little bit, you know, it has to be made. All that good stuff. So, I say, let's go. Oh, just to check, you are hearing the sound of the game, right? Just to be sure. The reason I ask is, I never really streamed to YouTube. Last time was a performance art of three hours of drowning guests. That was uh, in November, I believe. Yes, okay, good, thank you. Okay, let's do Forest Frontiers. It has a soft, uh, soft guest gap. It has a goal of 250 guests at the end of year one. Let's go. Okay, I need chocolate log. Um, and then we need this and then that. And then I need to just advertise. That's all. And there we go. That's Forest Frontiers beaten in 27 seconds. That's easy. <laughs> Is this supposed to be an actual speedrun attempt? Um, both yes and no. It will obviously... It will be the first time this, one has, this has ever been done. But I'm not going to go as fast as possible. Okay, now I need to unlock the Junior Coast. So we need 650 guests here. Okay, I think I've just unlocked it. And I need a little bit of path here. So yeah, I'm not going to go as fast as possible. But I'm going to go at a reasonable pace at the start. You know, fairly fast. So that I can take it slow um, later on if I want to. You know, go fast first, take it slow later. Just notice this map is the same as Pacific Pyramids. Yes, and Southern Sands and like 10 other maps. 
which Dirkling figured out. Okay, I'm gonna use this design for the junior. And that's all fine. Now we need to save it. The reason I'm doing this with brown pots, it's not because the scenario uses it. That's a coincidence. The reason is because as far as I know, the brown path is the only path in the entire game that's available in all scenarios. So that's why I use it. Otherwise, I want to build these in a scenario and then I suddenly don't have the scenery available, you know? Okay, I need... I think I need a few more. I do have notes, but so far I don't really need them yet. And we can put one there. Okay, that should be enough. Then we do some mechanics. Well, this is not really muscle memory. My personal best on Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 is only about um, 53 minutes on all 21 scenarios, which may seem fast, but considering the world record is um, 18 minutes, it's not very fast at all. Okay, 650 guests. There we go. Next one. Leafy Lake. Okay, this is where we're gonna get the pre-built for the looping coaster done. So, and you, and you. Do we have it unlocked by now? Probably. Yes, nice. Dude, you have bots. I even put slow chat on. That's why I have mods. Thank you, mods. I put slow chat on so that they can only message once every two seconds. Ah, thank you, Rutger. For the super chat. How much is the game sped up? At maximum speed times 128. Which is quite a lot. Um, Alright, need to launch it without passing station. Launch speed doesn't really matter. And then we're going to save it with scenery. Alright. Perfect. Now we just need a few of these fellas. So, the reason I'm using quite a long queue line is that guests can be stored in it. That way you need fewer rides to get the same amount of guests. So, five should be enough. So now I just need to advertise again. And I need money. Luckily I have a very high loan here. There we go. Twelve weeks. 12 weeks, 12 weeks, and then we can do that, Get a few of those, oh well, that was easy, 153, diamond heights, all we need here is a bunch of looping coasters, we don't have the corkscrew available, do we now, so I can't build that design yet, you can still see their message as they put it in their username, yeah, like, there's not much I can do about it. The only thing I could do is make this chat subscriber only. But that's not a thing I want to do. So I don't know how many of these I need, by the way. The goal is here, like, 200k park value, something like that. Um, will this be enough? Let's see. Yes, it will. That was easy. What's your projected time for the whole run? I try, I will, probably like 11 hours is something I will try to achieve. I don't need to be much faster. I could be faster, I think. But I don't need to. Okay, now this is one of these things. You have to be careful in these RST1 scenarios where there is already an empty price. To make sure to set that to zero. Otherwise you will have problems with guests not wanting to pay for the default Ticket price for the rides, then don't go on the rides, they leave the park. And you have all kind of problems with that. Alright. And... Now the downside is that it's a little bit bigger now with the extra queue line. Usually you just have the same exit path and just one tile of queue line. But I think it's overall an improvement. Obviously if you're running just Rollercoaster Tycoon 1, I think you don't need it. 
but I'm running Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 as well, and you have a quite a few ones with very high goals, guest goals, and there you absolutely need it. All right. And this one. And then we can speed up again. Take a drink. Oops. It wasn't quite enough. I need to renew the ads. Once I manage to screw the cap onto my bottle. All right. There we go again. And that one. Almost a thousand. There we go. You're starting extreme heights on mobile. Good luck. Bumbly Beach, 750 guests. I think we unlocked a junior here. I haven't, still haven't looked at my notes. I know these by heart fairly well. Ladybird trained, yes. So yeah, this could have all been a little bit more efficient if I did stuff like uh, build the path while I was researching. Whoa, is that 70 Canadian dollars? Thank you very much, Kyle. Thank you very, very much. And also, thank you for the $5 uh, pizza pony. Would you propose the nation amount for us to beat before you complete the speedrun? You know, I very much appreciate all the donations. And of course, especially ones like Kyle's. But I don't, at the same time, I don't really want to make you feel guilty for not donating or whatever. So, obviously, I have had figures in my head. Um, considering how much I made last stream and stuff like that, last uh, 25, uh, like 12 hour stream, I've had figures in my head, but I don't really like want to just assume that I will get those. Oh, thank you for another seven, Kyle. Is it me or is the sound we get from these a little bit late? But well, as long as we get them, as long as I acknowledge them, it's fine. Alright, this should this could be enough for 750 guests. I haven't really practiced this enough. I've done I've given it one run through like a month ago. And that's it. But let's see if it is. By the way, do we charge for the entry here? No, we don't. Good. Because we shouldn't. Oh, 500 viewers. Welcome everyone. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Okay. This should be enough staff. And 750 guests. There we go. Is this on Twitch? Um, it shouldn't be. <laughs> thank you for the two bucks, James. And thank you for another seven, Kyle. I didn't use the whole budget at the stripper, so I got to use the rest on you. I'll gladly be your rollercoaster tycoon stripper. Okay, another 750 guest goal. And I think we unlocked the... Uh, looping coaster here so let's see in the meantime I can just build some stalls okay did we uh, not yet all right I'll just do it with now let's let's fast forward a little bit more let's see did we get the looping coaster yes we did awesome I like the looping coaster the junior coaster isn't particularly great uh, mirror. Oh, oops. I misplaced that. Let's uh, place it correctly this time. There we go. How's the weather on the other side of the globe? Well, here it's quite nice, actually. It's going to be about 23 degrees today. Um, so there's nothing for me to complain about. You know, for a streaming day, it's not too hot. Um, obviously... Rain doesn't really matter, although if it rains too hard, you can hear it. Okay, one more. That ought to be enough. And then let's advertise. And that one. And the last one. 
and let's go. And we can hire some staff, which you probably don't really need, but why not? There we go. That's another one done. KT Dreamland, 150k park value. Do we have the corkscrew? No, we don't. Let's see what we unlock. Okay, let's go. Let's get some more money. I want it to rain so hard I can hear it through the stream. Then I will go outside in my underwear. Uh, okay. Not the comment I expected to get. But good luck. It's probably not going to rain today. Greetings from a Dutch guy who's in Spain. Well, greetings back to Spain. Do you think it's possible to beat a scenario using only the income from the toilets? No. I mean, yes. Because there are plenty of scenarios where, you know, you have a loan that can go so high that you don't need any extra income. Okay, that's 150k park value in Katie's Dreamland. So, you know, you have a 100k loan in Six Flags... Um, in Six Flags Magic, uh, well, six, uh, build your own Six Flags Park. So, why would you need any extra income? Okay, let's build a few looping coasters. You see, the funny thing is, the park rating doesn't matter here. So I can just do this. What's the outro music in your videos? It's a remix of Rollercoaster Tycoon Gentle Style. Made by a friend, and uh, it's you can find it on my channel. Or in the description of all my videos. Ha, ah, look at that fused queue line. There's queue lines. Okay, we need a 100k park value. I don't know how many of these this is, but... Can't be too many. Although in the other ones we already started out with uh, some other rides. Okay, let's see if this is enough. Eight of them. It is. Only barely. It's a perfect number. Under the night K. Um Let's see, next one. White Water Park, nine hundred guests. I think we get the looping coaster here. Let's see. Perfect. Nice park, I would like, I would love to visit it. Yeah, this is quite a nice park. I'm not sure if you're responding to this or some comment in the chat, but this is quite a nice park. Lots of lovely water rides. There was a face reveal video. I, yeah, I've revealed my face a few times. Like I posted a photo on Twitter once. I, it's My face is on my Wikipedia page. Um, I've done a face reveal in a video indeed. There's... Oh, no. I just wanted to delete those fences. There we go. Um, any place I can add another one. Yes, I can. Okay. This should be enough for 900 guests. Do we have stalls yet? We don't. And that one's not reachable by the guests. But that's fine. They can want ice cream, but they can't get it. Ha 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 ha. Are you a fan of bullfrog um, games? I don't think I've ever played a single bullfrog game. The peak of the channel was purely beating a scenario with just one tile. Well, a comment on um, one of my videos yesterday gave me another idea about beating scenarios in interesting ways. Okay, that's that one. I think you can see now why the world record for this is only 18 seconds. Like, it's the goals here are so easy. And it's clear that I don't really have this all memorized to the T. Like with positions of rights and how many I need and whatever. And I still easily uh, get a fast time. Like... It's stunning. Okay, do we get the looping coaster here? 18 seconds. Did I say 18 seconds? I meant 18 minutes. Obviously, 18 seconds is not true. 
Um, how much money can we get? Okay, plenty. You should check out Dungeon Keeper. Well, for now I'm quite happy with Rollercoaster Tycoon, GeoGuessr, the occasional Minecraft with friends, and the very occasional Age of Empires with friends. I'm someone who likes to play like a few games a lot in general. Okay, this should be enough. Um, get some stalls going. One of the main reasons you get the stalls going is not for the stalls itself. That also helps to keep the guests in the park. Although, with these low guest goals, it's 800 guests here. You don't really need that. Um, but when you get the stall, you get this advertisement for chips. And that's the one uh, you want. Because ads are overpowered as hell. Okay, let's get to 800 guests. Didn't even need staff. Next one. Carts and coasters. A thousand guests. Alright. Just a few looping coasters. Or is it just ads? Hang on. Let me take a look. Two it just says two sets of shops. So I think we need just ads. This is the first time I looked at my notes. So let's uh, have a good look. Oh, thank you for the 500 Czech Krona. I think that that's it. That's not 500 euros, by the way, for anyone who thinks that. I don't know how much it is. Probably like 50? What do we charge for this? And then we do... Is, are these old? Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's just not charge. That's 20, 30. Okay, so I was quite... Sp no, no, I wasn't, wasn't quite spot on. Thank you anyway. I thought it was like a factor of 10, but maybe that's with like Danish car now or whatever. I'm not sure. Um, more money, please. Okay, let's see if this works. Just ads. Well, and a few shops. Oh, and a few staffs. One of my favorite things from RST1 is guest thinking I already tried out an umbrella. Is that really a thing? Like, there have been a lot... There are a lot of people that think that things that aren't a thing are a thing. Like, I recently got a comment on my guest name cheats video. About some old name cheat that was apparently removed from the game. But I'm pretty sure that that's not true. Okay, let's do Mel's World, 1200 guests. Um, do I need some more path for this? I'm not sure. Honestly, this is going quite swimmingly. I might be on my way to set a personal best. Why is the game so much harder when played as intended? I don't think it's harder when played as intended. I think it's easier when you play as intended. It takes longer, definitely. But, it's... I think it's easier, as you have lots of time to plan out what to do. You don't have to think about, you know, doing it as fast as possible and whatnot. Sure, technically, park intensity bombs and that stuff it does make it a bit easier. So it's not entirely true, what I said. But in general, I think it's still quite easy when you... Uh... Yeah, you know what? There should be enough guests. I just needed a bit more space to connect rides to. Oh, need more money. Thank you for the 750 NT dollars. What's the conversion on that? Uh, but thank you anyway, Jimmy Ma. What's even... What is NT? I don't know that. Oh, uh, 25 bucks. Oh, apparently, by the way, I um, spent too much money and I can't afford all the hats I want. So let's just do 10 weeks instead of 12. Um, oh, and I still don't have the cash. Well, that's fine. Let's go. With a few more Hendermen. Few more staff members. 
Oh, new Taiwan dollars. 1200 guests, will we get there? Almost. Just need a few more weeks of ads. This should be enough. There we go. Next one, Mystic Mountain, 800 guests. Oh yeah, this was an annoying one. Uh, I believe we go for the looping coaster here. Let's see. Do we get it? Yes, we do. Nice. Okay, it's rain. I don't like rain. Yeah, let's not go with the politics angle. We're just here to have a good time, folks. Okay, so you're quite tight on money on this scenario. So I believe what you do is you build a few of these. And then you make money with these. I'm not exactly sure. But I do remember when I practiced it, I had quite a little bit of problems with it. What's the loan? Yeah, only 15k. So... Let's just uh, add the stalls. And then do the ads. I'm just here for the looping coaster. So far, the looping coaster is the absolute star of the game, right? And the corkscrew coaster will make a very good comeback. And possibly even overtake it. I'm not exactly sure. Is the park open? No, it isn't. It's very good to have a park open if you want to... Uh, Make money and stuff. Okay, so... We just need to make money for now. And I think we've done that decently well. Now I need to add some more looping coasters. Which I can add here. Have you ever been inspired by any theme parks you visited in real life not like not inspired for something to do in roller coaster tycoon no thank you for the 20 euros i don't have any crazy currency but might as well join in on the 20 bucks well thank you i appreciate it all if whatever crazy currency or not it is okay is this enough what's even the goal of this scenario i don't know okay 800 guests Let's see, let's wait until we can afford 12 weeks of ads. There we go. You need 7.8k for that if you charge for the rides. If you charge for both, you, if you charge for the entry, you need 8.4k. And if you charge for both, you need 9.2k. No, just 9k. Come on, 800 guests. There we go. And Pacific Pyramids. I believe it's looping time. It's not Morbin time, but looping time. Um, also, might as well. Because that stuff's in the way. There we go. How mature is this as a speedrun? Well, Roller Coaster Tycoon itself isn't super mature. But there have been quite a few different runners. And, you know, there is a little bit of a scene. Um, if you're talking about the run I'm doing... Then I'm literally the first one to ever do it. So that's not mature at all. And there isn't even a category for it. Um, it can be added on speedrun.com as a category. But then there needs to be a complete run first. So that's basically what I'm doing. Not that I did this for that. I just wanted to do this without thinking if it was a category or whatever. But... We need to add it, like, right? I think a sub six hour time is possible. And I'm not going for that. Not today, but I think that, you know, at some point, if I improve all my personal best and whatnot enough, then, yeah, I might be able to do that. Okay, that's specific pyramids. Crumbly Woods, 1200 guests. I believe that's just adds. Uh, hire one mechanic, that's all it says. Oh, thank you for the five bucks. Hot Creamy Fart. What a wonderful name. 
and Nolan on the river. Start drowning against... Pull them out and drown them for real. Hang on, I'm first gonna run the ads. I can easily drown a few guests. We have the time. I think I'm actually on my way for a, a roller coaster tycoon one base game personal best. So yeah, we can drown a few guests. Take them out and drown them again. Have you looked and get any official world records? I have several. If you go to Marcel Dolls, my new second channel, you'll see there are about like 15 or 20 videos that are all either current world records or have been broken in the past few days. Okay, here we need some kind of path that goes down to the water level so that we can place our rides on there. And... Uh, let's do another bit of path. I don't know what we need. We need 600 guests? Something like that. I wonder if Marshall goes to National Monument. Wondering how many looping coasters he can build inside of them. Believe it or not, I'm not as crazy in real life as I am in the game. Okay, let's see. Do we unlock the looping coaster? Yes, we do. You... Like... The looping coaster is available so often in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. It's very clear that it was sort of the, along with the Junior Coaster, the unofficial mascot, like the main roller coaster type of RCT1. And you there. How much loan do we have? Oh, plenty. MYR. Is it some like. It makes me think of either Malaysia. Is that like a Malaysian rupee or something like that? Ruble? No, not ruble. That's Russian. Rupee is Indian. I don't know. But thank you very much, uh, Denver Que. Okay, this should be enough. For whatever the goal is here. And a few stalls. Toilets. Oh, I got it right. Oh, it's a Malaysian ringgit. Yeah, I knew it wasn't rupee, but at least I got the country right. I'm happy with that. I find it so interesting, because on Twitch you don't get to see this, because you first buy the bits. Like, on Twitch, all the donations are um, disguised as bits or as subscriptions. While here, I get to see actually the... Okay, that's that one done. On here, I actually get to see the currency, which is very interesting. Twitch does allow for direct donations. Yeah, but I haven't set that up. Lightning Peaks, which is very annoying as well. Honestly, so far, it hasn't been too bad with the bots, to be honest. Uh, where do I place coasters even? I kind of expect it worse. So, I can't complain too much. Thank you very much to my wonderful mods for uh, no, for keeping the chat safe. Um, and then I think I might need to do some more manual pathing just to fit them around here. This is such an... I mean, it's a good map. It's mountainous. You know, from a gameplay standpoint, this is a great map. But for a speedrun standpoint, this is annoying to place the rides on. Okay, that's four. I'm definitely going to connect this. To there. Although that's expensive as hell. I should go down. Because path supports, for some reason, are the most expensive supports in the entire game. Um, I should already get an ad campaign going. And I should get some stalls going. Um, so that I can do that ad campaign as well. Do we charge for the entry? No, we don't. Good. And now I need to make some money. And I'm not really making money. I think I might need to connect this first. Okay, and then I think we can... 
Can we? Hang on. See through scenery. I'll just alter that a bit. Okay, wonderful. Now we just need to make some money. Do you have staff? Uh, a few. Ah, rain. Oh, hang on. We can make loads of money. If we just... Uh, charge 20. Ha ha ha. Wonderful. Wait, footpath in the way. Oh, no longer. Thank you for the 690. Donzia. I was wondering why 690. And I was like, oh yeah, funny number. <laughs> oh, I don't have the money. Now I do. Let's open them all up. Hang on, the goal isn't year one, right? Because if it's year one, I'm screwed. Now it's year three. Good. Uh, we're almost there. I'll just run the ads for like six weeks or whatever, and that should be enough. Let's see if it is. Easy. Ivory Towers, where we start with some staff, because, uh, yeah, what do we need to do here, actually? Oh, just six looping coasters, well, that's easy. Okay, make this work. Well, oh, thank you for the 20 bucks, mom. <laughs> Yep, that's my mom. Honestly, she's been amazing over the years. Very supportive, not just in YouTube, you know, and everything, but through both good and rough times. But one of the best things is that, you know, there are so many stories, right, of people being afraid to tell their parents or their friends or their brother and sister or whatever that they are a youtuber well not for me i was immediately whenever my video went viral my calculate video i told everyone <laughs> and that it had like 30k views and going or whatever and everyone including my mom was like yeah go for it you know that's fun Okay, I don't know how many guests we need, but we probably get it. Might need to redo the ads again, though. Uh, no, don't need to redo the ads again. Thank you for the five bucks, Nick Gailus. Or Gailus? How much do you make each transaction show on the game? What do you mean? Oh! You probably mean when guests, uh, you probably mean this. Like, when guests are paying for the ride. That's an option in OpenRST2. They stole that from Classic. And it's lovely. Okay, now this one is annoying. Because you can't actually... Uh, um, you can't build, uh, you can't remove the trees here. So... What I'm gonna do is I'm... Hang on, did we just... Did I see the corkscrew? No. I'm gonna unlock a roller coaster. How do you speed up so much? You need to unlock debug options. Um, in the options. Okay, there we go. What I'm just gonna do... I haven't practiced this one enough for this. So what I'm just gonna do... I'm just gonna build a bunch of roller coasters. And then connect them with path. Instead of the other way around. Um, so I can build one here. Because finding the places to build these. Oh, this is fun. All the path there is underground. Uh, look at that. That's neat. That works. What a fun stream to stumble upon at 2 a.m. It's always funny, you, you, presumably, 
you don't I don't know if you'll watch me, but it's be funny if you don't watch me and just randomly find this. Okay, let's just get things on the road already. No, I shouldn't build yeah, I can build one there because trees are in the way anyway. Um yeah guys please do keep it English, you know. I do read Dutch. Obviously I am Dutch. But other people can't. Oh, thank you for the 10 Swiss franc. Uh, Renault Bochel. Okay, that's uh, some money coming in. Uh, don't need that anymore. Whoa! Thank you for the 150 bucks. Bro. Yeah, I was talking about uh, my family earlier. That's my brother. That's a lot. Thank you very much. The Fox brother. Yeah, he's been very supportive as well. So he's great. How can I build my damn rights? Okay, let's connect these up. Maybe I should have done the one with the smaller queue line here. It's a family meeting. Pretty much. Okay, and that one. Thank you for the three New Zealand dollars, Mr. Marmello. Uh, oh my god, how do I connect this properly that way? Then I, there's one more I need to connect, right? Or did I connect them all? Oh yeah, there's one more right there. <laughs> now we just need Daddy Voss. Unfortunately, he passed away uh, however many years ago. It was 2010, so that's 11 and a half years ago now. I do have a stepdad, though. He could come in. He's fantastic as well. So, uh, Mom, if you can get him to come in here and chat, that would be nice. Okay, I need to alter the land. Oh, can't, can't alter the land. This is starting to look like harmonic hills. Uh, okay, you know what? I'll just do that. And I don't have... Oh, I do have money for ads. Okay, let's just run the ads again. Let's see how we get. We need a thousand guests. This is a hell of an annoying scenario. Seven hundred... 800, yes. Oh, we have overcrowding issues though. Um, I'll build some more path. That should solve that. I'm gonna run at normal speed. By the way, this should become a personal best. Uh, my personal best, as I said, is 53 minutes and some seconds. We're about 40 minutes in. And I only have one scenario to go after this. So even at my very slow pace, deliberately, I'm still doing a personal best. Makes sense as I've only ran this once before. But still, okay, let's hire some entertainers as well. Okay, there we go. A thousand. And now Thunder Rock. Thank you for the 20 bucks, Dido. Oh, of course. That's my brother's uh, fiance. Can't stay behind then. Good luck with the stream. Thank you. Okay, one more. Thunder Rock. It feels like we mods are trying to speed turn the removing of people that do not write in English. Yeah, you know, if they if someone does it a lot of time, just give them a timeout. Um, where do we fit this? You know, I have sort of practiced this from the follow-up scenario, which we get to later today, which is Thunder Rocks. Which is, I believe, the exact same Thunder Rock, but then just another one right here. I mean, people talk that, say that uh, Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 has lazy scenarios, but 
Some scenarios in Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 aren't too imaginative either. Especially the like the ones in Rollercoaster Tycoon ones in Rollercoaster Tycoon 1, like the base game are great, but the expansions do have some less good ones, to be honest. Okay, let's see do we charge for the entry? No, good. Alright. Very last time I do ads probably. I believe we need 900 guests. Let's go. Stop. And we're done with Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. The base game in 42 minutes. It hasn't even been an hour and we've already done 21 of the 146 scenarios. And we're very consistent on 569 viewers at the moment. Thank you very much. Bathroom breaks. Yeah, I do need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Just like the guests need to sometime. Can we get 600 viewers? No micropark. Micropark will come later. I think this will be over sooner than expected. Well, like I said, I'm gonna go... A little bit fast at the start so that I can take it slower if I need to later. And if we have some time, I might just build some fun parks in these last ones. Because why not? Afraid to leave for a tree break? And miss five scenarios. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I get it. Just, just put it up on your phone. But uh, while you watch this, I'm quickly going to go to the toilet and I'll be back in a sec. And we're back. Lost 50 viewers over a toilet break. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there's still... No, not five more categories. Seven more categories. That's... Like, there's still a lot left to go. We have 125 scenarios left to go. How much are you charging for your toilet at home? I don't know how much one flush costs in terms of water. I don't know, what would it be? 10 cents, 5 cents? I have no idea. But yeah, that was all Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 scenarios. Not bad. Oh, let's do Mega Park as well, why not? It isn't... Like... This is as close to sandbox as you can get in Roller Coaster Tycoon. And in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. And it's just the Mega Park. By the way, this is the same map as Leafy Lake, uh, which Dirk Link discovered. Do you see this lake? This is Leafy Lake. Um, if I open up Leafy Lake, it's the exact same water. It's the exact same map. Like, they added the big hole somewhere there. But other than that, it's the same map. Like, you have this mountain there, and then this hole is added, and, you know, some other stuff has changed a little bit. But the lake is the exact same. 
And then, you know, somewhere here is the entrance. The timer is stopped as he only has individual times for every list of scenarios. Yes. If you want to look at, you know, the total time, just look at the time I've been streaming for. I feel like I'm going to have a nightmare tonight with Marcel keeping it in the stream by adding a no entry sign to our computers. I could definitely do that. Okay, um, just so that we have beaten this scenario. Uh, where is it? Win scenario. There we go. Um, I think this may disqualify this stream from being a speedrun. Because you can't open the cheat menu during a speedrun. Although this was in a different scenario. So, who knows. I don't care about it being verified. I just want to have fun today. Stop talking Korean, please. Talk in English. You don't need to delete all Korean messages, by the way. Just telling them that please talk in English is fine. One flush is about 7 liters, so approximately 142 flushes is a cubic meter. One cubic meter is 87 cents, which is about 0 0.6 cents per flush. Oh, that's a little bit cheaper than I expected. Alright, um... Back to the menu. It's Japanese. Oh, my bad. I keep assuming Korean because I know Rollercoaster couldn't fairly... Uh, you know, it's fairly popular in Korea. Okay, let's save these splits and then let's open up the next one. Which is Corkscrew Follies. Right? Well, added attractions on mine, but it's the same. Music on the home screen is just amazing. Yeah, is this one or two? Um, let's see. Title sequence. I should be here, of course. Ah, yes, this is one. Oh, I haven't heard this for a while. I've been using one for a long time. This is also very nostalgia. I was wondering about it in the last video. About what? Our Steam 2 music makes it sound haunted. I don't agree, it's very calming. Yeah, I can... I know how to tell apart Korean from Japanese. I just wasn't paying that close attention. You know, in GeoCastle I never confuse Korean for Japanese. Well, not never, but like 99% of the time I can do it. Um, but yeah, I just wasn't paying close attention. Is there a mod that replaces the main music with Roman fanfare music? Not as far as I know, but you could probably do that. Like, of course you can do that, because it's just a music file. You know, just alter the music file. It should be possible. Okay. These are all the 30 scenarios for, from Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 added attractions slash corkscrew follies. By the way, the timer I'm using is called Life Split, and you may have seen it before. It's a very popular speedrun timer. Lots of people use it. And even though Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 are very small speedrun games, they do actually have them. Like, this Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 corkscrew follies is not a thing I typed in myself. I selected it from the options that it had. It doesn't have real parks and other parks. Those are also not categories on speedrun.com. But, so I had to make those myself. But other than that, yeah, it had all this. Wonder if you could set the title screen music to your outro mix. Uh, probably. The music of RCT1 brings back some chills. Yeah, for me it's, like I said, not really nostalgia at the moment. That's a more rollercoaster tycoon 2 and 3. Haven't seen Slime in the chat. Is he even here? I mean, for all, he, for all we know, he has, you know, a life to live. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> like, yeah, he is in a lot of my streams, but he is also just someone with a life. He might have, I don't know, family now, whatever. Okay, um, let's go, shall we start? 
Someone's making some noise in the hall. I don't know if you can hear it. Please talk English, Travis. Alive, what's that? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's go. Whispering... Oops. Nope. Whispering cliffs. Now, what we're going to do here is quite simple. We don't need to open the park. Um, we're going to research thrill rides. Do you live alone or have roommates family? I live alone, but I live in a building with other people. Okay, come on. One more. Or two more. Ah, a few more. So the other people might sometimes make a little bit of noise. Ah, there we go. Launched free fall. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's all we need. Um, and then we go to 86. And then we just place a few of those. That's all we need for the 170k park value. Oh yeah, but before we do that, I need some path. Because I'm going to need this one later. And save with scenery. And we'll do the zero in front of it. And thank you for the 10 bucks, Brian Bultman. Do you have two dots on your eye? That's cool. Congratulations on the 100k and thanks for providing this Saturday's entertainment. Well, happy to oblige. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this freefall and not like a more intense version is, as I said, we're gonna need it later. And might as well build it now. Obviously, if you build a very intense one, you can use that to get... Uh, lot of park value easily. Okay, is this enough? Not quite. We need a few more. I don't need to worry about it being above stuff. Well, the path does have support costs, but if it's high up, that doesn't matter for the freefall itself. It does not have any support costs. Is this enough? Yes, it is. Easy. Next one. Three monkeys park. Four looping coasters, some stalls, and some ads. That's all we need. I know that by heart. These launched free falls are your 13 euro money makers. Yes, they are. The exact same. Oh, whoops. I forgot to split. It's not that it didn't work. I just didn't press the split button. Oh, well. The split isn't really... Huh, the fence screwed that up. The split isn't really, like, to accurately keep my splits. That's not really why I have it there. It's more for you guys to know where I roughly am and what's coming up and all that kind of stuff. Like, this is not going to be a super fast time anyway. So it's fine. There is actually an auto splitter that can work, but I didn't want it to mess up and you know so i didn't do it for this stream i might see if i can get that to work sometime later though because i'm definitely going to keep running after this i really like doing the speed runs now you can't save the price on custom builds unfortunately just like on extreme height you kind of want queue lines um oh, i don't have the money now um you kind of want Q-Line TVs on your Q-Lines, but you can't save those either with the, with the safe design. So that's something you will have to do manually, unfortunately. Also, I don't always want 13 on the free fall. On Ghost Town, I want 5. For reasons that will become apparent when we do Ghost Town, but that won't be until at least a few more hours. Thank you for the 5 bucks, nerdy girl in a fantasy world. Livestream from Marshall Falls is a really good value. Well, thank you. Okay, Canary Mines. Do we have the looping coaster already available? We do not. Well, let's get it then. And in the meantime, let's build a few stalls. Right there. Okay, I think we have unlocked it by now. Let's build some path. 
Just need a little bit of path around here and then I'll be fine. Okay, you know what? I'll increase the slow mode a little bit. Where can I do that? Can I do that? Or can I only determine it before I start the stream? I don't see it as a setting. Maybe I can't do that anymore. Or is it here? Let's see. No, this is just standard settings. Oh yeah, there it is. Slow mode. I'll do it to uh, 5 seconds. That should uh, temper the boss a little bit. Could you make a subscriber only mode? Yes, but I don't want to. I want everyone to be able to chat. Thank you for the 10 bucks. Lick a B. Or I hope that's a correct pronunciation. Or at least close enough. You know, a 5 second slow mo might be a little bit annoying every now and then for one of you, but shouldn't be that big of a problem. It's only 5 seconds. The park looks so messy to start with. I like the way it looks, it looks fun. Yeah, I hate it when streams are subs only. I don't watch YouTube streams often, but I would most likely hate that too. Okay. We're not going to be able to build many looping coasters here anyway on this little section. Okay, and then... I need to go up again. No, this way. I can barely see where we're going. Okay, much better. Then we're going down. And... Okay, that's a full lap. Have we unlocked the looping coaster by now? Oh, we actually haven't. Ha, huh, interesting. Well, let's unlock it. Because I know we'll get it. At some point. Is it really that bad though? You can just click the sub button. Yes, you can just click the sub button. Oh, it's corkscrew time actually. Not looping time. Well, let's build the corkscrew coaster. Uh, we might need some staff as well, but I'll do that later. Oh, and this is not a good place for it, by the way. Um, yes, it's just as easy as clicking subscribe, but it's still a barrier. And that's not a barrier I want to impose on people. It's, it's much easier for people to discover you and to start interacting in a community if you if if you don't need to do any of that. If you don't need to subscribe. And I want it to be as open as possible. I think you were the five bucks, Tuki. Okay, let's save this. Again, use the brown path. The reason I put a zero in front of everyone is every ride is so that I can very quickly access them just by clicking at the top. I don't need to search for them. And especially on the rides like the corkscrew coaster, which have a lot of uh, designs from the game, that takes would take a long time to search every time. Staff, who needs them? Yeah, I'll get staff sometime later. Um, can put one there. Build one there. Yes, I can. And one right there. Um, is that enough? That ah, probably is. Okay, let's get some stuff going. A few mechanics. And lots of... Ah, oh, I don't have the money. Ah, now I do. Love the loan. This goes back to a video I uploaded not too long ago as well. Where um, I said that because you don't have to pay the loan back, you should always take out whatever loan you can. Because it's never a problem. Come on, almost a thousand. Oh, we need more than a thousand apparently. Thought the goal was a thousand. Is it 1300 then? I probably need more rights for that. Is it subs or membership? I mean, membership would be even worse since I don't have that available. So, no one would be able to chat if it was memberships only. Okay, 100 more. Come on. There we go. 
5.37, that's a terrible time for canary mines, but that's fine. I was doing some other stuff in between as well. It's quite odd that every RST1 scenario has 5% loan interest. That is indeed odd, and I don't really know why that is, but it is. Oh, that's already not owned by Park anymore. It's, it's quite confusing. Like, for people who are into it and all that stuff, it's not confusing. But for my mom, it was quite confusing when subscribing on YouTube is free, subscribing on Twitch isn't, and on Twitch, it's like subscribing on YouTube is the same as following on Twitch. So for any people who aren't into that, and, you know, into that community and that language and kind of stuff, it's quite confusing. Um, I think we might need one more cross path here. And there we go. Oh, we need to unlock, I believe, the corkscrew. Let's see. Come on. Okay, that's the bobsled. That's a terrible ride for a micro ride. Same goes for wild mouse. All these three, all these four have a length requirement, which is why they are terrible. Okay, when do we unlock it? There we go. And even the shortest design that would be slightly good, even ignoring the length requirement, would just be longer. So it wouldn't be very good. The corkscrews, yeah, they're overpowered as hell. Okay, one there. Oh, need more money. Hi there, love your vids, best of luck. Why, thank you. Also, with that Forest Frontiers personal best, I have brought down the combined uh, time of all my sections to under 7 hours. Because it was 7 hours 8 minutes, and I set the personal best on Forest Frontiers of 11 minutes. So that's pretty good going. Okay, we're at 560 viewers now. I wonder, can we get to 1100, uh, 1100, 600, that's what I meant, before um, the end of added attractions slash corkscrew volleys? And why thank you for the 20 bucks, Mr. Micus. I do appreciate that. I think I want to get into open RST2 speedrunning. What, in your opinion, is the best scenario to start practicing? Um, I think you should ask the people on the speedrunning Discord about it. It's linked in my latest video, the one where I beat Rollercoaster Coon in under an hour. They can help you. They have lots of tips. And I think, you know, one scenario is often just very short. I think just doing Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 as a whole is probably your best bet. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is also has some interesting ones. Okay, what's the goal of this scenario? I have no idea. Uh, 1200 apparently. Cool. Next one, Funtopia, 1400 guests. But I try to do it realistically. I spent over 50 hours doing like 16 to 18 scenarios. I mean, yeah, if you're doing them re realistically, then obviously you're not going to be as fast as a speedrun. Most of the time I don't speedrun either. Does this include real parks and Panda World? Yes, it does. Um, but we'll get to those at the very end of the stream. So that'll take a while. And... The reason I included those is not necessarily because I thought they would be they needed to be included, although more is always better. But one of the reasons is that I knew that if I didn't include them, there would be some people who would be like, yeah, but you didn't really do all of them, did you? So I might as well include them. Yeah, they're mowing the lawn here, which is terribly inefficient. I think we need some looping coasters here. Or some corkscrews. Well, I can choose. And I always will prefer the corkscrew. I have appreciated this corkscrew version with the 7 tile queue line. I started to appreciate it so much when doing these speedruns. It's so useful. Much more than the 1 tile queue line version. 
Empty airfield's going to be interesting. Yeah, my world record on that has already been beaten. Um, I did 426, someone did 339, I believe. The longest one so far, my longest personal best is Nevermore Park. Which is because you need to make an insane amount of money to be able to afford all the pre-builds that you need, which are at least 1400 meters long. It's truly crazy. My personal best on Nevermore, Mark, Nevermore Park is like 840 or something. Alright. And let's get to the goal. That was easy. 1400 guests, I believe. Okay, we're not quite there yet. Just two more weeks of ads should do the trick. There we go. Awesome. Maybe we didn't even need that. Maybe 20 guests were still on their way to the park. Next, which is Haunted Harbor. Okay, I know we need to research for a long time here. Because we want the corkscrew coaster. Or now looping coaster. And it takes a while before you unlock that. So we might as well fast forward. And build some paths in the meantime. Just keep an eye on when we unlock it. See, I haven't unlocked it quite yet. Still not. Nothing nothing yet nope like i said it's taking a long time a very long time there it is finally i find the fast forwarding satisfying yes so do i hmm i feel like there's something wrong with the park look at the park rating and i think i see it as well lots of pukies that's fine though staff can take care of that Yeah, empty airfield is quite infamous, but it's also, once you get the speedrunning strategy down, not all that difficult. Okay, six of these should be enough. Then I want some of that. Some of that. And that. Uh, we have vandalism as well. Alright, you know what? Lots of handymen. And then, lots of lots of ads, as usual, again. Maybe I should have hired staff before I fast forwarded, just so that the park wouldn't be vandalized. Oh well. We need 900 guests here. And... Oh, I thought we needed 900. I was wrong. We needed 1,200. And Fun Fortress time. I believe it's Looping Coaster time. Uh, do we charge for the entry here? So, most of the scenarios in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, you don't charge for the entrance. But, every now and then, in a few, you do start with a charge for the entrance. Now, why is that a problem? Well, it is a problem. Okay, we need to unlock the looping coaster first. It is a problem because if you charge for the entry, then you um, the guests will not want to pay the two bucks for the looping coaster. Maybe they'll pay it for the first five months, but definitely not afterwards. And if they don't want to pay for the looping coaster, then they don't want to go on the rides and... All that stuff, and then, you know, they leave the park, and that's terrible. Any luck with the bots? Well, we haven't had one since I increased the slow chat to 5 seconds, so it seems to be working. Working good enough, anyway. You know, and if we get a few bots every now and then, that's not the biggest of problems. That's to be expected. On a stream with 500 uh, odd people. So it's fine. Okay, this should be enough. And there. And there. 
We're not old. I did. I expected a joke like that. So this is the reason why I built the path on top of the mountains, on top of the hills. It's so that I can easily build my looping coasters next to it. That's a thing you do need to think about if you do speedruns. Thank you for the 10 bucks. The chills zero zero. Um, where can I build one? There. Uh, I don't have the cash. Oh, lots of money still left. Aren't all people odd because we all have an individual quirks? But if all people are odd, is anyone really odd? That's a question to think about. Okay, now some stalls. Am I the only one who just doesn't like the rain at all in Roller Coaster Tycoon? I could just disable the weather effect, but it's good to know when it's raining. I just don't like it. And especially, like, unless I specifically need the rain to make a point or to illustrate something, I will um, always make sure that I don't have rain in my videos. Like, rain in my videos is just ugly. Good afternoon from Taiwan, it's 5 p.m. here. Good afternoon, back from Taiwan. Back from, back to. So yeah, it's about almost dinner time in that part of the world. So I presumably do have people from that. So I wonder, actually, you know, I was saying, can we reach 600 viewers before... Um, we reach the end of Corkscrew Follies. I don't know if we can, but obviously one thing I wasn't thinking about, the Americans, mostly, apart from Pound Cake, apparently, are asleep. So, and most of my audience is either American, like the continent America, or European. So, starting at like 6 p.m. roughly, all Americans will be awake. So, from that point, uh, I need to split, I can expect the most amount of viewers. Okay, 1500 guests here. I'm gonna do this one with mostly juniors and a few motion sims, believe it or not. <laughs> and already quite a few Americans <laughs> saying that they're awake. Welcome. My night owl friends. How you doing? Florida, I'm reporting. <laughs> so, I wonder, will we get like that many more viewers once the Amer all the Americans are awake? Like, once it's a normal time to be awake in America. I don't judge you for being up this late, by the way. I mean, I welcome it. But I wasn't expecting this many. New Hampshire reporting in. Okay, so for you, it's not necessarily late. For you, it's very early. Um, so for you, it's roughly 5.30 a.m., right? So uh, tell me, do you still need to go to sleep? Or have you already woken up? Um, I forgot who said that, New Hampshire. Or Hampshire. Oh, Tegite. Have you just woken up or... Do you still need to go to bed? I need sleep eventually. Okay, so you haven't gone to bed yet. <laughs> work overnight, so this is normal hours for me. Yeah, obviously, for the people who work night shifts and whatnot, this is normal hours. But most people don't work night shifts, so for most people, this is not normal hours. Although, there's one, you know, there's a very interesting thing. There is, it's going out around on Reddit a few times, a map of the activity. Of internet users around the world. Which is then overlaid. With. Um, oh we have lots of money left still. Which is then overlaid. With like. A dark and a bright part. So you can see where it's light at the moment. Thank you for the five bucks. JSO Havens. It's only 5.30 and it's the weekend. Except a lot of people sleep in. I'm getting ready for work now. Well have fun at work. 
Um, and in Europe, most of the activity was at night, like after 6 p.m. You could see it be very dark red. But in America, mo the activity was much more spread out and never died down as much. Which showed that America, assuming that map is true, obviously, doesn't, like, is much more awake at night and uses the internet much more during the day. Which I think is interesting. And I think in America, overnight jobs are more of a thing than in Europe in general. Um, for example, one example is that, you know, Walmart being open 24-7 and whatnot. That's, in most European towns, that's not a thing. Like, for example, in Groningen here, we have... Um, the second biggest Jumbo in the Netherlands. Jumbo is a supermarket chain. And it just closes at 10 p.m. on every day and 9 p.m. on a Sunday. And it opens at 8 p.m. or 12 p.m. on Sunday. So it's just not, it just doesn't stay open for that long. Walmart's no longer open 24 7, but they have an overnight stocking team. Yeah, we don't. Obviously not everywhere is open 24-7. And the Netherlands does have a few stores that are open 24-7. So, you know, it's not a blanket rule or whatever. Like here in Groningen there are a few night shops. But the big supermarkets, no, generally not. Okay, that's Future World done. And let's do Gentle Glen, which I don't really have a good strategy for. Last time it was a bit... Uh... Well, it went a bit weird, but I still got a PB of about 134 on Loopy Landscapes. So it's fine. We have all the time in the world. Ugh. I do notice that I'm a bit... I'm not as relaxed as I usually am during stream. Maybe that's because it's early. Maybe it's because I am doing a sort of speed run. Maybe it's because there are lots of people... Maybe I'm just a little bit ill. I don't know. I don't feel ill. It's fine. What about little? It felt like you did it without the A. Also, there's bots. So that's not the biggest of problems. Is Marshall down with the sickness? I don't think I am. Um, let's continue there. One of the problems with gentle glands is that you don't have a lot of money. Maybe I should delete all the rights. That would give me a little bit of money but they're also good so i don't know why aren't there any shops that are open 23 55 24 every day because that wouldn't make a lot of sense um yeah this is all good and we connect that here now we're almost about to run out of money again well not quite yet but of course in my head i run out of money when i reach about 8k which is the time which is the money I need for advertisements. Okay, come on. By the way, um, I have already reached my most profitable day on YouTube ever. So, my previous most profitable day was not too long ago. It was in April, I believe. It was when my channel was doing really well. And I was, um, my channel was doing really well. And then I released my How Fast Can You Go video. Which also did really well and was fairly long. So I had a few mid-roll ads. And I made about 310 euros or something in that day on YouTube. And... We've already made more so far just on this stream. So thank you very much for that. My previous record was the previous 12-hour uh, stream. Okay, uh, now ads. We're not going to complete it just yet with these rides. But that's fine. 
We're gonna unlock the looping coaster, then we're gonna build some looping coasters. By the way, guests prefer more gentle rides here. But the looping coaster is gentle, even though it has an inversion. Or are we gonna make it? How many do we need? 1200. Now we're not quite gonna make that. Oh, we haven't unlocked the looping coaster yet. Well, let's just keep fast forwarding. We need to make some more money. And there we go, there's the looping coaster. Okay, I can build one there, that's fine. And another one, come on. That doesn't line up, that's not connected. It looks like it is, but it isn't. But, ah. Okay, you know what, I can just connect this. With Q-Line, apparently. Okay, that should make us enough money. So that we can run all the ads for a long time. Ah, oh, we don't need to run them all the time. Like, eight weeks will be enough. There we go. I'm sure there's a better strategy for Gentle Glen. Although, to be honest, all these scenarios from the Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 expansions haven't been ran all that much. There we go, that's Gentle Glen. Before we end, might as well drown a few guests. Why not? And ruin the park. Hey! Ha ha! We have beaten it! Oh, that's satisfying, all those notifications of guests drowning. That's very satisfying. Next scenario. Jolly Jungle. Ah, this is where we see the launched freefall again. We're gonna need a lot of them. Okay, clearing some trees. It's not absolutely necessary to clear these trees, but you have quite a bit of money in the bank and it's a lot easier to place launched freefalls if you can see better. Should do this in a water scenario. I can do it in uh, Paradise Pier 2. Um, then we need to go here. I'm always surprised by the amount of launched freefalls you need. Because the launched freefall, I ha as I have it, with just the one tile queue line, is quite bad for keeping guests in the park. So you always need more than you expect. But it's also quite cheap, and it is really good at making money. And, because you can charge so much for it, you can actually still charge for the entrance, and they'll still pay the standard two bucks that the launch freefall costs. So, you can run all ads at maximum efficiency, which gets you more guests quicker. Okay, let's quickly unlock it. Okay, that's the twist. That's the go cards. That's the launch freefall. Thank you for the two bucks, Bishop Beater. Can you name a guest 50 50 and drown them? Sure. 50 50. I have the time. There they go. And time for some launch freefalls. And there. And there. By the way, if you're wondering about my hotkeys, I use R to open up the build a ride window. I use A to rotate the rides. Um, T is that. Q is my pause button. F is finances. Um, plus and minus are the standard ones for um, increasing and decreasing the speed. And like F is also the standard one for finances, but for example, pause, I believe doesn't come with a hotkey. And I started using Q like a few years ago and yeah, I'm just used to that now. I'm going to need a lot more free falls than I'm building right now, but this is just to start with. And more path as well, because I believe you need 1600 guests in this park. 
Okay. We're gonna need 9k for all the ads. So I'm gonna stop with building now and I'm going to build the stalls that we need. There we go. Then now it's advertisement time before we open them. And there we go. All the ads. The reason I'm pausing it now is to make sure that um, the that we don't go under. Or, yeah, what am I talking about? That the ads don't get out of sync because it's the 17th of June, which means a week has almost passed. Around the 17th or 18th, we go to the next week, and I don't want them to be out of sync. So fast forward. Some stuff. Now we're charging 30 for the entrance. So we have loads and loads of money. So let's build some more path and whatnot. We're making so much money. And we're also charging two for the free falls. Which is not our biggest income. But it does help a little bit. This is wild. Yeah it's amazing isn't it how, many, how good free falls are. Like I said they're not very good at keeping guests in the park. Which is partly due to the short queue line. I gave them. But they're absolutely amazing at just making money. Okay, I'm going to go this way. And then I'll connect that. Uh, you know what? I can just go over there. Oh, it's quite a bit higher than I thought. And we did it like that. Yeah, the sound is quite wonderful. And there. Uh, launch freefall or go karts for making money. Now the go karts is terrible. It has a terrible throughput. Um, although it's not as bad as like a space ring or whatever. It's not terrible. It's not great either. Oh, thank you for the five bucks. Lethargy. Congrats. Good luck and good night. Well, thank you. And the same to you as well. Uh, well, not the... Only the last one. <laughs> not the first one. I don't have anything to say congrats for. Not terrible, so about 3.6. I don't know that reference. Free falls could cause hyperinflation. They're so good at printing money. Yeah, we could have like some Zimbabwe-like problems. Okay, I think 31 free falls is enough. Let's go again. And some more ads. Kind of terrifying when this is the same screen that plays when an accident happens. Yeah. <laughs> Having fun and an accident. I mean, maybe they are very masochistic and like being in accidents and dying. I love this sound. 1400. 1500. 1585. All right, just need a few more ads. And then we're finished. Okay, 11 weeks, that's fine. Come on. We're stagnating. There we go. Took me 734. Well, I took my time on that. Hydro Hills. Aha. And that is where the corkscrew comes in clutch. And the intense corkscrew. We're going to build that one for the first time here. We don't need to open the park. There we go. Hydro Hills. Yeah, it's a lovely park, isn't it? A few ponds and then a bigger, well, sea or lake or whatever that is. So, this will be our intense corkscrew design. It will be like this. It will be launched very fast and it will go seven laps. Why seven, even though it can go up to 20? It can go up to 20, but we will do only seven. Which is because it can't actually save 
20 laps. It saves whatever number of laps you have, mod 8. So if you have 8 laps, you go to 0, which is 1. If you have 9 laps, you have 1. If you have 10 laps, you get 2 when you rebuild it again. If you have 20 laps, you get 4. So that's why you want 7. It's plenty. By the way, I discovered yesterday... Hey, we have 619 viewers. Nice. Welcome, everyone. Can we get 1,000 sometime today? I would love that. Have to go to work, but enjoy and keep up the great work. Well, thank you for the 333. Grmuffel Um, What I discovered yesterday, which I kind of already knew, is that this version, I'm using an old version, I'm using 0.2.1, actually makes it easier, this park value bomb. You see this intensity rating, 28.64. That is actually only 22 point or 23 point something, about 5 or 6 lower, on the most modern version. Which is because these old versions had a bug that gave way too much extra intensity for the lateral Gs. And that's why these give more park value, so it's a little bit easier. And it's particularly important in, um, in Gravity Gardens. Because there, um, you can't beat it without actually building up a park in the newer version. But in these old versions, with the bug still in it, you can. Just about. Now, for the speedruns, you can use any version of OpenRST2 that you want. I'm not sure about development versions, but at least any official release version. And some have interesting quirks. Like, the main reason I'm... On an old version. Um, is that. It's for lag reasons. If you have a larger park. Then. Uh, having less lag saves a lot of time. Not that we don't like hearing explanations or anything. But seeing the timer count up feels like a wait. I thought you were going for a world record. I mean. I technically am going for a world record. Because. You know. It's the first time someone's ever done this. But I'm mostly just going for a good time. The timer is more like just as a fun indicator. You know, that you know what's coming up. And stuff like that. I'll do a proper world record run for this sometime later. But if I'm so focused. Then. Like that. Then I won't actually be able to talk a lot to the chat. And that's something I do want to do. Okay, here we just need to advertise. That's literally it. According to the notes. And I've also according to me, I've ran this one before. I think Marshall should try to do a low percent run of the base games. What is low percent? Low amount of clicks? Something like that? Oh, uh, oops. Oh, that's a hell of a loan. Okay. At only 1%, we still pay only pay 300 bucks of interest. Come on, 1500. I believe we need 1500. Yes, there we go. Hey, Charles. Thank you for the 5 bucks. Marshall, we need some face cam. I don't even, I don't even have my webcam set up on this computer. That's Charles, one of the founders of the Roller Coaster Tycoon and Friends Discord server, which is where I joined about five years ago. And I learned a lot of my stuff. It was a great community. Probably still is, but I'm not very active there anymore. Only on game night sometimes. Alright, Magic Quarters. Also, the individual run for Corkscrew Follies for this wouldn't count as a world record anyway. Um, because I started with some saved designs. So it doesn't count. Okay, we need 300k park value here, so we just need a few of these babies. Um, one more. Oh, don't have the cash. That's fine. It's kind of unfortunate that you can beat a scenario which looks as nice as this just by doing that. In, well, if you hurry up a bit, you can do it in under a minute. I did 111 now. But, yeah, you can. 
Thank you for the 690 slime. You're not the first one to do the 69. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, that's how you donate money. Good luck today. Thank you. Also, yeah, I saw you earlier. Welcome. Okay, this is fruit farm. We just need a few corkscrew coasters here. And there we go. Maybe Mars, uh, should do another RCT1 and RCT2 room where you actually do more than spam the same coasters right over and over sometime. You know, the problem is if you actually do more, then if you want to do a complete run, it takes absolutely forever. Like at least 24 hours if you want to make some kind of neat park. Like, you're not the first person to say, well, what's the point of this if you're just basing the same ride over and over again? Well, the point is, that's what a speedrun is. It's optimizing. If you don't want to optimize, that's fine. Like, most of the time I don't optimize like this either. That's a lot of fun. That's a more, much more fun way to play in general. But the point of speedruns is doing it fast. And if I don't want to mess up my sleep schedule too much, I'm going to have to complete this in a timely manner. Also, I think I built way more than I need. You only need 1,100 guests and I built like 14 corkscrews. No, thank you for the 420, Max. That's also a funny number. One of the things I appreciate about the number 69 is... Like, obviously, it originally was funny because it's a sex position and whatnot. But nowadays, it's more just funny because it's funny. Uh, whoops, I can't afford these. It's no longer funny because it's a sex thing. It's just funny because it's funny. It's become meta. So we need 1,200 guests. Ah, we probably can get that. Oh, 1,100, never mind. Hi, I did 111 on the previous scenario and 222 on this. Will I do 333 on this one? We'll see. Oh yeah, this one's slightly annoying. First, I'm going to remove all the fences. Because fences will screw up your path. Thank you for the two bucks, Charles. We need some Heartline Coasters. Um, is the Heartline Coaster even a thing in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1? Because remember, I'm not in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 yet. Also, these pots are stupidly expensive. I might build some uh, hardline coasters later. How have I not seen these beautiful scenarios? Um, because you've never played the Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 expansions. In fact, before I started doing this, I had not completed all Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 scenarios at some point. I have now, because I've done a run, you know, test runs of all of them. But this is only the first time. And also, like, the build your own Six Flags parks, I had never completed before. Like, mostly because there was just not really a reason to. Like, the build your own Six Flags parks, I'm not particularly a fan of. If I, I've, I've done them a few times on, like... Um, on streams, but that was always with cheats. Whoops. Two drink stalls. Oh, well, that's fine. I've never completed them without cheats. I have now. Yesterday I did my test run for that. But before that, I had never. Did you build the real rights in the build your own Six Flags parks? Uh, oops, need to open the park. Uh, no, that would take forever. Okay, now we need to start making money. And then I'll build more path. Uh, also, do I have staff? No, I do not. Now I do. Wonderful sounds. Love it. Okay, we have enough money now for the extra corkscrews and whatnot that we need. What six flag sparks would you prefer? The real ones or the ones you made? I mean, I think the answer is kind of obvious. 
And then we just build more corkscrews. I sometimes have the Tetris effect going on when playing RST too long. But with the sounds. What do you mean? Did you hear the RST sounds in everything? I've never heard of the Tetris effect. The sound of money. Oh yeah, I was... Yesterday, I, I after I had stopped doing practice runs... Yesterday, I kept hearing the notification sound in my mind a little bit. Because I have been doing it so much. Okay, is this enough for 1400 guests? Does open RST2 not have the toilet flush sound anymore? It does, but it's, it's quite a bit uh, lower in volume. Which is a good thing. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to pause there. And 1400. There we go. Well, I was quite close to 333 with the 347 on this one. So this reminds me of a thing that used to happen with my job. Um, I used to work in a distribution center for Jumbo. And... We had uh, voice commands, which we worked with. And if you didn't know what to do anymore, uh, you forgot your, the, your what you needed to do, you would say repeat, and it would repeat the last command it gave, which is easy enough. Uh, thank you for the 50 check krona. Y Yiri, is it Yiri? Oh, this reminds me of, oh God. Speed skater called Yiri Kinkle. It's not that's not their actual name, but that's a meme between me and a friend. That speed skater, uh, like Yiri Kinkle, is how I would pronounce it the English way, but that's not how you pronounce it the Czech way. His name. Uh, but thank you anyway. Um, so repeat was the command you would say or herhaal in Dutch, whenever you didn't, whenever you needed to it to repeat the last command. But, and, and that became a thing, you know, if you were somewhere else with your thoughts and you forgot and you needed to know again, or, you know, if you talked to someone for a bit and then you needed to get back to work, you would just say repeat to, you know, see where you're at, what you need to do. And that became such a default response for me to say whenever my thoughts were drifting off, which happened quite frequently... That at some point, if after work, I would come home, um, go sit on the couch and have a drink or whatever, and my mind would wander off, I would just automatically say, herhaal, which is repeat, just as, a, as a default response. Just imagine that, just randomly sit, someone sitting on the couch and just saying, repeat, with no headset on their head or anything. Well, it says Coaster Canyon is the title uh, for this scenario, the name. And we do have 16 roller coasters in the canyon, which I suppose is quite an accurate name then. Uh, oops. I don't think that's quite accessible. YouTube wants me to insert an ad. No, I'm not going to insert an ad here, YouTube. Like... I'm already making enough on this stream just from generous donations. I don't need to annoy people with ads. You know, YouTube even told me this would be a good time to insert an ad. Like one minute after I had started the intro. Like, no, that's just that's just my intro music. That's just I'm not gonna put an ad during that. Oh, that was easy. Greetings from Holland. Greeting. Okay, do you mean the Netherlands or Holland? Thank you for the 30... Something. Elon. I... I, I don't... I've never seen that symbol before. It's not letters I know. And thank you for the 25... Something. Like, is that maybe Zlotty? PLN? Polish Zlotty? 
It's shackles. What's a shackle? Oh, Israeli shackle. That's cool. Israeli. I love that someone from Israel is watching me. Okay, do we have the corkscrew here? Yes, we do. Awesome. Isn't it cool how many people from different countries are watching the stream? Isn't that really cool? Greetings from Thailand. I mean, that's what I mean. Thailand. That's not a country I think about very often, but Thailand. Like, people from just Southeast Asian countries. That's cool. And I love it. Like, I've never been to Thailand, but I think it's a nice country. Bangkok. Uh, how many cities can I name? Phuket. I used to be able to name a few more, but... Is that like someone called Hang Phoi, or is that... No, I think that's a Vietnamese city. And thank you for the 10 bucks, uh, Partridge. I do appreciate that. Okay, time for some corkscrews. And thank you for the 10 bucks. Hey, hey. My best attempt at uh, pronouncing that. Okay, we're gonna mirror this so that we can place another one there. Right there. Perfect. If anyone's watching from Antarctica, we'll know in one hour. <laughs> I don't think anyone is, but that would be nice. Greetings from Switzerland. Well, thank you for the 420 Swiss francs. Hello from New Jersey. Well, that's not as weird, uh, well, not weird. That's not as uncommon a country. But I still appreciate it very much. I don't know much about New Jersey, except that in Futurama, it's often the butt of the joke. Uh, is this enough corkscrews? Uh, we'll see. Let's get some stalls going. Thank you for the 20 bucks, RCT273. I love you. Um, I love you too, as a fan. <laughs> But thank you. Did I just fan zone you, if that's a thing? Oh, we're charging for the entry? No more. That's what I said. Some scenarios you charge for the entry. And that's always a problem. Alright. Now, a fun thing about this scenario is that, you know, the idea is that there's a big rock, well, pyramid where you build all the rides in because it rains a lot and whatnot. Uh, called Thunderstorm Park. But you can't actually build any non tracked rides underground in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. That doesn't work. This freefall that's underground, you can't do that yourself. That's been done. Only Chris Sawyer could do that with development tools. You can't build a merry-go-round underground. The way that you build this underground here is shift, right? But, as I said, shift isn't a thing in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, so you can't do that. You can build track rides underground, because you just start above ground, then you build you know, to underground, and then you do that, you delete the above ground stuff. That works. But other than that, it doesn't work. Alright, Harmonic Hills. Um, my least favorite scenario in all the games. It's not terrible for speedrunning. You just need to unlock the motion sim. And we've already got one. With uh, a saved one with path, which is very useful. Okay, one more I think. Yes, there we go. Now we need to build a bit of path. So, the reason this scenario is annoying, it looks fairly innocent, right? The reason it's annoying is because you can't remove trees, you can't alter the land, and you can't build above tree height. What if you build the platform above the hill, build one tower piece, delete the platform? 
and build the tower down. You can't, you can't delete the platform of a tower. You always start building from the top. So that won't work. I've tried. Because I, I was wondering that as well. But nope. Okay, then this way. I mean, you can see that I'm already struggling with building this path. It's just annoying. Incredibly annoying. Well, there are a few more scenarios where you can't remove trees, like Rainbow Valley, for example, uh, which I beat earlier in Rollercoaster Tycoon 1. But there you can at least build above the tree height. So you can at least, you know, properly build your coasters. Okay, I think this is enough path. Now we just need to fit in a bunch of motion sims. And then that should be enough. Ah, right. We can also build them um, like that next to the path. Didn't think about that when I did it yesterday. But like that. That can work. And like that. Ah, that gives lo lots more space. That's nice. Um, and we need to mirror it. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, that's a bug. I remember that. I don't know what happened there, but you can't mirror this. Oh, well, it's fine. I'll just build it there. And then build some path for the exit. And come on. And that doesn't work. And that works fine. Thank you for the two bucks. Trin, Coke or Die. Lambo or Ferrari, you must choose. Well, I have more with Lamborghinis. Because in racing games... You, in the racing games I've played, you more often have a Lamborghini available than a Ferrari. Like, Need for Speed Most Wanted has, I believe, two different Lamborghinis. And no Ferraris. The scenario where you need to have 10 coasts of at least 7 lengths and 1200 meters. You mean Ghost Town? That's not the hardest for the speedrunning. It's one of the longer ones, but I did it in sub-7 minutes. So, it is doable. Um, and a few more there. They are, motion simulators are quite bad at keeping guests in the bar. Uh, can you stop spamming that? I've seen it now, okay? And, okay, this should be enough. 19 motion sims. Uh, well, might not be enough, but then I'll just build more later. We only have two stalls available, which is not really a problem. Although it does mean I can't advertise for stalls. Which is a little bit unfortunate. So we'll just go shops and stalls. Maximum funding. Okay, I think we've unlocked one by now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, oops, I need staff. There we go. Alright, that's that. Oh, the ads are no longer running. Let's do the ads again. This time we can run the shop ad. And the motion simulators are quite decent for making money. So we do have enough money now. How long must I wait before posting a message of similar content more than once? Like, I've seen it. I commented on it. There's no reason to post it again. Like, unless the conversation comes up again later. But, like, even with slight edit, it's still the same message. Okay, Roman Village. You know, I love this. A lot of these buildings aren't actually made from scenery. It's made from uh, land. Like, I removed all the scenery. It's just made from land. Because you can't stack scenery. Because shift isn't a thing in Rollercoaster Tycoon 1. So, instead, you have a bunch of land options that look like walls and roofs. Although, this is just dirt for the roofs. 
But you do see the brick walls. And later in Terror Town and Urban Jungle, we'll see some proper wall terrain. I always thought that was cool, yeah. And re so did I. And recently, like, I don't know, two years ago or whatever, they got added to OpenRST2. So if you have your RST1 linked, you can now also use them in OpenRST2. Um, and, uh, uh, do I have enough money? Yes, I still do have. For the ads. Come on. Okay, that fits. I can do, I think, two more. Where can we fit them? Yeah, one more. Okay. Open up. And time for ads, baby. That one. All right, let's go. Some handyman. Did you play the mobile version? Yes, on the PC. Classic has a port to PC as well. You can buy it on Steam. And I have it, and sometimes I use it to test out things to see, you know, the parity between OpenRST2 and RST Classic. Alright, there we go. This one's beaten. Next, Swamp Cove. Which we need 1600 guests. Okay, lots of place for corkscrews. Awesome. I love, by the way, that the random color... Um, you know what? Hang on. I'm quickly going to ban some extra words in my chat. So that we don't have the problem with that. I hope that updates for this. Settings... Um, community. Okay, let's add some words. Um, that should be one. Let me see the message. Oh yeah, and that's another one. Okay, there are two words now, which are nude and dating. Um, they're boss, I assume they're not hearing me. You know, those are messages you could cons those are words you could conceivably use in my chat. You can't use them at the moment. Um, you know, we have talked about nude guests before when they are wearing salmon pink clothes and whatnot. Timer is still running, yeah, that's fine. The timer is there just more as a guideline. I'm not going for records. Oh yeah, Max can still say it, because he's a mod. Uh, maybe you guys are able to say it as well, because I don't know how quick that updates the banned words list. Does this have a speedrunner record? Yes, I have the speedrunner record for Corkscrew Follies, actually. Um, but it's not official, because I didn't record it. But yesterday, I did another practice run of Corkscrew Follies... And I got 134. And... Um, the actual speedrunner record is about 148 or something. Uh, I could look it up. So, I have a new record. But like I said, it didn't count because I didn't bother recording it. It was still very shoddy anyway. So, it could be much faster. Like, sub one hour is definitely possible. Oh, crap. Don't have the money. All right, I'll run without it. This is honestly the best speedrun I've ever watched. Well, thank you. Okay. And renew the ads. 
I love that these corkscrews and the looping coasters are very good at making money without you having to change the default price of two bucks. Which makes it so much easier to uh to be able to continuously afford ads. Okay, that was uh Swamp Cove. I already did the split. Adrenaline Heights. Now uh, we need to delete the coaster. We have the corkscrew available here, but we're not going to use it. And you know why not? Because guests prefer more intense rides here. So that means that the corkscrew is entirely useless. Guests won't ride it. It will still increase the soft guest cap, so I suppose not 100% useless. But we need launch three falls here, and as we saw earlier, we're going to need a lot. So in the moment, I'm just in the process of building a lot of path, which I can build launch three falls against. No gentle rides here. There are gentle rides you can make intense enough, I think. If you make them like long enough, like a haunted mansion ride or whatever, I think that's possible. What did he say? I wasn't there. I said that they're not the most difficult for here because you can just spam pre built rides and make lots of money. Although the longest actually is um, Harmonic Hills, which is even more difficult, but um, that, uh, not, did say Harmonic Hills, I meant Nevermore Park. Which, ta is, which is, takes the longest out of all speedruns, at least currently for me. It's probably able to. I think you might be able to do it faster than extreme heights. But I'm not sure. But it's not very difficult. You just need to wait a bit and build some pre-builds. And that just takes a while. Okay. And now I need to build a lot of launch tree falls. How much cash do we have? Oh, that's a lot. Okay, good. I want to watch your stream so bad, but at the same time I have to study for a test. What do I do? Study. I mean, depends on when the test is. Like, if it's in a week, you can probably take a bit of time off now. But if it's Monday, probably not tomorrow, because tomorrow is Sunday. Then you might need to get on that. <laughs> like, I appreciate that you watch me, but... I'm not more important than a test score. I mean, it depends on the test score, of course. If it's not a very important test, then maybe. It also depends. Like, if you study and your grade improves from, like, a 6 to a 7, that's less worth it than it would be, like, from a 4 to a 6. You can always watch the vault afterwards. Yes, assuming I'm able to do this within 12 hours, which it seems like I will, it will easily automatically upload um, just to my YouTube channel, be visible... To just do the main channel. So that's all easy and fine. Oh, thank you for the five bucks. CHD returns. Been laughing on numerous occasions. Here, a good job, chat, and Marcel. Well, thank you. And thank you for the five bucks. Marco, greetings from Friesland. Ah, my sister province. Well, mine, but Groningen's sister province. Greetings back to Friesland. Frisian, which is the official language of Friesland, um, is, as far as I know, incredibly close to English, even closer than um, Dutch is to English. Obviously, there are some languages which are even closer to English, like Scottish, if that is even an official language, um, or maybe some Irish one or Welsh or whatever, but Frisian is incredibly close to English. Uh, I, need, I think I still need more free falls. Like I said, I need a lot of them. Oh, these parts aren't connected. Whoops. That's why I don't like fences. They're very useful if you want to make your path disconnected. 28, is that enough? Uh, we'll see. But they're annoying if you don't want them to be disconnected. 
Oh, Welsh is very different to English. Okay. I don't know too much about languages. Uh, we don't have a drink stall. Well, we don't have a drink stall. Guests are gonna be thirsty. And the last one. We can charge for the entry here as well because we have launched three falls. You want to charge at least six bucks because then if you charge below six bucks, the half price entry isn't as strong. Uh, the ad for that. Now fences, I, I use fences quite a lot if I want to make beautiful parks because they're amazing there. Okay, that's Adrenaline Heights. Then on to Utopia Park. Honestly, I feel like I'm still going quite fast because we're only 1 hour 15 minutes in and we're already more than halfway. Uh, we need a lot of a lot of path here. I think we do unlock the corkscrew. So let's uh, go for that. Let's see. Fast forward. That's not the corkscrew. Neither is that. That is the corkscrew. Of course, one of the reasons I'm doing this faster than before is just because I've practiced more. Like, my first runs were little, like, my previous records were literally, like, my first and second run and whatnot. And thank you for the 10 bucks, GU. Good morning, Marshal. Congratulations on your channel. Keep on doing the great work. I thank you. I will, hopefully. I really enjoy your content that made me rediscover RCT lately. I hope you're having fun playing the game. I love to hear it when people rediscover RCT to due to my content. It happens fairly often. And it's just so fun to hear, you know, that I am the reason that people are playing their favorite childhood game again. You know, that's an amazing thing. And I absolutely love that. And it's just it's just so much fun to hear like in general when people love the things you do. Obviously everyone loves hearing that. But there's a special thing for people like nostalgic memories and whatnot. Okay, will this be enough path? I don't know. It looks like a lot, but the park is quite small, so it's not that much. Okay, and then more. And even more. Uh, that way. RCT3 is okay, but doesn't have the charm of RCT Classic and stuff. Yeah, it, it misses a little bit of the charm, and the graphics have aged not that well. But it's still a great game, RCT3. And I won't have it slandered. Can I build it there? No, I can't. I messed that up. From watching TV from the UK, I know police and wills are known as Hedlu. Hedlu. Ah. I would have no idea. I, I know only of one police thing in Wales. No, it was when Top Gear was in Wales and did police chases. On like some track. That was fun. Top Gear is great. Um, is this enough? Oh, I can still build a few more. There we go. 25k. Some stalls and whatnot. The four standard ones. Um, let's open them all up. 12. Yeah, that's probably enough. Have I missed any Roman fanfare? No, you haven't actually. Um... Oh, it's quite quiet. There we go. Now it's louder. I don't really have a lot of ripe music on during these runs. Uh, and you. And you. No, not you. I need you. Okay, and let's go. Handyman, 
mechanics. How many guests do we need? 1,200, I think. Uh, well, apparently more, because we already have 1,250 and we haven't beaten it yet. So, let's see. My favorite top gear episode is the one from British Leyland. Okay, we need more path. We definitely need more path. Yeah, that was good as well. My favorite Top Gear episode is the Africa special. Where they went to Uganda and surrounding countries. That was like... Really good. Botswana special is good as well. Bolivia special. I mean, most of the specials are really good. Just building a lot of path now. Organ theme. I like the organ theme for one particular reason. And that's what it did to my crazy castle video. It fitted so perfectly during the climax. So I absolutely love it for that. Other than that, I don't particularly like it. Not dislike it, just not a fan necessarily. Okay, this is enough. 1400, 1500, I don't know exactly what the goal is. 1400 apparently. I'm not even into cars, but those men are a joy to watch. Yeah, same. I don't care about cars at all. Ha. Huh. I'm not gonna fix these rides. I do think it's a great idea for a scenario though, but... Yeah, no, I'm not gonna fix them. I'm just gonna delete them. And I'm also going to delete all the path. Because fixing that's a nightmare. And then we're going to build new path. And that way. Oh god. I, I, I do need to delete all the scenery. Because there are fences about. And I don't like fences. 90% construction. 10% is fast forward. Yeah, basically... So, I've had a couple of people comment on the video, like, of the speedrun video on my main channel, like, isn't fast forward cheating and whatnot. Like, it's a separate category, so that's fine. Um, like, I'm not pretending I'm using vanilla, but also, I think vanilla is boring as hell. Like, imagine using vanilla for Amity Airfield. It will take, like... 40 minutes at least to just get the 3,000 guests. Assuming you have no awards, the maximum of guests you can get per month is like 500, which will take six months to get to 3,000. That just takes a long time, which is absolutely fine if you're just, you know, building a park and playing the game. But for speedrunning, that's just boring. There's a lot of time where you just do nothing. So, without OpenRST2, it's just, without the speedup function, for me it's just boring. There are a few people who do it, like for example, ZG's is a Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 vanilla speedrunner. Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 scenarios generally don't need 3,000 guests, so they are a little bit quicker. But yeah, I didn't think it's boring without... Thank you for the 10 bucks, Squid. Thank you for your wonderful work. Well, thank you. Um... Also, there was a post on the Rollercoaster Tycoon subreddit yesterday with someone who had watched my video and had some ideas for how to improve the speedruns and have it not be the spam like I'm doing here. Um, and their idea was basically to force every tracked design, tracked ride design, to be unique. Now, that sounds fun in practice. It sounds like a good idea to make it a little bit more interesting. But in reality, that wouldn't work. And I can tell you exactly why it wouldn't work. I think I need more path here. Um, what I would do, if I had to make all my designs unique, is I would build a few um, straight pieces in between the station and the loop, or corkscrew. And then I would simply build, like, build a lot of the corkscrews 
then alter them a little bit, alter the trade pieces in between, like use banked pieces, use breaks, boosters, um, make the station longer, stuff like that. Then they're technically unique, but not unique enough that it really makes a difference. And it would just be the same, the run, but more boring. And the run is about abusing exploits anyway, because, you know, that's speedrunning for you. Oh, I already beaten it. I didn't even have stalls. Alright. Fiasco Forest. Well, the rides will crash, so let's delete them all. Oh, thank you for the 20 Canadian dollars. Uh, ZX Many. Congrats on the 100k subscribers and thank you so much for all your videos. I oh, thank you. You've got great videos and a super fun game. Got this game in a cereal box as a kid and your videos help my scenario play a lot. Yeah, so that's what I'm shooting for with my videos, you know. I'm not... I don't think that people should optimize everything to hell. But if you just use a little bit of optimization. For example, you start charging 7 bucks for your coasters instead of 3. You know, something like that. Then that already helps you without, like, taking the fun out of it or whatever people call it. And that's sort of the way I play as well when I don't use the price manager plugin. Okay, we need the looping coaster here. Now, this is a little bit of a trickier scenario. Because um, you only have one year to get 900 guests. And you can't advertise. So you need to be a bit careful. Which is fine. But you need to be aware. So first we need to fast forward for a month. Oh, I might as well hire some staff. There we go. Wait, I don't have the corkscrew? Oh, there we go. Oh, the looping coaster. When I was a kid, I would endlessly lose money and couldn't figure out why. Yeah, same. I wasn't great at the game when I was young. And I told that in my 100k video as well. Like, when I started playing Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 a lot again, um, I was, like 2016, I was decent, but I wasn't great. Like, I had to look up plenty of tutorials still. Because I just didn't know how to make money and stuff. I kept building way too massive rides that were way too expensive. That was one of my main problems. I remember failing Fungus Woods over and over because I just couldn't make money. Okay, I don't think this is enough yet, but it will be enough for now. And then I'll build some more now. So we need at least nine to get the soft gas cap. But presumably a few more would be better. I love that some of my paths are just randomly intersected with queue lines that were still there. Um, I'll connect that there. Oh, we have plenty of space here. Oh, but no money. Uh, let's open them. Open you. 14 rides. Plenty. Next is Pickle Park, which gave me a bit of problems last time. I almost failed it. I got like within a but like a month away from the deadline, I got the amount of guests. And the problem was overcrowding. So I'm gonna need lots of paths here. Um what rides do we have? Okay, we need to unlock some rides. There we go. Your videos on park value bombs and the soft gas cap have improved my gameplay. I think the one on the soft gas cap, like the park value bomb is a bit cheesy. I still like the video, of course. Uh, but that's a bit cheesy. The soft gas cap, I think, is very more useful for less cheesy play. Because there, it's, it's actually about, you know, how the game calculates how many guests should be in the park. And a lot of that stuff. Okay, I think we unlocked the corkscrew here at some point, by the way. 
mine trains, mouse cars, bobsleigh, cars coaster trains. There we go. By the way, another interesting thing about Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 is that instead of saying corkscrew coaster or vertical drop coaster, it will say you unlock corkscrew coaster trains and six seater twister trains, which are the vertical drop trains. And if you watch my empty airfield record video, you can see that I was a bit confused by that. So actually, that's not just Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, then, that's also Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 in this version. Because empty airfield is RCT2. Have you ever played Sim Theme Park? No. I've never played uh, an original Sims game. I've played Sim City, but I believe that is not an actual Sims game. Okay, I think this is enough path, and path is not cheap either. Okay, that's a connection. How much money can we loan? Oh, that's plenty. You're doing the Time Twister expansion? Yes, I'm doing them all. Okay, that's the stalls. Is the park open? Yes, it is, now. Sim City was the very first Sim game. Didn't The Sims 1 come like way before Sim City? Sim City has. Or, well, no, not be. No, of course not. Um, Sims 1 didn't come before. I was thinking of SimCity 3. Or 3000. Um, thank you for the 10 bucks, Daniel Lamado. Hi from Berlin. Hi back to Berlin. Never been to Berlin. Been to Germany a few times. But never to Berlin. Don't know all that much about it. I know they have like a famous TV tower and the Brandenburger Tour. That's about it. Yeah, SimCity 3000 had an amazing soundtrack. SimCity 4 as well. SimCity 2K. Yeah, I never played that. I started on SimCity 3000. But I never knew that SimCity came before The Sims. That's rather interesting. Um, as far as I know, SimCity 4 is the last good SimCity game. But that might also just be nostalgia speaking. So, can't be relied too much on that. I believe, let me just check, we have no ads in this scenario. That's right. So, just need to build a lot of corkscrews. Just to store guests on. Alright, that should be enough. 18, we only need 1200 guests, right? 1400 guests. Okay, there's still enough because we have a soft guest cap of 1800 now. Let's hire lots of handymen. And let's have some stalls on this side of the park. Alright. And then I might as well build some extra paths to prevent overcrowding and whatnot. A path this way. Love the sound. Okay, we're stagnating at the moment. So, I think we need some more. I have enough money now. I have 49k. Oh, uh, up again. Need to go up some more. Oh, there's a, I need to go up a lot. What's your favorite roller coaster tycoon one scenario? Um, probably Diamond Heights. I absolutely love that scenario. You know what? I'm gonna build Liberty Loop. We have plenty of cash anyway. Awesome. All right, will this get us to? Or are they leaving because they can't afford the rights anymore? Okay, the guest count isn't increasing. That's worrying, though. I had this problem when I practiced this um, yesterday as well. Like, 
I almost failed it. And I don't know why it's increased. It's not that... Like, the problem is obviously not... With... Um, with the overcrowding. Because you can clearly see there is no overcrowding. Maybe... I don't know what the problem is. Maybe they're poor? Hang on. Are they running out of money? Oh, they're running out of cash. Well, I know what to do then. Oh, thank you for the two bucks, Wolverill12. SimCity has one of my favorite soundtracks. It is rather lovely. They're not paying for the entry, are they? No. They're just running out of cash, which means I need to... Make a few of these free. That's an annoying problem. But this should give us the solution. But are they that poor when they come into the game? Or into the park? Does this work? Yes, it starts increasing again. No, it doesn't. Maybe that's because guests are still leaving. We don't have that much time anymore. All my rights are free. Well, not all of them yet, but I'm going to make them all free. You. And you. I'm going to make all the stalls free as well. I need everything to be free. Uh, same price, same price. Is this one free already? Now it is. Okay, this one should get us more guests now, right? Yes, there we go. So I never expected that to be a problem, even though we were only charging two. Well, that took us eight minutes, 26 seconds. Okay, giggle downs. Oh, this is a bit annoying because it's difficult to place the right. But other than that, it's not that difficult. And much how is it going? Well, it's going pretty well. We just had a difficult scenario, but we'll be fine. Okay, if I just do this, then I can build rights on either side, probably. That's a good idea. I'm gonna build looping rights here, by the way. Do we need to unlock it still? No, we don't. Good. I only know this scenario from the game's intro. Yeah, it's one of those scenarios, like a lot of the expansion scenarios are ones that are just not played a lot. Okay, actually, if I stay one higher here, I think I might be able to build a right there. Um, or maybe that's still too low? Yeah, I think that might still be too low. Oh well. That at least connects to there. And we... Well, let's just build a few rights. Okay, another one there. I think RST is just a classic game... Released now. What do you mean? I mean, it is a classic game. Don't even really know what you mean with the released. Um, yeah, I can build one there. Need more money. Okay, 13k in the bank. I know, we got six of them. Which is, uh, well, five. Which is enough for now. But it won't be enough to beat the scenario, I'm afraid. Before I pass out, can you put Roman Fanfare on the next ride? I'll put it on this one. There you go. Is it your favorite style? Um, where can we build this? There. And there. Now time for advertisements. Oh yeah, we need to lower the price here from 50 to 0. And do those four. 
hire some staff. Okay, what's the goal? 1250. Oh, we might actually get there. If we just renew the ads, we only need a few more. I never expected six looping coasters to be enough, but I think it is. I don't have the money for that, that's fine. Yeah, there we go. Mineral park. Okay, that's a, that's a quick one again. Um, we just need to unlock the corkscrew and build a few of those. That's all. That's literally all there is to it. I love it. Beating all the scenarios. You can do it. Yeah, I'm well on my way. Like, this is going very well. We're going to take about two hours for this one. Um, oh, we only needed 100k. I have more than 200k. Like, we only have three more to go. So, we're well on our way to a great time. Okay, coaster crazy. So, this is the first scenario we've encountered today. Where we need to build... 10 coasters with a certain excitement rating. Oh, forgot to split. Whoops. My bad. Thank you. Now, we could do it with just the money we start. Um, it's possible I've done it even. But, we could also actually build a little park. And make lots of money. Okay, have we unlocked the corkscrew yet? We have. And if we just make money, we can just spam pre built coasters that have at least six excitement, because that's the only requirement. And that's much faster, because we can just let the park run at times one to eight speed. And we'll make the money we need. That's very easy. Okay, then open up. Is the park open? Now it is. And let's go. Hire a few staff members. Then we just let it run. We need to put candy file on the right. I'll put it on one of them. Where is it? You can't hear it. Now you can. You can't hear it over the sound of making money. Okay, now it's time to build a few rides. That one. And mouse towers. And flying Dutchman gold mine. Mutant mouse or dizzy mouse. Oh, we don't have the cash yet. Okay, we're not quite making as money as fast as I hoped. Come on, there we go. We are making decent money though, about 4,000 a month. It's very, very stable. Would you look at that? We can make some extra money. If we quickly make this 20. As soon as it rains, we're gonna be rich. Okay, let's see. Um, Corkscrew coaster, we'll do Cobra. It's nice and cheap. Um, we'll do Mini Diver. We'll do Liberty Loop. I love Liberty Loop. It's a good cheap coaster for the Twister to get six excitement. And we'll get. What other one shall we get? We'll get Black Panther. And I think we need just one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, two more. Yeah, look at that profit. 2.3k. It's not as drastic. Oh, we got rain again. Or was that one rain spread over two months? I don't know. It's about uh, almost 5k. And we'll get deja vu. And then just one more. That one's expensive. We'll get... 
Uh, you know what? We just get evil vultures. One of these doesn't have six excitement. Let's see which one it is. Is it Cobra? It's not Cobra. It's not Black Panther. It's not Mini Diver. Oh, I never opened Dizzy Mouse. Are there others I didn't open? There we go. Easy. Two more to go. Urban Park. The one where you start with the smallest park, even smaller than Micro Park. Thank you for the five bucks, Fisher Pond. Heading off for the night, thanks for all the entertainment over the years. I'm happy to provide. I dare you to run the toilet flush noise up for one fast forward. I can't turn that up. That's not how that works. Okay, we need to destroy that. And then destroy that. We need to purchase some land. Um. Uh, I know exactly what we need to purchase. First, construction rights. So this might seem very difficult. Uh, whoops. But it's actually not that difficult. All you need to do is buy this bit of land, build some corkscrews in it, and you're golden. We don't have the corkscrew yet, though. Thank you for the two bucks, Max. Rip to those people living next to the park. Yeah, imagine that. Just having a theme park right next to your home. A loud theme park. That would be quite the annoyance. Wow, he's still going. I'm not even close to Don. Like, if you think this is wow, then... You'll be surprised when I will still be going in another five hours from now. Um, I think I can build another one here. Yeah, but then that doesn't fit. If I do this, then it will fit. Okay, nice. Um, I don't have construction rights there. Okay, this isn't the smoothest thing I've ever done. But it works. You can do it. I know I can do it. It just takes a while. Okay, now we go this way. One, two, three. Now we have this all to build the corkscrews. Awesome. I just opened them already. And it's corking time. Nice. And that one. Oh, don't have the cash. It's Morbin time. I knew someone would make that joke. I hate cheaping out on some scenarios, but there's some I genuinely dislike. There are very few I, gener I, I actually actively dislike. Um, but one of them is Harmonic Hills. Did you hear that loud motorcycle drive by? Because I certainly did. I don't like motorcycles. They're loud. Same reason I don't like mopeds. Like, electric mopeds are fine, but... Non-electric mopeds are not fine. Like, they're much better for traffic and whatnot than cars. So, in that, you know... In that case, they're fine, but they make so much noise, much more than your average car. And that's not fine. Like, there are a lot of the time when I record, there's at least one time where I need to redo a line just because a moped has ruined it. You can make it in 12 hours. Yeah, that should definitely be possible. Okay, one more to go in loopy landscapes. So, or added attractions. We're almost on the world record pace, and I'm taking it slow. Uh, thank you for the two bucks. Outweigh Knoll 1080. 100k subscribers, let's go. Yeah, let's go to 200k. 
This is another one where they sneakily already have an entry price, which you need to set to zero. Mopeds in general can just F off. Well, I'm kind of divided because, as I said, they are much better than cars for the environment, for traffic. So they're generally good, but their noise is just annoying. Like, mopeds are much more useful if you need to go like 15, 20 kilometers than a bike. It's faster. Um, you don't sweat as much. I'm unlocking the car school, by the way. It just takes a while. So if you have a moped, it it can be better than cycling if you need to go long distance. There we go. Finally, the corkscrew. It's corking time. So I understand their plays. They're just loud. Which is just annoying. Noise is also a type of contamination. That's true. That's very true. And I think noise is often underestimated as how bad it can be for your health. I've never had noise problems where I lived, but constant noise, like not just bikes made a video on it, uh, you know, instant st increased stress levels and it's just bad for your health, for your mental health as well, but also your physical health. Making laws. We do have noise ordinances in the Netherlands. And our cities are generally fairly quiet. Compared to international standards. But sometimes it's the noise is still a bit annoying. It's not that terrible here though. Just a bit annoying at, at times. Also, we don't tend to live on very large roads. Like... There's a three-lane road near me, and that's considered large here. Most roads in the city are only two lanes, one either direction. And the smaller the road, the less noise you get from them, of course. Okay, that should be 20 for 2,000 guests. Yeah, that should be plenty. 20 is plenty. And there. After this, I'm gonna need some lunch. I've already been at it for three hours. And you. Okay, and we can go. Uh, I think I forgot stalls. That's fine. Let's see if we can do it without stalls. I wonder. Oh. Okay. Let's restart the game. That's fine. Did we have an autosave for that? When was the latest, latest autosave? 12, 4... No, we didn't. For some reason. Last one was... 20 minutes ago. Well, we'll just restart it then. That's fine. It's not a big problem. Like, I've done all scenarios under 10 minutes. So at most, we'll lose 10 minutes. Alright, you know, we'll, we'll just build stalls this time. I don't know what caused that crash. I don't particularly care. It's not a big deal. That's the advantage of the game just... Being able to restart quickly. It's absolutely fine. I would suggest someone to order some food from us so he didn't have to stop his run. Oh, I have food literally on the table next to me, so... Just some... Uh, raisin bread? Like, it's bread with raisins in it. It's krentenbollen, we call them in Dutch. And I think we've unlocked it by now. Yes. Oh, uh, before I forget... Need to make this zero. Um, raisin toast. It's not exactly toast, I think, but it's something like that. They're very easy to eat. You don't need to prepare any. Yeah, I just bought them yesterday. 
Okay. And there. And there. I just built 20 again. Now, here, of course, the crash doesn't, you know, is not a big deal. Because I just restart and I'm not going for the fastest time possible anyway. But imagine this happening at the end of a loopy landscapes or added attractions run with all 30 scenarios. And you're on a world record pace. And then that happens. And as I said, I have no idea what caused it. Um... 16? Why do I have a feeling we have less money than last time? If I build four more, I won't be able to afford the ads, I think. Yeah, well, we'll stick with 18 then. Uh, maybe it's because I lost more money or whatever? I don't know. I don't care. I'm just gonna do the ads. 18 should be enough to get 2k guests as well. Last time I was confusing. I was confused why I wasn't... Oh crap, I did the wrong one. Oh well. I was confused why I wasn't able to beat this scenario. And wasn't, wasn't making money anymore. That was because I didn't lower the entry price to zero. So guests didn't want to pay anymore. So I wasn't making money. Alright. Let's do the correct ads this time. Oh, thank you for the five bucks. Um, Outweigh and all. The fact that we have 600 plus viewers but only 500 likes isn't right. Everyone smash that like button right now. I have never actually sincerely said that. <laughs> sure, if you want to like the stream, some people say it helps, some people say it don't. Uh, if you want to like the stream, go ahead. It's fine. And a few more. There we go. One hour, 56 minutes, 55 seconds, and 80 one hundredths. This is my second best time ever for added attractions. Although, I had to say that, um, obviously, I do start with the pre-builds from the base game. So, it doesn't count like that. Oh, you just got 30 more likes. Nice. Okay, let's save the splits. Such a cute Dutchman. Misspelling doesn't as don'ts. Are oh, you not talking to me? I just joined, but they made a convincing argument, so I smashed it hard. Smashing the like button is fun. You know, I always immediately like every, basically every video I watch on YouTube. It's become a habit. Not because I didn't start doing that when I was a YouTuber. Because I know likes help and whatever. It's not like I do it out of solidarity. It's just because... Like... We forwarded like 2016, 2017. At some point it just... Became a habit for me to just like every YouTube video I watch. And if I then... Don't like it... I will unlike and sometimes dislike. Depending on how much I not like it. But... It's just a habit for me. It's become such a habit... That even if I click on my own videos, I will often like them. It's not like I need the likes. It's not like I get 10 likes and mine is the 11th and it makes a big difference. Alright, time to have some lunch. We are currently 51 scenarios in. So, we're just over a third of the way in. So, if we go keep going at this pace, we'll be about 9 hours. Smash that like button, violate that subscribe button, and make that bell icon regret <laughs> it was never drawn. How many subscribers would you need to build a corking time roller coaster in real life? A lot of a lot of subscribers because that stuff is not cheap. How the hell do you zoom in on the maps window? You don't. You can't. Did you change your autosave frequency after the crash? It should already be at every 5 minutes. But, I know what happened. The autosave only saves 5 minutes after the start of a scenario. 
And if you look back, the last time we took five minutes to beat the scenario was Pickle Park. So, in all the scenarios after, it didn't save. I could do it every minute, but we don't lose a lot of time if we crash, so it's not a big deal. Thank you for the five bucks, Miko Bella. Smash that like button is a great value. It sure is. Let's run the ads again. Because why not? Too fast for all to save. Yeah, I could set it to every minute, but yeah, we don't really need it. There we go. Let's see how many guests we can get by just running the ads while we have lunch. How important are benches? In speedruns? Not. I don't place a single bench or bin in speedruns. In actual play, they can help keep the nausea down, give guests some rest. They are quite useful and look nice. Why don't real life parks abuse micro coasters? They do. Sort of. Like the Cobra design is used in a lot of real parks. This one. It's maybe the most popular design ever. And it's fairly small, so you could see that as abuse of a micro coaster. When you made a video from Matthew, you were clearly zoomed in. Oh, that's just the scaling factor in the options. But does it play Roman fanfare? Yes, it does. There you go. Let me connect that. So that people can actually ride it. There we go. Let's make it a path loop. Uh, whoops. Bam. Have you ever listened to what the guests say? Some people have heard words in it, but I don't know if they're actual words. You might just be hearing things that aren't there from Paradolia. Boomerang coasters are small, cheap... Popular and the parts are ubiquitous. Yeah, I imagine because they're so frequently manufactured all over the world, that makes them cheaper, you know, mass production and whatnot. You know, this is Joffrey Gardens, and I believe this is just a callback to Evergreen Gardens. It's not the exact same map. Well, maybe it is actually. Is it? Hang on. No, it's not, but I thought maybe this would be the same with the island and whatnot. It's not the exact same map, but it's obviously it's a gardens thing again. It's the very end, like the very last scenario of the first expansion. Um you have these like similar garden things. It's not the same, but similar. Evergreen Gardens is way bigger. Is it? I don't think it's that much bigger. So you see, someone here is Moppercon. Someone here is Dora Dora Dora. Um, someone here is... Um, what was it? Bumper Cars. I know someone here is Roller Coaster. I've seen that on Reddit. Yeah, someone here is Little Girl saying, I want cookies. I think it's quite obvious that none of those things are actually said. But you hear them anyway. Come on, have faith. I don't. Will this make the guests happy? All these entertainers. Hello, Pavel Richter.
I think the guests are the equivalent of Simlish, a made up language that sounds like some words. Well, they might be actual words that just are a bit garbled or whatever. Like the recordings are come from somewhere. Let's build a lot of bathrooms here. It's peeing time. It looks like my banning of those words had effect. We haven't had a bot since. Alright. And time for the second cantable. And then I need to quickly go to the bathroom. And then we'll start with the next one. With uh, loopy landscapes. Even though he talks English, it's so obvious that he's Dutch. Yeah, but do keep please it English. Uh, keep it English. I mean, I have an accent. It's funny how much other Dutch people like pointing out that I have an accent. Not everyone who does this Dutch. I don't know if you're Dutch necessarily, but... It's most of the time it's Dutch. It's a Dutch guy who points out that I have a Dutch accent. Almost never someone from another country. Thank you for the 10 bucks, James Glenn. Roman fanfare all day, every day. There are some other good ones as well, like... Uh, Wild West. Really like that. I've only ridden a roller coaster once. It feels as if your body plummets down first and then your soul gets forcefully pulled down. Depending on the ride, I can see that. I can definitely see that. One thing Twitch has is a really good anti-bot algorithm. Yeah, we get super rarely get bots. I think Twitch in, Twitch in general is the better streaming platform. The reason I'm doing this on YouTube is because I want to reach the widest audience with this. You like the Wild West. I don't know if I like the actual Wild West. I've never been. Never been to America. Oh, too many staff. Well, the guests are happy at least. Part rating is perfect. The stream is sponsored by Jeff Bezos. I don't think he needs me saying that Twitch is a better streaming platform than YouTube. I think he already has enough money. And I think that Twitch is already well known enough. Hey, I'm a big fan of your content. Thank you, internet peasant. Is there a consensus that the 3D RCT can suck? No. RCT3 is generally well liked. It's not as good as RCT2, but it's generally fairly well liked. Oh, we don't have money. Yeah, we are losing a lot every month on uh, staff. More than 10k. Although, we do make almost as much in ride revenue, so we don't lose that much money. Right, we only lost 1.2k in September. It's not bad. one point one k in October. Could have been worse. Is there anyone in this tutorial on how to build long, aesthetically pleasing, yet not crappy stats coasters? Um, Brian Andrelzik is quite good at that. Um, I think Fidwell also does similar things. 
uh, maybe Mickelman's Hardhead Station or whatever the channel is called exactly. Um, Dirk Link, obviously. Dirk Link. Why did I forget about Dirk Link? Alright. I'm almost finished with my lunch. Stu is pretty good at making them. He is not... He doesn't do... He, he is like a mix between... Most of Stu's roller coasters are a mix between the corkscrew. The tiny corkscrew. And... Something... Like Colossus. He does them quite efficient, but not... Like as efficient as possible. I wouldn't say most of his coasters are necessarily... The aesthetically pleasing type. Who's the most famous Dutch person in history? Maybe like one of the Williams or something? I don't know. Louis van Gaal or maybe Johan Cruyff or Vincent van, oh, Vincent van Gogh, obviously. Vincent van Gogh. Yeah. William of Orange, yeah, that's, that's what I meant, one of the Williams. Um, other than that, yeah, probably Vincent van Gogh. Rutger Hauer, definitely not. So many more people know about Vincent van Gogh than Rutger Hauer. Rutger Hauer is an actor, by the way. Paul Verhoeven, he's a director, right? I can guarantee you that there are, for example, take America. There will be loads of people who have heard of Vincent van Gogh once or twice. But have no idea who Paul Verhoeven or Rutger Hauer is. Rembrandt. I think van Gogh is slightly more popular than Rembrandt. Okay, we should be making money again now. Let's see. There we go, we made some good money. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, Slanton. I'm glad you liked the tip. Van Gogh is probably 20, 50 times more popular than any other mentions. Well, except Rembrandt. He is not that far away, I think. Alright. That was the last bite of my lunch. Marcia, before I head out, what's the chances of getting a remix on the Roman fan for a song? Probably not very high. You could definitely pay someone to do that. They call him Van Gogh in America. Yeah, but that's just because they don't know how to Dutch. <laughs> Verstappen. Verstappen might be the most well-known current Dutch person alive. Maybe King William Alexander, King Willem Alexander would be above that. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm uh, quickly going to go to the toilet and I'll be back in a minute or so. And we're back. 
Why is the timer stopped? Because we are in between categories. I'm gonna have a little drink. I need my vodka. Oh, it says shake before use. Well, let's give it a shake then. It's funny that whenever I say I'm going to the toilet for a minute, I lose like 30, 40 viewers, even though I'll be back in a minute. It's interesting. Ah, that's some good vodka. Nah, just apple juice. All right. I think it's time to load up Loopy Landscapes. The most famous Dutch family is easily the Flodders. I kind of doubt that. If you don't want to lose viewers, maybe pee in a bottle. I'd rather just go to the toilet like normal. Thank you for the two bucks, Pizza Pony. Would you give your toilet the best toilet award? No. It's not that fancy, it's just a toilet. <laughs> I once was on a camping in Austria when I was seven. And they definitely had a five star toilet. They had music. Um, they had, I believe, heated seats. All that kind of stuff. Very clean. Very large toilet building with lots of stuff and stuff like that. It was great. Okay, this is the last leg of Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. And it's not a 30 scenarios, and especially the challenging parks. Like, you start with 6 beginner parks. You have 5 expert parks, but in between are 19 challenging parks. And they just keep on going. Like, it just keeps on going, keeps on going forever and ever and ever. I think the loopy landscapes and added attraction scenarios are generally a bit boring, to be honest. Like, there are so many of them. Like, the Wacky World stuff and Time Twister, they may be a bit less attention put into the landscapes. But I think that the scenarios themselves are much more interesting. Alright, see ya, James. So... Yeah, I do give them that. Like, the category's all wrong. Like, Skyscrapers is not expert, for example. And Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 base game is fantastic, but added attractions and loopy landscapes are a bit boring. But, uh... Yeah, let's go. Iceberg time. Do we need to unlock the looping coaster? No, we don't. We already have it. So, you can actually see um, Volcania as the next one. I'm not going to do that one without opening the park. I can, but I'm just going to build a few rides, make some money, which means that I can build rides much quicker. Also, I love that it just connects there. You, you can't see that there's a path there, but it is there. Alright. RST2 should have a speech on category of how long before the chat starts discussing toilets after starting a stream. I mean, it's kind of easy to cheat on that, for example, by me saying I go to the toilet. Oh, thank you for the five bucks, Toby Dent. And I recently got back into RCT. Your videos have been a huge help. Oh, thank you. Okay, so my record on this time is two hours and three minutes or something like that. I should be easily able to beat that if I hurried a bit. Uh, obviously it doesn't count for an official world record. I don't even know what the world record is. Because we start with pre-builds, as usual. Oh hey, these ones are free and I can't alter them. That's interesting, because I could alter them in the previous scenarios. In RST1. Maybe it was an actual thing in RST1 as well, that these weren't either or. That the, uh, like that you couldn't do both here. I don't know. 
Uh, I've run the ad, so why not fast forward? There we go, we 900 guests. Uh, we don't need 900 guests, apparently. I got the goal wrong. We need 1250. Okay, we don't have the money. Uh, let's build some more looping coasters then. Is a loop an improvement on the corkscrew? No, but they don't have the corkscrew. That's the entire reason I'm building the loop. Hmm, I remember this one being faster when I practiced it, but oh well. I don't have the cash. Alright. Now I do. The cash number's already going up. Alright, this is enough money. I'll just advertise for five weeks. That should be enough. And the last one. There we go. Plenty. Volcania. Okay, first order of business. Delete most of the path. I'm going to delete there. I'm going to delete there. And then we're going to build some looping coasters. Just to get some money. Uh, yeah, three is enough. Now, yeah, we can't open those yet. Loopy landscapes introduce the choice for paper writer entry. Okay. I didn't know that. Before that, you could always do both, and here you can only do one. Okay. Now we just need that. And the only reason for that is to make money. Now we just need to finish the rides, always an excitement rating of 7. Now you've already seen me do that, without opening the park. And I was planning to do that, but you need to build decently precise for that. And I think, like if you want to go as fast as possible, I think that it's faster to do it like this, so that you can build quicker. And don't need to be as precise. But that's just a thought. I haven't actually practiced that. Okay, now we need to get that way. Lots of notifications. Oh, and a turn. Okay, that should be enough. Awesome. Okay, we have enough cash, I think, now. 34k for four more coasters. Originally, I think you had 25k for uh, five coasters, so this should be easy. Oh, we're having the corner of the park. That way. Um, need to put a twist there. Okay, and we'll just make this one do multiple laps. Uh, three laps will be plenty. Then we simply make it synchronize. Like that. And that should be enough. It is 6.91. We need 6.7, by the way. For those who don't know. I do realize that not having the goals could be a bit annoying. But I couldn't figure out a good way to easily have all the info for all the goals. Like the right goal accessible at all times. So I'll just tell you whatever the goal is. And if you don't know, ask. We're going through the scenarios at quite a rapid pace anyway. So. Whenever you ask... The next one is not far away. Um, okay, I can just do that. And then that. 
You enter the queue electronically using a waterproof wisp wristband. Is that for a water park? I haven't been, <laughs> been concentrating on this, so I've lost a bit out on the discussion in the chat. Um, let's go this way. It's not the most exciting coaster ever. Ah, it's a volcano being universal. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we do that. Okay, we already have an entrance. Question is, can this do two inversions without getting excessive lateral g-forces? Um, two inversions. Let's see. No, it can't. Two inversions are meant to two laps. Okay, one lap. The reason it can't is because it has an unbanked turn right after the station. And I can't add brakes right before it because I can't destroy that. What we can do is simply add a synchronized station. There we go. It's 6.80 now, roughly. How do you speed up days? You need to be in open RST2 for that. Oh, there's the button. And then just plus and minus, or use this. Um, you might need to enable the button in the options somewhere, I'm not sure. Okay, this one we can just finish the ride. And then we can make it do a bunch of laps, and because it's a wooden coaster, that'll work fine. Um, it comes up here. Um... Uh, will a turn like that be fine? We'll find out. Uh, let's see. One train, please. And we're gonna do... Three laps. There we go. 8.5. Okay, next. And last, I believe. Is this one. The Swinging Suspended. Not a coaster type I'm a particularly big fan of. But it'll do. Thank you for the 5 bucks. Ziona. Okay. I'm going to have a big drop here. A massive drop. <laughs> that sounds painful. And then immediately a turn afterwards. Always people asking about the features in Open RST2 and Confusion. Well, from my perspective, everyone and their grandma has known about it for years. Yeah. Like, there are a lot of people who don't know about the Open RST2 features, which obviously makes sense. But for me as well, it's been standard for a long time, so whenever people don't know about it, it's always a bit of a uh, reality check, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. I'm not aligned, am I? Or am I? I think I am aligned. Oh, wonderful. Oh, uh, whoops. I need chain lift here. My bad. There we go. Come on. 6.08. Never. 6.44. Alright, I'll just add... A synchronized station. Like that. And that should be it. There we go. Took almost 8 minutes. Could have been a lot faster. Arid Heights. This is the first scenario. Um, in the game. With no money. So what we're going to do. We're going to give it the extreme height uh, treatment. There we go. Nice and easy. And I think also the first one where we need to keep the park rating above 700. So one thing I like about loopy landscapes is that the goals are generally a bit more creative than the ones in added attractions. The goals here actually are different. They're not just they're not only guest goals. Like you have park value goals, you have these goals where you have no money, you have complete roller coasters goals. 
So I do think Loopy Landscapes is better than added attractions. Path there. So we have no advertising here because we have no money. Does the have fun scenario also not have money? I mean, yes, but it doesn't count because it's a have fun scenario. Um, then we just built a lot of looping coasters. And hire some staff and also, you know, let's build some stalls in the middle. And then we just have it going fast and we'll get to enough rides eventually. And if you start out with like five or six or something like that, the park rating will be fine immediately as well. So you don't have to worry about that. And then that's it. There's nothing particularly difficult about this. Okay, let's open them up. And then let's hire some handyman. That should be enough. And then we just keep it going. Ah, oh, thank you for the 10 bucks. Atonement. Nice so awesome to catch you live and congratulations on the 100k. Well, thank you. Yeah, 101k already now. Okay, we open some more of these. They each give 95 soft guest cap. Now let us drown the guests and discuss the harvest. I can drown them at the end of this scenario. Why not? Now, the laughing sound is a bit haunting, isn't it? I've spent at least 30 hours practicing speedruns over the last week. So, I've heard it a lot. And I'm not tired of it. You can actually hear the toilet flush sound. In the background. Almost there, we need 2,000 guests. There we go. Took just three minutes. Razor rocks. Alright, same approach. We just need to unlock the corkscrew coaster. Make a lot of money, and then we can build our 10 coasters with 6 excitements. Is it 6? 6. 6.7 maybe? That we need. And that's all there is to it. And that one. Have we already unlocked it? No, we haven't. Let's open the park in the meantime. Takes a while. Takes a long while. Come on, give me looping coaster. Still haven't unlocked it. Still haven't unlocked it. We have the hard line though. There we go. Finally. That took a while. Now we build some of these, make some money with them. You know, the standard deal. Nothing special about it. Alright, oh, um. Need some handyman. And let's fast forward. There is no deadline on this scenario, so that's why we can easily do this. We just need to make enough money to build six of uh, the ten pre builds, each with enough excitement. And that's much faster than building your own designs. Like, building your own designs is cheaper, of course, because you can optimize them more. But it also takes longer. And now we can just do mouse towers. Flying Dutchman gold mine. I love that you have these four mild mouse coasts available. Because they're very cheap. Uh, we can do Black Widow. Oh, we don't have the cash yet. $20 umbrellas. Oh yeah, that could help as well. But I don't think we get a lot of rain here. <laughs> Okay, now we have the cash. Let's open them up. Why not? What else shall we build? How about Deja Vu? And we can do Dangle Feet. 
And how about Mini Diver? Don't have the cash, now we do. Is the Flying Dutchman actually Dutch? The coaster was originally built in Wallaby. It's now in somewhere in France, but Wallaby is Dutch, so I suppose a little bit. Do we have 10 already? No, I think we have 9. Yes, we have 9. We need one more. Which will be... No, we already have that one. Let's build this one. Let's go with Harry Plains. With Harry Styles. Harry Plains. There we go. 325. Good luck building 10 custom designs in 3 minutes 25 seconds. Including all the station pieces and whatever you need to do it with just the 25k you start with. That's not going to work. This is much faster. Crater Lake. I don't like Crater Lake. Okay, we need the Junior here. I think we already have it. No, we don't. I really don't like this scenario. But let's do it anyway. Uh, fast forward. I think it's the first one we unlock. Uh, not quite. Second one then. No, also no. That was some kind of extra train. Third one? Nope. Fourth one? No. Sixth one? I can't count. This is going to be the sixth one. Where's my junior? There it is. Finally. In the Legend of the Flying Dutchman, this is a ship, not a person. Yeah. It's not actually a Flying Dutch guy. Okay, I know money will be tight, so I'm going to make this 20. And then it's time for... Well, let's just max out the loan. 22k, which is surprisingly common in loopy landscapes for some reason. I don't suppose there's a plugin that automatically reduces your loan by a certain rate a month. No, there isn't. Unfortunately. I don't like the scenario too much water. It's not the water that makes it that, that like that makes me dislike it. I dislike it purely because it's a bit a bit of an annoying scenario to do in speedrunning. Is there something that classifies climates in RST2? Yes, there are four climates. You have um, cool and wet, which is annoying because you get a lot of rain. Um, and there are a few scenarios in the game which are difficult because of that, like Woodworm Park. Um, you have Hot and Dry, which is basically the opposite, obviously. Do we need to open the park still? Yes, we do. Um, you have Warm and you have Cold, I believe. Just those... Uh, Five, four. Maybe I've like, gotten one slightly wrong. Someone could check. But you have four of them. And the temperature is actually influenced by that. Now, guests don't care about temperature when they're deciding to go on which ride. But for the stall prices they want to pay. For example, they pay more for ice cream when it's above 21 degrees. That does make a difference. Yeah, we need 1300 guests here. Anyway, to rebind extra stuff to click mouse 1 to speed build paths. Not in this version. This version doesn't have a hotkey for building paths. Which is slightly annoying, but if you go up one version, 0.2.2, then you get lots of extra lag. Um, a good example is I tried it with Hyde Park. If I, in this version, if I run Hyde Park at maximum speed, um, immediately without building anything or whatever. I get about 17 FPS, which is still quite decent. If in 0.2.2 I run it at maximum speed, I get 5 FPS. It's such a massive difference. And there are quite a few scenarios like extreme heights, um, fungus woods, um, Amity Airfield, Rainbow Summit, where you're gonna have more guests than like 2000, and you start out with 2069s, 
in Hyde Park. So it's just gonna be annoying. Okay, I need enough money to run all the ads again. There we go. I bet someone with a much better PC will be able to get better times. Um, in those scenarios, yes. Like, in this scenario, it doesn't really matter, because I can still run it at the maximum speed. Um, at the extreme highs, yes, it does make a difference. Although, at some point... Um, you do get the, that PC specs don't matter, and the game itself just can't keep up no matter what. Okay, vertical views. What we do here is... I'm going to have to look at my notes quickly, because this is very specific. Okay, we do make this one 20. We need to make 8k a month here. Then we do mutant mouse. Um, where's the... Oh, on the other side. Which we make, I believe... Oh, we need a dizzy mouse. Okay, let's just make this one 12, and that'll be fine. I built the wrong one. Um, and we need Texas Tubs at a price of 10. And we need Mango Muncher. Okay, I oh, don't have the cash. Mango Muncher we need also at a price of 10. And then that should be enough if we advertise to, in April, make us 8k a month. Okay. Um, advertise. That should be enough. Oh. Shit, we don't have the money for it. Alright, I'll just do... Two weeks then. I hope it's still enough. It is. How much did we actually make? Oh, more than 9k. Easy. Thank you, uh, Xyntrix. Okay, Paradise Pier 2. Which is inspired by Crumbly Woods, I think. All of the bizarre mechanics in this game. Guess not riding coasts in the rain is probably one of the most realistic. Yeah. I mean, there are a few other realistic ones. Like, guess not wanting to pay 20 bucks to go on a merry-go-round. Okay, this one's very easy. I don't know exactly how many guests we need, but... All we need here is just a few looping coasters. And stalls and ads, obviously. Uh, whoops. If that's on flat land, I can very quickly build an extra path piece to connect it. If it's on water, it takes me a little bit longer. Alright. And I think one more will do fine. Okay, let's build a drink stall. And then run the ads. Okay, boat hire. And let's go. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to pause there. Ah, you can hear the toilet. Thank you for the 79 cents. Uh, or penny, I suppose. Matt Poynton. Welcome back, Cringe. Oh, oops. Need to rerun the ads. I wonder if we're gonna fail a scenario today. Oh crap, I don't have the money. Whoops. How many guests do we need? Oh, just 1200. We're already quite close to that. Let me just... Uh, do these ads. That should work. There we go. Now, next is Dragon's Cove, where we need to finish the ride with an excitement of five or 6.6 .6 each. 
Now we're going to do the same as we did before. We're just going to make a lot of money with uh, looping coasters in this case. Which you're going to build here. And uh, you can do Dragon's Cove with just the money you start out with. I have done that. But it's much easier to do it this way. You're doing the stream of streams. No slime to be seen. What do you mean? Slime has been here. He was here. So uh, there was definitely a slime to be seen. Okay. That one. And another one. And we can put one last one on the very end there. Beautiful. And some stalls. Nice. Then open up. Yeah, I know we can't open those. Staff members. And let's go. Uh, open the park. It's always a good idea. And we start making money. Okay, we don't need to research rights. Yeah, there we go. We're making good money. Okay, time to start with this one. Okay, and I want to go some higher. Your browser ran out of memory. That's an inter. I've don't think I've. I don't know if I've ever had that. And helix time. Hell yeah. Ah, whoops. We already have thirty k. And more helix time. Oh, we're too high up. Still too high up. Alright, we'll just do this. And we just do some extra length. Oh, hey. That's where we're making money. I'll put a brake in so that we can easily put on multiple laps without fears of crashing. Oh, hey, that one's crashed. I don't care. Is that our first crash of the day? I think it might just be, you know. We'll make it do three laps. Seven. That's enough. Okay, um, I think we have enough money. I don't need to fast forward anymore. Because uh, we have almost 90k in the bank. Okay, we're gonna go down here a bit. Don't really know what I'm going for, but let's uh, go that way. And then we can add a loop. That's gonna be a lot of positive Gs. And then we need to connect it to there. Um. I think we need to be one more over to that side. I'm gonna put in a break of 64, I'll do fine. All right. And we're gonna make this one go three laps. Not two laps, then all six inversions. Will that do it? Ah, oh, that will give it too much intensity. One lap then. All right, time for a synchronized station. There we go. And then we can later add some scenery and we'll get there. Now it's time for the next one. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, we're gonna go in the ground. No, I don't wanna go that way actually. I wanna go that way. Yes, 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 that's good. Okay, I need to turn that down a bit more. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. 0 0.5 laps. Um, if you can explain to me how that will work, <laughs> I might try it. Oh, this is too high. Alright, we'll just go down like that then. Every time I've done this scenario, like, 
as a speedrun like race. Um, I've done it differently. Like I've never built the swing suspended coaster this way before. Which I think is interesting. Okay, you're in the way. So I'll just get rid of you. Easy. Okay, that ought to do it. Um, we're gonna make it go. I just can't do multiple laps. All right then. Oh, <laughs> it apparently also can't. It's not long enough for a big turn. Oopsie. All right, that should do it. Okay, only six point three. That's not very high. Luckily, we can easily increase that. Like that. And then we're going to do that. You're in the way, so I'll just get rid of you. Sounds extremely sketchy. I know. I'll get rid of you all. Okay. That's a wonderful little turn. That's a very tall drop. It goes from minus 9 to 63. That's a 72 meter drop. If you get rid of us, then you no longer get any money. That's a good point. Okay, I can't figure out where this is. Okay, that's a solution. Just, just remove the entire land. That'll work. Uh, time for a looping. And time to get back to the station. You also can't do multiple laps on this. So one lap will have to do, which is why I gave it a lot of... Uh, a lot of juice in that drop. There we go, 7.25. One more to go. Uh, the looping coaster. Alright, that went this way. Um, then we'll do steep for a bit. Then we'll do turn. And another turn. It's crazy that you can just have these disconnected pieces of chain lift and it just works. That's absolutely madness. But hey, it's very nice. Uh, well, yeah, we'll do some loopings. We have plenty of speed for that here. Okay, let's try to get back to the station. Where is it? Okay, there. Um. Oh, no. Compact inverted coaster is in the way. Okay, I need to be at 7.5 meters. I think if I now put brakes here and then S bend to the right. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's see. 597. Okay, you need to boost as well. Um, where's the start of the station? There. Okay. I can't even see it because that one's outside of the mountain. But promise me. Oh, I, I promise you it works. And this should soon give us everything we need. Uh... Apparently not. Which one isn't high enough? Or did I not open them all? No, I certainly did. Oh, they're all in test mode. There we go. Apparently not. Hang on. Which one's wrong? That one's good. 6.62. That's all we need, right? Uh, looping coaster. Oh, 6.51 only. Hang on. How did it not? Oh, because the station is underground. I'll just, you know, I'll just make it do an extra lap. It'll be fine. There we go. Oh, that took almost 10 minutes. That was not a very fast completion. I've done that much faster in the past. Good night, Park. Congratulations on 100k. Well, thank you, Philip. Rip time. The time is fine. We have all the time in the world. That's why I also practiced a lot. Because 
it means that if I do something slow, like I did, then I still have plenty of time left. You know, if my combined bests was only 11 hours and I try to do it within 12, I would need to be on the top of my game. Now I don't need to be on the top of my game. Um, what coaster do we have? Do we need juniors in Goodnight Park? Yes, apparently we do. Alright, let's do juniors then. Let me guess, the max is 22k? No, 20k this time. Over 69 hours, 69 minutes, 69 seconds. Good luck staying awake in that run. If you stand on the CD, it might crack. What? I don't know what you mean. Also 69 seconds. Oh yeah, that's also not really working. You were on the top of the game. Oh, that's such a, well, a dad joke, I suppose. But for me, that's very far-fetched since my computer doesn't even have a CD drive. Like, when I got my computer made, I didn't bother including a CD drive because I never need one anymore. You know what? Let's do balloons for once. Um, let's get the ads going. Do we charge for the entry here? No, alright, these were always free. Okay, let's get the ads going. And I think I'm gonna need some money, so... I'm gonna put... 20... Free? I didn't do that. This isn't enough, right? This can never be enough. 1200 guests. I mean, we are still getting guests. My notes say that we need 19 juniors. No way we need 19 juniors. Like, I have like, what, 7 here? Um, 8 in total, I think. And we're almost there already. Like... 19 juniors? No, 8 is enough. <laughs> Why did it say 19? Well, good luck I didn't bother with that. <laughs> good thing I didn't bother with that. Okay, Wacky Warren. Very similar. Um, junior goes to uh, 13. It's very similar to Vertical Views. Because we need to make 9k a month. This one goes to 20. Yes, they actually want to pay 20 for that. Did I do that right? Yes, I did. And then we get Mutant Mouse, um, which I'll build there. I'll just build a connection here. And I think we also get Creaky Dips. Yes, at 10 bucks. Um, and then that way. Okay, Creaky Dips. Build that there. Uh, don't have the cash yet. Okay, that's fine. Now just quickly connect it. Okay, so mutant mouse was 12. Creaky dips is 10. Um, and then... Now we do stalls. Okay. Why... Oh, I was I was pressing the wrong buttons. That makes sense why it was not working where I wanted to place it. And now we just advertise. It's really that simple. Some staff might come in useful. And in April we will make it. Or not. Okay, May will do the trick. Let's see, we got... Uh, oh, we got almost there in April. Maybe we got 10.2k, very nice. Next one. Grand Glacier. 
Okay then. Um, we need a lot of path and a lot of corkscrews here. That's all I know. Do we have it available already? Uh, no, we don't. So let's get it. Four seater cars. Switching car. You know what? I'll just put it on there. I can more easily see it. Okay, we got it. No need to fast forward anymore. We absolutely need a lot of path. I remember the last time I was playing this scenario, I was having quite a bit of trouble with overcrowdedness. So, path galore. There. Now we got one back. We have some place for corkscrews there. And then. Now. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay, let's go down. Now let's stay one higher. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that way. And up again. Okay, I'm going to need to build more path later, most likely. Unless the last time I was using the short Q corkscrew instead of this long Q corkscrew. Because the long Q corkscrew might help a lot. That's been quite a recent addition of mine. And I think it's amazing. So we'll have to see. Oh yeah, you're going to be a mod on Twitch as well, Cringe, but... I don't know how to add mods on Twitch without you being in the chat. It's probably possible, but I can't be asked to figure out how. So I'll just make you mod there whenever I see you in the chat. I could I could have done it on YouTube here as well, but since this was a big stream, I wanted to add you beforehand. Okay, I need to add just a few more. So the reason why this corkscrew is so great is because um, it has seven tiles of queue line, which can store roughly 40 guests. So is that one connected? Yeah, it is. So imagine this, if you have um, like 15 corkscrews, you can store 600 guests in just the queue lines, which are 600 guests that are not on the path. And that is why that is so good. Okay, let's open everything. Uh, I didn't mean to zoom out. My Y key is for zooming out, which is right next to my T key, which is for the right list. This might be the first and last time I get to watch a stream live. Might as well do as much of this as possible. The VODs just don't feel the same. Yeah, in the VODs I can't talk to you like that. And then higher staff. I wonder how many handymen and stuff I've already hired over the course of the entire run. Oh, ads have already ran out. Let's do this again. How many guests do we need? Oh, 1500 apparently. Okay, so another reason why this course crew is so great. I had much more path the last time I tried it. But because the guests, well not right now because it's raining. But without the rain are stored inside the queue lines. You need much less guests, much uh, less path and much fewer course crews. Which makes everything quicker. Crazy creators. Well, that's very similar to Arid Heights. So we do the exact same. For 200k doing all custom scenarios in a row. I wish. I don't think that's very possible. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for 200k. I don't know if I'm going to do something for 200k. Um, I don't know. We'll see when the time comes. Also depends on how fast I get to 200k. Like if I get to 200k... 
For example, six months from now, I probably won't do a big celebration for it. If I get to 200k two years from now, then that's different. And I might do a big celebration because it's taken much longer and it's time for another big celebration and all that stuff. Hey, thank you for the 10 bucks, ceaselessly. Ceaselessly is one of the best speedruns in Rollercoaster Tycoon there is. Uh, most of the notes I got are from her. So she's helped me a lot with that. And uh, I've taken quite a few records from her as well, which is very nice. Obviously, I have altered the notes a little bit here and there to make them more efficient. But the basis came from her. And that's made things a lot quicker. Okay, I think this should be enough. Uh, you know what, let's just build a path through the middle, because why not? Ah, oh, thank you for the 20 bucks. Fateh Singh Aurora. That's a nice name, although I probably mispronounced it a little bit. Apologies for that. Please acknowledge that I love you. Okay, I acknowledge that you love me, and I do appreciate that. Time for some rides. Corkscrew, of course, again. Ah, oh, look at this. The water coaster picture has the same orange water. Yes, that all changes. Since you built path with the UI given, wouldn't path building dra dra via dragging the cursor be quicker? Yes, I have done that in a few of my records for individual levels, but you need a lot of path here, and given how unstable dragging is, and how difficult it is to drag straight lines, and I need straight lines to build my rides on like this, it's probably quicker to do it this way, and at least more reliable, and less frustrating. Let's make sure I have plenty of those. Okay, let's go. Ah, the curse of the laughing guests. My favorite curse. Build straight paths quickly using keybinds. I would if that was a thing in this version. But it isn't. So I can't. So for individual levels, I should use later versions. But for the total run, I use this because less lag. Uh, oops. My bad. Open them up. Need a few more. Yeah, due to the game using a color palette. Yeah, I know how it works. Made a video about it a uh, year ago or so. Uh, more than a year ago, I think, actually. And it's really interesting. You can use any... You can make the color palette anything you want. Like, I have a color palette that's just everything shades of salmon pink, which is very ugly. Max made a color palette which makes, the ri which makes all the water just pee. Which is very uh, mature. Dusty Desert. Which is one of those fix your coasters again. What if they added a 45 degree rotation to the screen? Um, hang on, I was distracted. That still wouldn't help for the problem at hand. You just need straight lines. Because most of your lines aren't even straight diagonals. Okay, I need either a looping or a corkscrew. I don't know which I'm going to unlock first, but I know there's a way to make money with that. Or was it Junior's? Well, let's just see which we unlock. Ah, no, there we go. Corkscrew. Neat. I've noticed that I've started to do most of these by heart. Since I've done them a few times, I don't even need the notes anymore. Obviously, I didn't know we would get the corkscrew here, as was quite evident. But I still knew that we got either the corkscrew or the looping coaster. And that that was enough. That's the way we make money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go away. Okay, some stuff. And let's go. Start with this one. And we need to go to a height of 13 meters. Add some brakes. 
Uh, doesn't fit. I always, this ride always annoys me. I never get it to line up properly the first time. It always takes me a few tries for some reason. And some brakes, otherwise you get excessive G's in the corkscrew. Um, one train. Let's make it for four laps. 6.68. What's the goal, actually? Seven. Okay, we're almost there. Some scenery will just do that. Steel Twister 1. Launch lift hill, baby. More launch lift hill. Could you make it all black? Sure, but that does take time. Um, and then we need to go underground here. Like that. And I do want to make it do multiple laps, but all the turns are banked, so this is totally fine. Then now I need to go up a bit. I generally am not a fan at all of these scenarios where you need to finish the coaster. I hate lining it up with the coaster that's already there. But they're fine, they're not too difficult. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Obviously, it's going way too fast here. Gdang. I didn't think about that for some reason. Uh, you know what? I'll just... Even if I bank it, it's still going too fast, I think. Let's see. Yeah, still 3.33. If I just make it do two laps... Okay, then it's fine. Uh, now let's do the vertical drop. <laughs> Disgusting state of the path. Alright, I'll hire some more handymen. It's not that I need it. Like, I have plenty of money. Can we do an underground loop? No, we can't. Then we'll do just an overground loop. Loop. D-loop. D-loop. Vertical line goes brrrr. Ooh, I see 642 viewers. I haven't been paying that close attention to how many viewers we have, but this might be the most we've had so far today. Now the question is, can we get to 700 and even more important, 800, which I've never reached on a live stream, except that one raid from a Twitch streamer. Oh, we have excessive G's. Uh, we're going a little bit fast. I need to be more careful with my G's forces. Let's do 57. That'll be fine. Oh, that's not connected properly. Now it is. Okay, 7.8. Uh, 08. What are those handymen doing when they're not mowing the lawns? I mean, they're just... Uh, mowing the, or uh, the, uh, sweeping the pots and whatever. But yeah, they're not, there's not really much grass to uh, mow here. Okay, uh, no. Is that connected? Yes, that is. Okay, one train. Four laps should be should work. Oh god, I need brakes before again because of a turn right after the station. So brakes that'll do fine. Oh god, now it doesn't make it. Oh come on. Okay, now that should work. There we go, seven point four four. Finally. That took me way too long. Okay, this is a laydown. It may look like a corkscrew, but it is a laydown. Can this do a vertical loop? Yes, it can. Awesome. And then we'll just connect it back to the start. Uh, we need some brakes. This time I'm looking ahead. Uh, uh, that might be a little bit slower than that. 
There we go. Now set this one to multiple laps. Will four do? Four will do. And there we go. That's Dusty Desert done. Woodworm Park. Okay, hang on. Okay, Woodworm Park. Oh, I don't like this. What's my notes for it? I need my notes here. Okay. Remove rail. Because this is a hell of an annoying park. I need swinging ships here. You get like no good coaster types here. For some reason in more modern versions of OpenRC2 you get the corkscrew here. Have you been hydrating properly? Uh, no, not really. Let me just hydrate. Ah, delicious. Alright. Now, the main way that we make money in this scenario is via $20 umbrellas. Because swinging ships aren't good at making money. And then we need to build swinging ship. Um, that's, oh god, what did I do? Like that. What's the goal? Um, 1600 guests at the end of year three. Okay, and save. I'm so glad you can save flat rides with scenery in OpenRST2. That's not a recent thing. I mean, this build is several years old. But it is incredibly, incredibly useful for stuff like this. I just need a lot of these. Right there. It says 22 in my notes, which I should be able to afford right off the bat. At first I had some odd strategy with just making money with putting no entry signs near the entrance and only having them access to uh, to uh, an info kiosk so that whenever it would rain they would buy umbrellas and it's raining right now because it rains an awful lot huh 669 viewers nice it rains an awful lot in this scenario this has the cool and wet climate and it's horribly annoying okay we still have 16k um, did i already build my other stalls i don't think i did so, one of the problems with the rain is that guests don't ride rides in the rain. So then you make even less money, which is, once again, why we need um, the umbrellas. Move the fences so that I can easily connect this, these to it. Would you like to maybe uh, interlock loopy da poopies? Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, just kidding, of course. Unless, uvu, what did you make me do, you bastard? But thank you for the five bucks, I suppose. <laughs> I think. <laughs> you didn't even write any uvus. No, but I need to put some passion in it, right? Come on. If you make me do that, I need to do it properly. And the whole, that whole sentence, that whole meme just screams uvu, right? Oh, I have 22 pirate ships. Okay, time for marketing. Health to the air. Oh, and then I, of course, also, once we fast forward, need some stuff. Just like that. Six K from shop sales in a month. Oh, oops, that's around the running again. That's how we do it. Yeah, sure, let's advertise boat hire, the best ride in the park. Ooh. I kind of like the ooh meme. 
Oh, did I mess up the advertisements? Oh well, we have 1600 guests. Uh, next. Icarus Park. Right, the one with the horribly ugly landscape. The landscape itself is fine, but the terrain isn't. Okay, it's launched freefall time, baby. That's all we need. Icarus Park says six launched freefalls at 13 bucks. Thank you for the 20 krona, Jonas. I quite like Sweden. Um, especially recently because Nils van der Poel, whom you might know. And that one. Okay, that's enough. Now make them all 13. I also appreciate PewDiePie's from Sweden and Minecraft is from Sweden. It's all very good stuff. Oh, and uh, Mulemek. And Ikea. That's some wonderful stuff from Sweden. And Erbium, Terbium, Eterbium, and e uh, what was the last one? Etrium? Meat Do meatballs itself come from Sweden or just Swedish meatballs? Really, Mule Mac. Yeah, I played Mule Mac or Mule Monteur or Gary Gadget in Dutch and English a lot as a kid. Like, if my mom is watching. What moet je daar nou mee aanvangen? Weet je, ze had een bit of a Flemish accent. Um, that was one of her favorite sentences <laughs> in the game. She always loved that. It means, what are you supposed to do with that? Okay, now advertising, and then that should work. Okay, last one. And let's go. April will be the month. April won't be the month, because rain, presumably. There we go. May is the... <coughs> Oops. May is the month. Next one. Sunny Swamps. Okay, I need to build some path here. French fries aren't from France. Hamburgers aren't from Germany. Engels drop isn't from the UK. Engels drop means English licorice, by the way. Yeah, a lot of stuff that's named after countries isn't actually from there. Thank you for the five bucks, Ron Eilander. Okay, now time to build a lot of looping coasters. So my notes say... I don't know by heart, but a number of long queue looping coasters and a number of normal looping coasters. But I've recently just stopped using short queue looping and corkscrew coasters altogether and just go long queue all the way. I much prefer them for speed running. Thank you for the two bucks, Pav. I've really appreciated my deeper understanding that I've gotten of the game since I started speed running. Like my appreciation for guest storage in queue lines, for example. And other ways to get guests quickly and like how important stalls are and whatnot. So it's really been a lot of fun and I've learned a lot. And I appreciate all the people who've taught me stuff, you know, coming up with strategies and stuff. It's a lot of fun. Will there be a stream tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow I will stream on Twitch, like normal. Oh, I think the ads have already finished. Yes, they have. This is just a bonus stream. And I think tomorrow, for the first time in a week, I won't be speedrunning. Okay, that was Sunny Swamps. Let's go. Frightmare Hills. Do we have the looping coaster already unlocked? Yes, we do. Okay, let's build a path this way. I didn't know you were on Twitch. 
Apparently a lot of people don't. I don't mention it very often. I do put the link to it in all my descriptions. But uh, yeah, thank you for following. I stream every Wednesday and every Sunday at 8 a.m. CET, which is Amsterdam time. And sometimes more often, like last few last week, I've streamed four times on Twitch for the speedrun practice. But that's quite rare. Like the last time I did that before, that is months ago, probably even in 2021. Okay, now time to build some of these. Don't you mean 8 p.m.? Did I say 8 a.m.? I meant 8 p.m. My bad. Apparently I'm already getting a bit tired from this stream. I don't feel tired. Yeah, but I watch your videos on my Apple TV. That means you can't see the comments descriptions. Ah, that makes sense. I've watched, I, I've mentioned in the videos every now and then, but not very often. You say 20 o'clock. Yeah, but Americans won't understand that. They call that, it's funny, Americans call the 24 hour clock often military time. But for Dutch people, that's just time. And many other countries as well. It's beer o'clock. According to some people, it's always beer o'clock. No, I can't afford one more. 15, that's probably enough. 15 rides. Do I hear a like, horror style? Probably. I like the music here. And once again, some staff sees. Alright, let's see. Do we need more ads? I think we do. Yes. Just like that. Speaking of beer, I think I can grab a cold one. Sure, go for it. Okay, next one is Thunder Rocks. Which is the exact same as Thunder Rock, except it has an extra rock and a coaster, which I'm immediately going to remove. Because it's useless for us. Oh, not, not owned by Par. Is it here? Oh, yeah, here it is owned by Par. The reason I'm going down like that, oh god, I wasted so much money here, was to save money, but because the lower the support, the cheaper. But I still wasted quite a bit there. I think we get the corkscrew here. No, looping. Oh, that's fine. Oh, thank you for the 10 bucks, Raven Writing Desk. Hello from Florida. We Americans do a lot of things weird, lol. You do, but we also do a lot of things weird. Give up the good work. Thank you. I think if you dive deep into it, pretty much every country does a lot of things weird. So... Uh, we can shit on the Americans all we want. And it's fun to sometimes do that, but some introspection is good as well. Another raven. I order you to have a battle of the ravens. Gently opening a lukewarm one by yourself. Unsealing a cool one with the boys. Cracking open a cold one with the boys. Threading open an icy one with every boy in the country. I mean, if I would have a drink now, I would be cracking open a cold one with 600 people. I think that uh, qualifies for not quite every boy in the country, but not that far away from it either. Ah, uh, come on. just want to build it somewhere. Alright, I'll just build it here then. Can we connect another one here? Okay, uh, let's see if this is enough. I think we need 1400 guests. If my memory serves me correctly. Something like that, I'll have a quick look in a minute. 
First, I'll do the ad. Oh, the long numbers and the short numbers, yes. So, it's always a bit confusing for me still. Because a billion is not the same as a billion. A billion in Dutch is the same as a trillion. So, okay, what was the goal again? The goal is 1500. So, if you're like, for example, Apple was the first trillionaire company, I believe. Trillion dollar company. In Dutch, that would only be a billion dollar company or a billion dollar bedrijf, if you want to translate it literally. Okay, 100 more. There we go. Next. Octagon Park. Aha, you need 10 coasters of at least 1200 meters and an excitement rating of at least 7. So, this is the first park that we get with a length requirement, which automatically makes all the coasters you need to build uh, very expensive. So, um, I think we unlock the corkscrew at some point. Or do we need to do it with the looping? Oh, there we go, there's the corkscrew. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a lot of corkscrew coasters. Oh, oops. And I'm going to make a lot of money with them. And then I'm just going to build six or ten pre-builds. And I already know which ones, not by heart, but I've written it down. And then this shouldn't take too long. Let's see how fast I can do it. Just because we randomly got a blue color for the corkscrew coaster when I built it, it means we're using the blue color in the entire playthrough. If I've gotten the black color, you know, the black and red, the same as my original profile picture, then we would have gotten that and we would have kept using that. Okay, some stalls. And then open the park. We need many more still, but I'm already starting. This is how we're gonna make money. Okay, one there. One there. Okay, that doesn't quite... It's not as nice as I hoped it would be. Okay, is this enough? Well, let's just hope it is. Okay, which ones do we need? Twister, Luna Launcher. Uh, where's Luna Launcher? There we go. Um, I think we could use some more coasters. Let's build a few more on the water. Like that. And that. And that. Okay, let's open them up. Now, we need another cork, uh, another lunar launcher. Um, which will put stand-up twister trains on. And then we need a third lunar launcher. Which we're going to put floorless trains on. Yes, that counts. These count as three different ride types, which is particularly useful. Uh, then we need Cyclone. Uh, we don't have that much space. I'm going to try to organize it a little bit. And we do another Cyclone. 
There we go. This one will be wooden articulated trains. They're totally different. Yeah, so this works for all the train types that are up to Rollercoaster Tycoon base game. In the expansions, you get extra train types. Um, you know, for example, the surfing trains for the um, for the Twister Coaster. Those don't count. So it's only like the floorless articulated stuff like that. Uh, like articulate for the wooden, floorless for the standard twister, all that kind of stuff. Uh, what else do we need? We need hyper coaster, lay down coaster, corkscrew coaster. The corkscrew coaster we need one U125. Which is nice and small. It's one of the U designs which came with our RST1 Deluxe. Um, lay down coaster we need U. I think it's 0096? No, 00. Deze, this one. I don't have the cash quite yet. Uh, now I do. Wonderful. Then we need the inverted, which is UU94, U0094. And that will be number 9. And then the other one we need is the looping U1061. Okay. Come on. That's that one. Then we need just one more after this. Imagine how long it would take to design all these coasters yourself. It would be cheaper, definitely. But it would also take a very long time. I've done it on Ghost Town. It took me like 20 minutes at my fastest. While uh, with this strategy, it took me much less time. There we go. This strategy, Ghost Town, only took me 6.30 or something like that. Next one, Pleasure Island. Well, that one's quite similar, actually. We just... Uh, Make a little bit of money. With some prefabs. We do have to design a few coasters ourselves here. But they will be small designs. And quick to build. That's because you just don't have enough space to build the bigger designs. You can go over the park board. You have quite a bit of um, construction rights. I don't think that one's connected. Oh, it is. Okay. Wonderful. That's eight. It's better than live sport. Well, thank you. Okay, question. We are almost five hours in. Has anyone been watching since the very start? I uh, might need to open the park. Me. Very nice, Chris O. Oh, and a few more. That's more than I thought. I thank you all. Will you be watching until the very end? Which is... I think we're about halfway, roughly. Uh, let's build Cobra. Um... Dizzy Mouse. You think I have? Yeah, uh, I think I have too. Okay, that one. I think we need a bit higher than six, right? No, six, okay. Um, I'll build Deja Vu. And... I'll build Black Panther. Come on. Fit. There we go. That's five already. And I'm going to build custom designs for these. Um, stations. 
guy that's gonna do there. And I need to go one more. Salmon pink. I don't like that color, but it's fine. Um, but this is good enough. And yeah, I'll just half corkscrew. Half corkscrew. Okay, I think we have enough money now. I don't need to fast forward as much anymore. I'll just make it do six laps and we'll just build this next to it the exact same coaster but mirrored easy is that slime college yes it is oh nope not an inline twist please nope wrong way corkscrew to the right and six laps for you too do the cha same chain lift speed. Okay, synchronize. And then they both have over six excitement. And then we do the same for this and the hyper twister. Um, just like that. And then like that. And that ought to be enough. Although no, it's not that, that that drop is not high enough. I need a bit of a higher drop for that. Okay, you know what? I'll just make it 13 and a half. What's the goal? Build ten coasters with at least six excitement. And usually I would do this with only pre-builds. But we don't have the space for it. A lot of these coaster types don't have pre built small enough to fit in this park. Okay, we only need one more after this. Let's see. There we go. Alright. And you do nine laps. You go to one train and do nine laps as well. Can that be enough? We need just one more. Can I fit Liberty Loop? Um, if I delete all of these and drown a few guests. Oh, thank you for the five bucks. Lelamuk. Cheers for the stream. Cheers for being here. Where's my twister coaster? There we go, it fits now. Let's open them all. Oh, I think... That one's fine. Which one isn't? Is it one of these? Is it this one? There's one that doesn't... Oh, it's probably Cobra, isn't it? No, it's not Cobra. Is it this one? Hang on, they all have enough, right? Are they... don't they... hang on, do I have a one twice? The park rating, but that's not a problem. Did I accidentally build... oh, I already had the deja vu and I built the... <laughs> Inverted coaster again. <laughs> uh, my bad. Let's just quickly... Uh, let's go with this one. That's probably not good enough yet. So I'll add some path. Alright, next to it. There we go. Park rating is fine. It's just, you know, some guests die. Just a few. No big deal. Can a guest go on the right if there's no path in front of the entrance? No. Icicle World. Screw this terrain. I want easier terrain. Oh, footpath in the way. Okay. 
There we go. Uh, easy. Love it. Who cares if guests die? As long as I achieve my goals, I don't care for the health of the guests. Which I probably shouldn't say out loud, but you know. Yes, another unlimited money park. We need 2,500 guests or something like that. Rip trees, rip water, rip everything. <laughs> Just a big ugly slab of land in the middle. That's fine, it does the job. That's why I have no money. Good afternoon, Mackley. Some of you may perish, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Okay, and some of these. And that should be enough for now. Let's get some stuff going. Ah, 30 should be enough. Oh, that's a lot of lag. Look at them all. Ha! <laughs> and then we do that. And yeah, let's build them on the other side to prevent overcrowdedness from people heading to stalls. Did we have a food stall on that side? No, we didn't. Now we do. And let's go. And now we just need to build a lot more of these looping coasters. That's all there is to it. Easy enough, right? That's four more. Nope. Nah, that's better. Oh, looks like we got some spam again. Absolutely wonderful. Ah, oh, it's already been removed. Thank you. We just got another one. Just ban them. At least we don't get the entire chat spammed, because we have slow-mo, so we only get at most one spam message every five seconds. So that makes it much easier to deal with. You also try to ban the sweating emoji. I don't know if you can ban emojis. I could try. But, yeah, it's fine. If they become too big of a nuisance, I'll try. 23 coasters is still not enough for 2,500 guests. We need at least 26. So these give 95 soft guest cap each, although now nah, we have stalls, so 24 may have been enough as well. Stalls also give a little bit of soft guest cap. Southern Sand's going to be extremely hard. Nah. You got ads. If you got ads, it's not hard. Ads are overpowered as hell. Almost there. Ah, uh -huh, the park. The guest number is going down again. It's overcrowdedness, isn't it? I'll just put some looping coasters here to absorb some guests. And I'll build a path around there. Uh, that way. We were so close. There we go. Unless you build coasters with at least 600 meters and 6 excitement, then it becomes easy. You don't need to, because ads ignore all those requirements. Well, next one is Sudden Sands. Uh, cork screws. I don't know how many we need, but... I don't know, 10 or so will probably be fine. And we just advertise. The guest generation will be a bit slower. Although, you see, in most of these scenarios with high guest counts, with the ads, you go over the soft guest cap anyway. So, there's, like, that doesn't make that much of a difference. 
So, yeah, this is not very difficult. I do remember, along with Stu, trying to figure out how the, how certain sands worked. Like, why couldn't why couldn't I beat it by just spamming corkscrews? I was absolutely confused by that. And then I figured out the fact that uh, how hard a gas generation actually worked. I didn't know that. It was like probably 2017. So that's when I learned that. Okay, that should be enough. Now some stalls. Okay. We have... Well, we started with three, right? So we have 17. I think that's enough. And then we do the standard thing, advertisement and whatnot. Oh my goodness. Alright, here we go. Heyo, Marcel, son, uvu... I know this is crazy, but what if we uvu, what if we held hands? That's not the right accent, I think, but uh, thank you for making me cringe. And thank you for the 10 bucks. Alright, that's plenty. Now we just wait. Oh, I messed up uh, the timing there, that's fine though. Okay. Stereotypical furry accent. Yeah, but I don't know if I did this right. Oh well. It's not it's not like doing being able to do the stereotypical um furry accent is not really a skill I necessarily think it's important to have. So I'm fine with not being able to do that. Okay, almost there. We need just one more run of the ads. Who said certain sands was going to be difficult? I don't think you're quite right. Come on. There we go. Took just three minutes. Tiny towers. Another finish your coaster scenario. Which, as I said previously, I am not a fan of. But this one's not too difficult. Okay, we have just very little space, so I'm going to build just two of these. Uh, well, apparently I need to get rid of some land. There we go. Open them up. Do the stalls and then make money. Uh, toilets. Alright, and let's go. Uh, open up the park, thank you very much. Alrighty, now time to do this one. I don't like this park. But I gotta deal with it. All right, uh, nope, I need to be one higher. Toilet's right at the entrance, it's sending a strange message. I mean, I believe Valibi World has toilets like very close to the entrance. But you know what, if I just immediately corkscrew this and then make it do multiple laps, do they, they don't need the length, right? I only need an excitement rating. Yeah, 640. So if we just make this do like uh, six laps. There we go, 6.40. That was easy. Uh, now the vertical drop. We don't have a great park rating, that's fine. We just need to make money. We don't need a good park rating. Okay. Some ver uh, in uh, uh, negative vertical G's there. Then we go that way. Yes. Okay, then we do some brakes. I think that's a nice coaster. Not quite 6.40. Um, I'll do that with scenery at the end. You can also borrow some more, by the way, so uh, 
We don't need to fast forward anymore. 33k is plenty. Let's do this one. Launch lift hill. Where does it end? Right there. Okay, that's good. Oh, thank you for the five bucks. Raven writing desk. The speed up function sounds like a washing machine of balance and bearings. It's never what I heard in it, but then again, I've never heard a washing machine like that, so... Could very well be accurate. Let's do a loop. Does it make that? We don't have the ghost test function yet in this version, so... Uh, I can't test that. Let's make sure to put on some brakes. And voila! There we go. Four laps, please. Perfect. Next one. Is this one. The corkscrew. You make me want to play RCT again. Well... You can pay, you can buy it for like less than ten bucks probably somewhere on Steam or good old games or whatever. It's not very expensive, so uh, you can pick it up whenever you like. And open RST2 is free. So yeah, I recommend picking it up. Does it make that? Okay, now it definitely will. Okay, then if we make this do a turn instead. Okay, then that's in the way. We'll just go higher then. Uh, we need a break then. Otherwise that will screw things up. And that way. Awesome. Oh yeah, the main SOS parks. If you want more Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 like scenarios, then the main SOS park, which you can probably just find by googling for it, is pretty damn good. It imitates the Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 style really well. Okay, where do we need to go for this? Like. How dare. I keep forgetting. Okay, that corkscrew is in the way there. Um, if we just go over everything, <laughs> that makes it easier. Okay, I don't know if the train is long enough for a curved lift hill. So we'll just go this way. And then go that way. <laughs> And then, oh yeah, it does need to be 370 meters as well, otherwise we get the stat penalty, which we don't want. Um, we do that, we go that way. Okay, is that enough? We'll just see. Oh, of course. It has an unbanked turn there. What was I thinking? I can fix that though. If I just put brakes right before here. That might fix that. Let's see if it does. Uh, almost. If we go down one more. That might fix it. There we go. That did it. <laughs> Which also means we can make it do multiple laps. Awesome. Now I think we should be able to complete it with just a few trees. Oh, and of course we need to open all the rides. Uh, or not. Then I think one of them, yeah, the corkscrew, okay, what if we make you do five laps? There we go, that works. Next. 
Nevermore Park. All right, can I do this one within 10 minutes? Okay, I'm going to get my game face on for this one. Um, so we do that. And that. Do we block off those areas. And we block off that. And yeah, we block it off there. And we have closed the junior coaster. Um, have we already unlocked the corkscrew? Yes, we have. Let's put that to roller coasters. Okay, now no guest is on the path there anymore. Um, and I need to... Uh, okay. Carefully delete all the path there. I think if I do something wrong there, I might bug out the game because I did that once. Okay, and then carefully delete it all there and there. Okay, that's that. Then it's time for some stalls. Oh god, this one's not connected. Is the other one connected? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, we need... Some cork in corkscrews. I love me some cork in corkscrews. Okay. There. Might as well already start making some money. And some handyman. And let's go. In the meantime, I keep building more of these. So the requirement here is to build 10 coasters with at least 7 excitement, I think. And a length of at least 1400 meters, which is the longest length requirement of that style in the entire game. Which is why we're going to need a lot of money. You can do it with 10 pre-builds, that just about works. Wait, park rating is... Wait, what happened? What's wrong with the park rating? Oh god, this one is opened again. I need to restart. I accidentally opened that ride by opening all the rides. That one needs to be closed. I can't remove it because I need it. Oh, that went terribly wrong. That went entirely terribly wrong. So I wanted to do this within 10 minutes. So we technically didn't fail that. Because there is no fail condition on this one. And I could have salvaged that. But salvaging that would take longer. Than just restarting. Can you save it? Delete it? Now what I can do is actually... There we go. Now I can't open it. So, indirectly, you did inspire that, so thank you. When I did this previously, I was very aware that I just needed to open every right individually instead of pre just pressing the open all button. But it's been a few days since I did that, and I just forgot. Which is why I used the open all button, which predictably opens all rights. Who would have thunk? And that kind of messed things up. So the reason I need there to be less path, by the way. Is that if there's too much path. Then the guests won't be going the right too many. There will be, they will be too spread out. So I won't make enough money. And that's why at the start I block off everything. Alright, see ya Johnny. Uh, oops, wrong right. Okay. Yeah, 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 we do get this message. I might just still... I might still just open them all by hand. But this at least means I can't accidentally open that and screw things up. 
So, let's fast forward. Open. Open. Um, and then open this is easy enough. Just need to remember to do it. Okay, that's all on this side. Now we continue on this side. Open and open. All of you will be opened. Okay, and then we can do another mirror there. And we can put another two down on the other side. What was that? No, dang it. So I think that my dream of completing all scenarios within 10 minutes, each single one, is uh, no longer happening. Because I messed up here. Unless something seriously crazy happens here. But let's see. Um, I need Hyper Twister, Goliath. Or Nitro is probably a better idea. So I can fit that one nicely in the corner. Um, there we go. Space is a bit tight on this one. Then I need Twister U010. Which can fit here quite well. And then I need another Twister U010. No, not that one. But this time we'll put a different car type on it. We'll put a standard twister on it. Oh, we got another U010. Awesome. I thought we only had two. Maybe that's some ghost town. Um, is it me or am I again making money slower than last time? Hmm. I've had this feeling a couple of times now. Of course, we're building very expensive rides. Maybe it is because I'm using different car screws. But then again, they're all full all the time. Well, these aren't always full. Ah, I don't know. Uh, whoops, need to... Stand-up twister? Which one does this have? Okay, this is stand-up twister. This is Florida, so I put normal twister coasters on it. Twister trains. Well, while we make some money, I might as well have a little drink. Race a ticket to seven. Racing all the tickets to seven takes a long time. And they don't want to pay that anymore anyway. Okay, what else do we need? Um, corkscrew. Okay, we need, no, we need Blue Hurricane. Of course we need Blue Hurricane. We always need Blue Hurricane. Come on, where does it fit? Okay, so I'll place... Ah, nice in the corner. Um, then we need UU081 on the sus. I don't care that you've crashed. Just go again. This one's a bit difficult to place. But we have to wait for money anyway. A good quality of life feature would be if one could save the ticket price along with the coaster design. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be quite nice. Huh, we used to have a thousand guests. Now we only have about 800. I suppose it might be because we crashed a few coasters. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, I need to disable that. Disable that. And then it can go. 
Okay, what else do we need? We need um, a compact inverted U0096. This is also a big one. Does it fit there? Not quite, eh? Ah, oh, there. 43k, that's a hell of a price tag. Been trying to use your speed, but I don't have time 64. It's time 128. You need to enable debug options in the uh, in the debug options in the options. Okay, yeah, we're back to a thousand guests, so that was definitely the the thing being the problem, the crashes and the dead guests and whatnot. Uh, last one we need is uh, inverted. Ah, uh, UU94, UU0094, and I think if we then fix up the corkscrew, the junior I mean, then we have it. Let's just wait for 39k. 31k I mean. Alright. And then... Fix up the junior. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about the crashes. Another one. Suddenly get a lot of crashes, don't we? Oh, we still need a Texas giant. Uh, we're one off. Okay, where does that fit? Here? And then I think I haven't been particularly uh, great with my placements. Oh, there it is. We almost have the money. Just a thousand more. There we go. Test. We're done. 1220. So that's the slowest scenario so far. And unless I deliberately take my time here, it will be the slowest in the entire game. Pacifica, make 8,000 on ride tickets. Well, that's easy. That's just going to be uh, seven beheaded rotor drops. Um, I think I need a little bit more space. Let's see. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, that's enough. Where are the U coasters from? They're from Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. From um, the experience. Uh, from Deluxe, and they were built by players and included in later releases. They're not all that great, most of them. They're a bit weird, but, you know, they work. Okay. Um, let's save this as Rotterdam 1. Scenery. I'm going to do it like that because I need the zero later. Alright, now let's build a few of these. And. How much do I need to charge for these? I keep forgetting. Does it say? Uh, no, it doesn't. I'll try five. I don't know if that works. Might build some more. I don't have an address for shipping. Honestly, I would do nothing with a roller coaster tycoon board game. So, you know, give it to someone who likes it. I wouldn't do anything with it. That would be the thing with most things that you would ship me. I would just not do anything with it. So, give it to someone. Who would actually do anything with it. If I make these five. That should be enough. As you've seen. There is a lot of optimization to be had still. This is also not my best run. Of uh, loopy landscapes. Okay. Open up. 
and the usual stalls. There we go. Some staff. And then some money. Some ads. And the last one. Awesome. Uh, might need to open the park. Will June be the month? June will be the month. How easy was that? We made 11k, we needed 8. Okay, that was quite a bit more than we needed. Alright, the expert parks. Ugh. Okay, urban jungle. Now, this is what I mean with the edges of the terrain being buildings. That's not scenery, that's the edge of the terrain. Now, luckily we don't need to build on that, we can just build to the side. This is the longest pack of them all. Uh, in terms of time, yes. In terms of number of scenarios, it ties with added attractions. But I think that added attractions is, even if both are absolutely optimized, a bit faster. Because the Octagon Park and Nevermore Park and all those parks which you have none of, like Volcania. And all these parks, you have, we have had like at least five parks where we need to build ten coasters or complete five coasters. Those just generally take a while, like at least three, four minutes. And you have none of those in added attractions. So I think that out of all of them, this will always be the slowest category. Because Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is the second slowest. And that's currently at 54 minutes, which is my record. But that can def easily be brought down to 40, I'm confident. But I don't see Loopy Landscapes down to 40. Because that would only give you 1 minute 20 seconds per scenario, which is nothing. Because it just has so many scenarios and quite a few more difficult ones. I'm confident that you can never do never more park in like less than 6 minutes. So you will always lose a lot of time there. Well, I'm still speedrunning quite a bit. Like, all these strategies are definitely speedrun. But I'm not, like, going uber hardcore. Because I just want to have a good time. Okay, I have no idea. Oh, that's the goal, apparently. 1,200 guests. Terror Town. You can see, once again, well, some of these are scenery pieces. You can recognize them, but most of them aren't. Once again, we need to build six coasters here. So what we're going to do is our 10 coasters with 6 excitement. I keep saying 6 instead. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a bunch of corkscrews, make a bunch of money, and then build whatever coasters we like to get to 10 with 6 excitement. Looks like Poland. Is Terror Town an accurate description for Poland? Okay, and some more. And then we can build some stalls there. Alright. And some staff. Audio is still there, it was just a bit quiet. We need to make more money, so more corkscrews. Okay, that should be enough. Now it's time. Oh shit, we need to research roller coasters. There we go. 
Okay, time for mouse towers. Uh, dizzy mouse. No, we don't need one of those. Uh, I'm gonna build. Uh, why not? Activate. Uh, I know, it's just, no, it's not, not good enough. Activator. Alright, start with deja vu. Then, Activator. Okay, that's four already. Uh, mini Diver. Five. What else do we got? Alright, I can do Liberty Loop. Six. Uh, Blue Hurricane is a bit on the expensive side. Uh, I'll take... No, I'll take Hellhound. Seven. I'll take Hawk's Nest. Eight. I'll take... Danglefeet. Nine. And then lastly, I'll take... One of these. Uh, Harry Plains, I'll do. Wait for them all to be tested. And done! 253, that's quite fast. Mega World Park! Okay. For the soft cast cap, since we can't advertise, we need a few corkscrews. And then it's just fast forwarding. Oh, I'm gonna hire a lot of staff as well. Uh, where can we nicely build this? Come on. Okay, there's a spot. And there's another spot. That'll be enough. And fast forward time. And then a lot of handymen. How long would a test take in your opinion? I honestly don't know. I don't know how long that would... How much that would take away. Like all the clicking does take a long time. So if you can like accurately program it to click everything. It would take away a lot of time. I'm trying to find spots to build some more corkscrews. But this park is quite well filled up. Quite a large park as well. And you, you, you do notice the lag now. Well, mm. since we're waiting anyway, might as well stand up for a bit. Stretch a bit. We're uh, five and a half hours in. Going well. Going quite well. Congrats on the 100k, Marcel. I can't believe how much I learned about RCT from you and Dirk Link. Well, thank you. Happy you learned. It's made so much more fun to play the game. Thanks for your awesome videos. Thank you. Yeah, routing the task would take so long. Like on individual scenarios, you can probably do a task quite efficiently. But routing the entire task? How long do you expect this run to take? I don't know, about 10 hours or so in total. Venus Ponds. I uh, think we need a lot of loopings here. We don't have it available yet. Okay. Let's fast forward then. Let's go this way. Okay. That way. Okay, there we go. That's the looping coaster. And then I'll just build path this way so that we have plenty of space to build looping coasters off of it. What do you think is the most unknown roller coaster game? I don't know. I probably wouldn't know about it. <laughs> What's your favorite RST1 scenario you are playing normally? Probably Diamond Heights. Because I like that. Marcel doesn't know how to play normally anymore. I know perfectly well how to play normally. Although I must admit, I've been doing speedrunning a lot in the past uh, few weeks. Okay, and then that way. 
<coughs> and it's time for looping coasters. Hypothetically, if a new RCT game were to made in today's market, would it do well in sales? Well, a few new RCT games have been made in today's market. Not for the PC, but stuff like Nintendo over Roller Coaster Gun Adventures for the Switch. I don't know how well it did. I know that it's generally disliked in the larger community, but you know, some people might still like the game, so I don't know. Very much depends on how it's marketed, what it looks like. I think Age of Empires 4 did decently well in terms of sales, but it's already dropping in terms of players. Back to below Age of Empires 2. So I think that short of literally a uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 Definitive Edition, something like that, you know, an HD remaster, I think another new Roller Coaster Tycoon title just wouldn't do all that well. You could probably ride the coasters though, yeah, that would be nice. And that one. I think I need to open the park still. Yes. Some stuff. Is this enough? This can't be enough, right? Oh yeah, RST Mobile. But you know, any proper roller coaster a theme park building game needs to be on a bigger screen than mobile. Like mobile gaming is a perfectly valid form of gaming, but it doesn't work for all kinds of games. Just like something like Candy Crush doesn't really work on a big screen, that's much better for mobile. You gotta adapt to the platform. Okay. One more to go. So we'll do that one quickly. I actually hold the world record on Micro Park. I've held it for several years. Unlock the roto drop. And we'll just make it very, very, very tall. There we go. Um. And then we'll save it as Roto Drop 1, that's fine. Build a few of those. Six should be enough. Uh, five probably as well. There we go. That was Loopy Landscapes. In the end, only about. Hang on, let me check. Only a few minutes. Behind my best time. Let's see. My best time was 2.06. So even with the mishaps. This is only 3 minutes behind my best time. Which I think shows that my best time wasn't very good. Have you ever heard of Rollercoaster on World 3D? No I haven't. That was Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. It took me about 5 hours and 20 minutes to do. Oh, Roller Coaster World 3D. Also never heard of. I think this is a world record, but that's because just no one's ever done it before. There is actually a category for doing all uh, RCT1 scenarios, like including expansions. There are also categories for doing just all, um, all expert parks. For example, there is a category for doing just all beginner parks for Rollercoaster Tycoon or just all challenging parks for Loopy Landscapes. But no one's ever ran those, because why would you? Most people do either the individual levels or they do um, full runs. Okay, let's go to menu. Okay, 
I don't have that kind of a voice. Imagine doing just a beginner part in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. <laughs> just three. Thank you for the 10 pounds. Installation 00. Good game, thank you. Such a nostalgia trip. You know what's funny? Anyone who's played Roller Coaster Tycoon, a scenario, if they watch at the right time, their scenario will show up. Because I'm literally doing all scenarios. If someone asks me later, have you ever played this scenario and it's not a custom one, I can just point to this video and say, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you played Empty Airfield or Fungus Wood? Yes, I have played everything. <laughs> What's your favorite scenario? Probably Diamond Heights. I keep saying Diamond Heights a lot, but I like it. If you had to pick a tab from the game park menu, expansions and base game are separate. Which packs do you think has your favorite and least favorite scenarios? Overall, if I had to pick just one, I would probably pick Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 Base. I think it has more varied scenarios in terms of goal. Like, the Roller Coaster Tycoon scenarios are also easy. Like, Trinity Island is just 750 guests. And, you know, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 actually requires you to build some kind of park. In speedrunning, that park that you built is still very much, you know, optimized and a bit weird. But it's still sort of an actual park, you know? It has multiple rides instead of just advertising. I like some RCT2 features in RCT1 parks. Oh yeah, if you have me pick between Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, like, if I picked out of the trashes, I could only play them in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, then I would never pick any of these. I need op I need RCT2 and even open RCT2. You want me to hydrate, Cringe? I can hydrate. I can have some apple juice. Tasty. Let me have a little bit of a look at the streaming analytics. Ah, oh, thank you for the five packs on Zia. This is a really good time, thanks. Happy you are enjoying it. Okay, the viewer count has been around 600 for about five hours now, which is great. In total, almost 10,000 people have tuned in. The chat rate is 10. It doesn't say per, but I assume 10 per minute on average. So one every six seconds. And the average view duration is 18 minutes and 57 seconds. Thank you for the five dollars, Magnus Bilmer. You're a legend, thanks for your dedication. Love to see it. Well, thank you. I do want to be the best roller coaster Tycoon 2 player in the world. And depending on your metrics, I might be at the moment, but becoming good at speedrunning has definitely helped a lot. You know, because I wasn't really all that great at speedrunning before. Now I am a lot better, hold a few world records and the like. Um, although other people are competing. <laughs> you know, let's take a look at the speedrunning page. Um... Hang on. Yeah. There we go. How many scenarios down? 81. How did you discover RST speedrunning? I'm not sure, but a few years ago I discovered it. There are still a few scenarios of mine that are pending, haven't been approved yet. If we go to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Yeah, Hey There I'm Dead has been taking over uh, a few of the top. But I still have extreme height, although, no, he already beaten it, I believe, but it's not approved yet. Um, but here it's a lot more Marcelli. A lot more of my videos. I was the first one to ever complete a run on the roller coaster he heaven. Oh, thank you, Lawrence Michael Vogel, for the 10 bucks. 
Great entertainment, here's my entrance fee, can't stay all day, but keep coming back. Well, I understand that. <laughs> like, I know that a few people will watch the entire stream, but most people obviously won't. Obviously, you discover the speed variant of a game when you've played the game so much. What a dirt quest. Can you be a little bit nicer, Slate and Rampant? Like, it's just a normal question. You had a bit of weird comments all the time. Anyway. Fun at the beach. Like, there are a couple of world records here that... Are... Uh, that I sort of have, but haven't. Also, by the way, Japanese cost to reclaim has yet to be approved. Um, I've already submitted it. Same goes for renovation. Um, but fun at the beach, I... So I sort of have that record because it doesn't count but I got like a 350 or 340 time or whatever except I didn't build the corkscrew because I already had the corkscrew from earlier in the run so it doesn't count if I had just built that corkscrew instead I obviously would have stayed easily below 624 so I can sort of take that record but I haven't officially done it yet um, same goes for probably a couple of others. Uh, maybe Shiny Cup, I'm not sure. Um, Future Worlds, no. Like, there are a couple of those. Rock and Roll Revival, I'm two seconds behind the world record. That's one's just a click fast. We click on it there. You can see 54 seconds, and I have 56 seconds. Hello, Bliga Bliga. That's a fun name. Robin Hood in four seconds. Uh, yeah, I can show you that. Um, let's see, Robin Hood. Where was it? Time Twister. That's all there is to it. <laughs> You just make this coaster, the junior coaster, 10, and then you fast forward. Thank you for the 20 bucks, Midnight McCloud. Hello, Mars, I love your builds, they are insane. Thank you. Okay, for some reason, according to YouTube, the viewership dropped to below 200 and then immediately rose again to about 600. Sure, YouTube. There's one faster, actually. Um, these are these Six Flags ones. Six Flags Magic Mountain is the fastest. That's all there is to it. Uh, I think they messed up. Or did they not? No, we just didn't get to see it. But yeah, that's all there is to it. You just uh, sell to right and pay back the loan. I actually can take credit for coming up with that uh, with that strategy, I think, with selling those exact two rides. It's like the same time YouTube has two views and 100 likes. Yeah, stuff like that. It's because likes aren't subject to the same verification level as views are. So likes get uh, shown quicker. Views might take a little bit longer to update. Let's see. Rainbow Summit, yeah, Rainbow Summit, same problem. Like, I have done it in, like, less than five minutes. But because I didn't custom build my car score, it doesn't count. Same goes for Lucky Lake. Although, actually, yesterday I did 238 on Lucky Lake, but I didn't bother recording it. And that one was with including building the coaster. So, technically, I have the record here. Um, I just didn't... Uh record it. Well, someone else already had the 311 as well. Might not have been approved or submitted yet. Like, it's going very fast. We've just been going at this again for less than a week. So, even if things are like three days behind what they actually are, then there's already a lot that has already happened, but not approved yet and whatnot. Keep it up, Marshall. I've been enjoying the content for a little bit now. Well, thank you. If you go to Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, by the way, this is absolutely crazy. 
Look at the record. 12 seconds on Forest Frontiers, 54 on Dynamite Dunes, 47 on Leafy Lake, 30 seconds on Diamond Heights. Gardens 1 minute 52. It's like crazy times. Huh, two ties on Katie's World at Dinky Park, both 38 seconds. Slate and Rampant, I'm gonna have to mute you if you keep being rude. Now, you know what? I'm gonna mute you now. Uh, put user in timeout. There we go. Um, what else do we have here? Like Thunder Rock, Rainbow Valley. There. Rainbow Valley is only it's still 5 minutes 3 seconds. I did that faster, right? That should e that should easily be beatable. Um, but Rainbow Valley has already been done faster in the complete full game leaderboard. Look at this. 18 minutes, 38. For all Forest Frontier scenarios. Isn't that crazy? That's absolutely madness. I did 42 minutes earlier today at the start of the day. This is 1838. That's complete madness. And you know what? You can uh, watch the start of this. What a lovely resolution. Oh well, I'm going to go to the toilet. And uh, I'll see you back in a minute. Looks like this person is using an auto clicker. I guarantee they're not. This is ceaselessly. They wouldn't cheat. Hang on. What were we looking at? Did you enjoy the toilet? I had a great time. That is very fast. Maybe they're using two fingers to click. Did you wash your hands? Yes, I did. Could bind click to scroll. Oh, no, wait. Are they maybe not clicking but using a hotkey? There's a hotkey for that. Not in my version that I use, so I can't use it. But there's a hotkey for this in newer versions. Just give a bit forward. Let's see how they do the one that I had trouble with. This one. Let's see. Why are you using an old version? For lag reasons. The highest guest goal in OpenRCT2. Or, in the, sorry, the highest guest goal in RCT1 base game is only 1200, or I think. That's a lot of path. So, you don't get a lot of lag, but today I need. I, I will see a lot of higher guest goals. That's a lot of path. I imagine a summoning salt video over Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. That would take at least 5 more years of fairly intense running though, so don't count on it anytime soon. Okay, so they just don't use queue lines. 
Which I suppose works. Oh! Now they use a more modern version. And in the more modern version of OpenRST2. Which I kind of hate. The queue lines. Like if you have path on your saved designs. Then they can go through all their paths. And they will disappear. In my version that's not the case. And I kind of dislike that in the newer versions. Although... There's maybe a happy balance, because there's currently a thing that's not nice with it. If you've seen people play Tetris, you'll know how fast and precise their licks are. <laughs> Just imagine people licking a controller to, pl to play Tetris. I'm off, everyone enjoy the stream. Alright, see ya. Have fun with your girlfriend, York. Okay, so they just used that, which obviously fits in a lot more places. Still takes them quite a bit of time, because it's just not a very fast one. But yeah, the reason I use the longer queue line is because it's more useful in other parks. Oh yeah, they pre-speed up before the ads, and they just already speed up while doing the ads. Although not entirely, but... I would kind of like to get a world record on this. But I think it's a bit out of my reach at the moment. When is Winter Sun releasing time 2? I don't know, probably another 20 years. Considering how it's been going so far. Now we're just in a little bit of a break. Um, GN, JN, I've... Beaten Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. I've done all of these. All of these. And all of these. Let's get the splits from Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 engaged. Uh, uh, save splits, yes. There we go. How long have you been at this so far? Almost 6 hours. It's going, uh, it's going quite nicely. But we definitely don't need another six hours for this. We are, we have done, we need 65 more scenarios. So we're past halfway of all the scenarios. And especially Time Twister is really fast. I've done Time Twister in under 20 minutes. All these scenarios. Now I won't reach that level today. But... Oh yeah, the reason their name works is because the word dating is in their username. Not in their message, but whatever. Thank you, Cringe. You know, half an hour might be doable on this. I did 29.09 on this a few days ago. And I've done 54 minutes on this. What do you say? We... Uh Get started, eh? Let's do this. Okay, we start deleting the castle. I don't think it's necessary, but I just want to delete it. Uh, and then we research until we get the looping coaster. Which takes a while. But that's fine, because we can do other stuff in the meantime. Such as... Building a fry stall on top, on top of a sugar, what a cotton candy stall. One of those, and the toilets. Let's see, do we have it unlocked already? Yes, we do. Awesome, much better than the junior. I used to use. All right. Just say sugar spider. Uh, the, the the literal translation of the Dutch word. Yeah, we call it a cyber spin, which indeed translates to sugar spider. Okay, we need 1,500 guests in this one. Which is rather easy. You know, you just need a few of these, and you need some advertisements. The usual. Loan is quite high. Uh, this'll be enough. 
13. And we do some of this stuff. You know the deal. Uh, some stuff, please. There we go. Renew the ads. And that one. And that one. 100 more. And we're finished. Electric fields. Mango muncher. Mango muncher. Uh, mango muncher. Oops, need money. Mango muncher. And, of course, a mango muncher. Then you open those babies. You build one sandwich shop. And you advertise. And that's it. This should work. And it does. This is quite a tight one, but it always works. Alright, let's delete everything. Haha, <laughs> penis pool. Pond, whatever. And time to build a loop. And then we're gonna build uh, some looping coasters. And then we're gonna advertise and we're gonna get enough guests in, in one bout of advertising. One round of it. Alright. Uh, oh, we need to still unlock it. Let's do that. Might have already built some stalls. A, hey, why not? Okay, I think we've unlocked it by now. Yes, we have. Oh, we could also do corkscrew coasters. Well, I'm going looping because that's what I'm used to here. Do we get Ferris wheel spam in any scenario? No, unfortunately not. Ferris wheels are quite terrible. I think the only flat rides that we use deliberately are... Um, the swinging ship and the motion sim. Okay, uh, open the park. Open the rides. Uh, we charge for the park. Good, that means an extra advertisement. So that means guests faster. I keep pressing D accidentally when I want to press S for staff. Next. Amity Airfield. Let's see how fast I can do this. Um... Okay, uh, let's see, uh, we need it there, one, that, one, two, three, four, S-bend, no, the other way, and S-bend, and that way, and then like that, and then we'll do it like that. And you. And then... Oh, wait. First we need more path. Just like that. Then we save it. The reason we save this path with it is so that we don't have to build all the path ourselves. Which is much, much quicker. Oh, hang on. I think I missed a spot. No, I didn't miss a spot. 
Okay, let's open, go to 38, that'll be fine. Okay, and this build some more of those. Some of those. Uh, how much money can I still borrow? Okay, I got a 16k. Uh, now it's time for stalls. Uh, cash machines. And that one. Open up. Now it's not too high anymore. Okay, now time to build. No. Build some more. Let's get rid of that. Okay, before I do the ads, I'm just gonna build more of this. I know it's not aligned, but that's perfectly fine. Ugh, alright, I'll just ignore that one. Okay, I think I need 17 of these. Oh, I have no staff. Whoops. Uh, let's get some staff going. And a few of those. And then renew the ads. The reason I'm here is because then I don't have to render everything. And that is faster. Learned that from someone else. All right, this should be enough to get to 3,000 guests. Let's see. I'm kind of trying to get a personal best here. My personal best is 426. I don't know if I managed to get a personal best, but we'll see. Considering the time and the time that the other scenarios took. No. It's not going to work, is it? But it won't be that slow. Okay, 2,500. Oh, well, we're already at 2,700. Come on. Okay. Just two weeks will do. All right. 441. That's not quite a personal best, but it is a good time. Botany Breakers. Okay, here I just need 9 launch 3 falls at 13 bucks each. That seems doable. I need to invent it first. Might as well open the park. There we go. Okay. Now, this won't count for a Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 world record, but it would be nice if we got a quite a decent time on this, wouldn't it? Uh, how many do we have? Seven. Oh, thank you for the two bucks, James. Good job, Jarsnell. Oh, you Jars are you Jarsnell? Uh, and then, okay, like that. And then make sure that I have them all at 13. Thirteen. Thirteen. 13. Is Launch Freefall the most profitable thrill ride? Uh, yes, probably. Although the beheaded roto drop can give it a run for its money in terms of profit per euro spent. 
But if you're looking pure profit, then yeah, it's the best. Okay, and then we need uh, one stall. Oh, cash money, please. There we go. That should be enough. Uh, it isn't. Oh, it was. Just about. We needed 10k. We have 10,166. Holy damn. Next, Bumbly Bazaar, which is where we... Do this, uh, make it 20, and then start fast forwarding. Do that so we have a few more guests in the park. And now we just hope for rain. That's all you can do. I just, I don't need to do anything. Well, hiring a few animals would probably be a good idea. There we go. That was rain. That's how you do that. <laughs> Dusty greens. Um, now we need launched free fall here. I need five of them. I don't even need to remove the mini golfs. Thank you for the 10 bucks, J Spike. Love your videos. My birthday, so the stream is also most a special treat. Uh, well, happy birthday. Hope you're enjoying your birthday also outside of this stream. Hope you've got some nice presents. Uh, open them up. Uh, might need some stalls. All right. I oh, don't have the cash. Okay, now I do. That was easy. Okay, fungus woods. And then, uh, on a 30, it'll be big enough. Okay, need to clear a bit there. Um, and then need to lower that. Need to turn that on, which I did. I um, think that's a good spot. And then we just go like that. Uh, now we need one more. Uh, and I'll just continue building from the back. Okay, we use articulated trains for this, which is long enough so that it can climb this ultra steep chain lift. So then we test it. Uh, like I said, oh, apparently this is also long enough now. Uh, surprise, surprise, I didn't know. But, you know, whatever. Do the same here. We build a lot of these. And we save with scenery. Just like that. Um... This is not going to be nicely aligned. Oh, we don't have the cash money. Okay, to save the queue line, I'm going to rotate them all twice. Uh, 12k in the bank, 10k. Okay, it's time to do stalls. Whoops. Um, and so let's see, we need an info kiosk and that. We 
need to charge 30 for this. Then we need to do add. Oh, open up. Add and more add. All right. Then I'll just build more of these. And time for more ads. Come on. Make lots and lots more. Okay, I didn't rotate them, but that's actually fine. This is a mess, this park, isn't it? Okay, uh, more ads. Come on. Need more staff as well. There we go, that's better. Okay, I think this might be enough for the 2500. Let's just see. I'm trying to be the personal best here. And maybe even get the world record. Wouldn't that be nice? So let's hope this is enough for 2500. Just a few hundred more. 200 more. 100. Come on. Yes. 446. Haha. <laughs> That's a big world record. World record is 525. I got my first world record today. Yeah. When are you coming out of the States to write all our coaches out there? Maybe sometime, I don't know. But I got a world record. <laughs> That's a hell of a time. I didn't make many mistakes. This is counted an official world record. Yeah, why not? I didn't use any pre-built designs. Like, I built this design which I used in this scenario. Can you just submit it from this stream or do you need to cut it out? I'm going to cut it out and put it on my second channel, Marcel Doss. I watched the Marcel stream and all I got was the stupid I got a world record shirt. I know it's a meme from somewhere, but I don't really get it. Do you use the Fungus Woods roller coaster? Anything except Fungus Woods. No. It's not quite a 446, by the way, because, you know, a few seconds, probably like 444, because I'm always time it early because you know there's time in between loading the scenarios and stuff so especially gravity gardens will be much faster than it shows on the split because i've done all this talking at the end of fungus woods i thought the second channel's been named to marcel vault yeah but that's no longer the second channel that's the vault's channel now um hey that guy how you doing i just got a world record on fungus woods of 440 something most likely 443 or 444 good morning to you Okay, let's do Gravity Gardens. Pay back the loan. Delete all the staff. All the staff, I meant all the path. And then we just build corkscrew coasters until we have no money left. I don't know how many that is, but that doesn't matter. I'm still going. You also, Slime, missed a world record by, like, one minute. I just got a Fungus Woods world record. And you can see the time right there. Thank you for the 444, Natcha 47X. Okay, one more. And let's go. 
And that was easy. Oh, I have one more than I needed. Infernal views. Okay, this is again one where we need a lot of uh, money to afford the ride that we built. So I've already saved two, like more than one and a half minutes on just fungus wood on my 54 minute time. So that shows just how much improvement there still is. And this still wasn't the perfect fungus wood. It was a lot better, a lot smoother. And the tip of being away from the guests when you're fast forwarding that hey there I'm dead gave me uh, is definitely helping a lot. Yeah, I will upload the record to Marcel Doss. Okay, for now I'm just making a lot of money with this. And open. Oh, by the way, I should probably research roller coasters. Like that. Okay, this is probably enough of those. Yeah, they're all open. And now it's time to start building these fellas. Uh, no, dang it. Um, and how about Black Widow? And sure, why not? We'll just do a Cobra. Will that have enough? It will, just about. And we'll build a Liberty Loop. Do we have multiple terrains here? No, we don't. Hang on. Where's the... Oh, I clicked on that. I was like, where has the kaching noise gone? I was missing it. I was getting used to it. We'll do Hellhound. And we'll do... What else shall we do? A Giga? Goliath? Sure. Why not? And we'll do Mouse Towers. Is this enough already? No, I think we need one more. Uh, let's do... Which one shall we do? How about Dizzy Mice? There we go. Alpine Adventures. Oh, well, that's also a very easy one. Uh, you simply take out all the loan. You lower a bit of this. There we go. Then you remove that one, of course. I like how the cash, cash noise occasionally pops up with the unpredictable rhythm. Yeah, it's sort of musical. Okay, I just need six of these. And that'll be enough. Okay, make them all 13. Three, four, five, six, build a stall or two, and then uh, open them all, add All the way down and fast forward time. There we go. Easy. Extreme heights. That's a big one. It's a very big one. All 
variety. So, uh, let's do this. We grab the twister coaster. And then we do that. No, we only need two. We need to do 78. The Rainbow Summit be the hardest one. No, Rainbow Summit isn't as hard. Extreme Heights will take quite a bit longer. Okay. Um. Need a long queue line on these. And then the exit line. Wh whoops. Okay. Now let's save. Perfect stats. Wonder if we could set the personal best on this. It would count because once again I'm only building the rides that I'm using right now. Okay, then let's build some more. Now we don't need to worry about advertising here or anything. I just need to worry about staff and whatnot. Making sure everything stays clean. Um, more of these. Oh, I messed that up. Well, it's fine. I should have done a waiting time of 120 seconds. But it's fine. We can still make it with this. Just take a little bit longer. Alright, let's uh, get some stalls going. Why do I need a hat stall? Well, for those of you who wanted to hear the toilet... There you go. Luckily, there's no deadline on this scenario. Uh, you know what? I'll just connect that this way. Oh god, that's not connected. Well, this is not going to be a personal best. But that's fine. Okay, you know what? Just gonna connect that like that. Okay, this is it's gonna be all messed up, but uh, no, dang it! Ugh. Well, after a great fungus woods, we have a not so great extreme heights. But that's fine. We don't need to be great at everything. We just need to be good enough to set a decent time. Sounds like kids laughter. Should the kids enter a park called Extreme Heights? I don't know. You're still crushing it. Oh yeah, in terms of the entire run today, it's going fine, but... In terms of just extreme heights, it's not going so hot. Alright. Park rating is suffering a little bit. Suppose I should hire some more handymen. There we go. How hot is it in your room now? Not that hot. 
It's a tad on the warm side. But not super hot. Okay, time for more twister coasters. We are slowly getting guests. So, you know, we're still going in the right direction. It just takes a while. We're already six minutes in. And I don't think we're gonna reach the end in another two minutes. But, you know, we'll see. 34. We almost have enough right for the soft gas cap of 4,500. We're not far away from there. It's getting laggy. Yeah, this is not on your end. This is on my end. Or well, on the game's end. I suppose. Okay, 39 right. That is a soft gas cap of 33, uh, 4380. No, 4680. And now it's just waiting. Put some extra guests here, which increases the soft gas cap even more. Extra guests, extra stalls. And make sure the guests stay here on the other side of the park for longer. And other than that, it's just waiting. We need 800 more guests. Ugh. You know what? This might not be such a bad time after all. This might still be a personal best. I find it interesting how modern computers lag at some levels. Speedrunning on original hardware specs must have been impossible. Well... The original speedrun, you would not have a speed-up function. <laughs> so, you know. How are you feeling? Tired? I mean, my body is a bit tired from sitting a lot. You I mean, I do spend a lot of time at my computer usually, but... I do stand up in between more. Ha! Huh, 754. That's still a personal best. And if someone else hadn't beaten my record already, it would have been a world record. So... Not bad. You should get one of those fancy standing desks. You know how m how much worse six hours of standing would be than six hours of sitting. Like, I can be active and on my feet for six hours, sure. But standing in one spot for six hours is awful. The one that can go up and down. I won't, don't, don't want to constantly move it up and down while I'm streaming. I don't even have a proper desk now. It's just a table. I mean, it'll do, it, it does fine. Just a job. Okay, ghost town. Now, I thought Ghost Town would take, a, you know, wouldn't be really possible to get it below 20 minutes. My most recent time got it down to about um, six and a half. Okay, we need to research a lot of shops and stalls. All right. And we need to place a lot of launch tree falls. The reason we need to research so many shops and stalls is for the cash machine. Takes a while to unlock it. I think we've got it by now. So let's make these all five, not 13, just five. How are you rotating right with hotkeys? I mean, it's simply bound a hotkey to it. For me, it's A. A rotates to right. Yeah, still 600 people watching. It's not really getting much higher, but it is stable, and that's already great. Which means that interest is not waning. 
Apparently, I keep being interesting. Yeah, Z might be the original one, but Z for me is hiding the HUD. Uh, which I don't really use in speedrunning, but this is what Z does. Okay. And, yeah, we have the cash machine now. Like, the bottom row of my keys is all stuff that doesn't really come up in speedrunning, but are still very useful. Changing the scaling factor, I do with X and C. Which I can't showcase because those hotkeys don't exist yet in this version. But that is massively useful. Oh, oops. Deleted some path here. That is massively useful for speedrunning. Uh, speedrunning. No, what a, not useful for speedrunning. Massively useful for making videos. Just being able to change the, speed, the scaling factor really quickly with some hotkeys. That's an absolute lifesaver. Uh, might as well open the park. There we go. Uh, higher. No, I don't need entertainers. There we go. I need handyman. And I still need more of these. You can hear the guests coughing. I'm going to need a lot of money. He's all five. How many scenarios have you done by now? Um, 86. About 100. No, about 95. So we're closing in on 100. And they're all going. Even more. I think that should then be enough. Look at our money. We have 140k. Isn't that crazy? I meant 180k. Okay, let's see which one I actually need. I forgot. Okay, of course, we start. Oh, I do actually need to research roller coasters. Well, we've researched almost everything now. Uh, where's the hyper coaster? There we go. We start with Blue Hurricane. We always start with Blue Hurricane. Then we do... Uh, right, we do two Lunar Launchers. Which I put in this corner of the map. Now, you don't have a lot of space here. It's quite cramped. So what I do is first I build my two lunar launches here. And then I raise the land. And I build Ice Chaser, the Giga Coaster, on top. Are you going to stream on Monday as well? No, but I will be streaming tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, next one, we need the U0125. Which is quite a lovely ride. There we go. Um, I need the hairpin. Which is on the cheap side. I need to not forget to disable that. And we need the particulator, which I need to extend a little bit. There we go. Okay, I think I've placed m a few more free falls than necessary. Okay, now it's long enough. I need looping U1601. Which we can't place, so I need to remove the free falls for that. Um, one, two, three, four. I have six coasters already. Uh, let's first build zero, zero, uh, inverted 0094. Zero, zero, uh, where's that? No, that's the wrong one. Can I, can, can I fit that one there? No, I'll just build it there then. 
Okay, we have enough money. Let's uh, delete all the free falls. Okay, need two more rights. So I need this one. Okay, come on. I must be able to fit that in somewhere. Or did I build a reticulator in such a reticulated spot? Okay, you know what? I'll just... Remove all the path. Look at the guests. Lol. Um, come on. Oh, there we go. And let me guess. We need the inverted as the last one. And we can compact him. Oh, wooden. Oh, we need uh, 7316. Okay, that must fit somewhere. I specifically picked this one because it was on the smaller side. Right there. There we go. Okay, and that should be it. Yes. 838. That wasn't very fast, but not terrible either. Ugh. Next. Lucky Lake. Okay, so yesterday I did a 238 on this one. Which was very good. You can do this much faster if you had a hotkey for this. Okay, then uh, some stalls to make them keep in the park. And then some of those babies. Now, come on. Okay, now we'll do more of that. Just like that. And open. Oh shit, uh, I need more stuff, I think. Park rating is going down. Will I lose this scenario or will the staff fix it in time? No, it will be fixed in time. Good. Okay. Whoops. Uh, come on. Just need a few more rides. This should be enough. Uh, yeah, that's enough. 212. Obviously, this doesn't include the building of the coaster itself, but that's quite a fast time. <sighs> Is there an option to automatically open the rides? Nope. Only for stalls. Last one. Rainbow Summit. Okay, screw you. I don't like you. Let's get rid of that. And now I need a lot of path. So you can't build above tree height here, which is a bit annoying. And eventually I will make so much money that I will raise the land under the water. So that I can actually build my rights um, under the water. Or on the top of the water. But first, I just need lots of path. You can't advertise here, which is why we need all the path, because they need to come by themselves. Advertising is kind of forcing you to have more guests than your park can actually support. But you can't do that here. So this is definitely going to be faster than my current record, but it doesn't count because I started off with some custom builds. Including, you know, a few slower times. Like Ghost Town was quite a bit slower. 
then that means that I can definitely do much better than the 54 minutes. Okay, uh, we need to make this 55. And then it's time to start Morbin. Whatever that means. Alright. And time for that. And that and some stuff. And some of these. Oh, don't have the money. Now I have the money. Let's just fast forward already. Uh, don't need two of those. And then... Here. Uh, info kiosk. Okay, that's enough for now. Because we do op we do have a deadline here, so we can't fast forward all the time. Just need to build a few more rides now. And then I'll soon have enough money to get rid... Well, not entirely get rid of the water, but get rid of that restriction. There we go. Bam. And now I can start building my rights on the water. Very good. And there. There. Let's open them. Oops. Close them all <laughs> accidentally. We're getting close. Getting quite close. 24 rides. Ah, dang it. Let's just open them. Two hundred more guests. One hundred. Keep misplacing that, but it's fine. We we are there. There we go. Forty nine twenty nine with some help, of course, but that's a good time. That's a very good time. Stretch break time, yeah, and toilet break time. For some reason, I need to go to the bathroom a lot more often than I usually do during the stream. Ugh. Yeah, maximum support limit is so low because you can't build above the tree height, which is why I'm doing that. That's six minutes shorter than last time. Well, five minutes shorter, but obviously, like I said, there are a lot of custom rides that I didn't build, like the looping coaster I didn't build. So what are the custom rides I would have built? Um, looping Coaster in Casey Castle. Um, then we reused that in Factory Caper. So the Looping Coaster I would have built. The Corkscrew Coaster, obviously. The Launched Freefall. Um, the Intense Corkscrew Coaster. And, okay, that's it. So it's the building of four rides. Well, that would have definitely been... That would not have taken five minutes. So, this is... If you include the building of those four rides, this would still have been under 54. So, this is a new record. Yeah, and the testing, but the testing is instant because you just fast forward. So, how much room for improvement? Oh, there's a lot of room for improvement still. So, the rest of the packs are just the one 45 hours where you take your best times. Uh, let's see. I have a best time of 29.19 on Wacky Worlds, 19.48 on Time Twister, 7.29 on the real parks, and 43.11 on other parks. So that's 50, about an hour, about 1 hour 40 minutes. So yeah, you were pretty accurate. Cool. 
Comment threading water. You guys want me to kill them all? Well, not all of them, but sure, I'll I'll drown them. When do you do the real parks? At the end. Well, not the very end. The other parks are at the very end, but the real parks are right before the other parks. Comments le drowning. Okay, I can drown. I can drown even more guests. Ha ha ha! Uh, and I'm out of money. But that killed even more guests. How long do you think this will take? Well, you know, I could probably do it within three hours of now. I've been live for almost seven hours. And it's uh, it's been fun so far. Sacrifices have been made. The RCT gods will be pleased. They will be. Okay, so... Let's go to menu. Let's have a little look. At the speedruns. We got the rollercoaster tycoon 2. Um, this one I crushed Fungus Woods to about well about uh, 40 seconds faster. To about 443 roughly. And my best was 614. So I got about one and a half minutes faster is that 40 seconds yeah i got about one and a half minutes faster than my personal best coffee or energy drink from you for you nothing just water and apple juice nothing else we also have 857 from qxxq i would love it if more people got active in this and try to take it down even further like, already quite a few people joined the speedrunning Discord I mentioned in my latest video. I would love it if just even more people did that. You know, just started actually running, taking some records. Because right now, obviously because of me, the speedrunning is active again. But I would love it if it stayed active, the speedrunning scene in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, even if I stopped. According to YouTube, my stream is healthy. I was looking at some more analytics. The average view duration has gone up, which makes sense as I've been streaming for longer. Let's see, other than that, there's not a lot of interesting uh, metrics. And the chat rate has gone up to 20 instead of 10. Presumably it's because i just beaten this and you guys chatted a lot and whatnot. Uh, views, almost 12,000. It's like a whole three of us who run this game a lot. Hey there, I'm dead. Were you here when I beat your Fungus Woods record? This one. Um, I got a roughly 4.43. So... And it can still be done faster. I also... Um, as you can see... Got a new personal best... On Extreme Heights. But even though it's not approved yet, I believe um, you have already improved mine, right? What did you get on your extreme heights? Oh, no, it's not the one I want. Because um, I just did 754, so it's a little bit faster than that, so 750 probably or so. They really just missed you taking six minutes of the Arc Steel World Rex from earlier this week. No, it doesn't count, because I started with pre-builds. How do I force my sister to play Rollercoaster Tycoon? Um, just tell her that if she doesn't play Rollercoaster Tycoon, all the other girls at school won't like her. I'm, I'm assuming that she's like 9 here or something like that, not 16. <laughs> or even an adult. 7... 742. Okay, I almost beat that then. Like I have 754 here, but it was a few seconds faster, probably like 750-ish. Dude, let's not do by gunpoint. 
Unless your gun is like a nerf gun or whatever, that would be funny. Did you do Volcania yet? Yes. What's the record on Volcania? I might have that. Uh, oh, there's roller coaster on one, obviously. I might. I mean, I know I don't have it here, but maybe I. Or do I? Hang on. Okay, someone has done it. Two minutes seven. Holy, that's fast. Okay, so they just didn't open it any. Oh, coast five coaches with coaster building hotkeys. That makes sense. Proud of you, Marcel. For, thanks for bringing attention to our speedrun community. Yeah, thank you. I hope... As I said earlier, I think you just missed that. What I hope... Is that... Eventually, the speedrunning community in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2... Is big enough that even if I stop... It doesn't stop. Thank you for the five bucks, Joe Cambo. Marcel, you make amazing videos. Thank you for sharing all of your knowledge. I was just wondering if there's any way to download your track designs. Um, so, there is a Google Drive, which I think you can access under all my right overview videos. It's also linked somewhere in the Discord, probably in the Google, probably in the Coaster discussion or Coaster Games chat. And that Google Drive has all my designs for my ride overviews on it. Um, and I have done a ride overview on a course crew, so it includes like that efficient course crew design. Same goes for the looping coaster. Sub-30 may be possible. Uh, I have my doubts about sub-30. At least for a while. Sub-40 I will see happening. But sub-30 you need to be... Like you need to have 20 minutes of what I just did. That's almost 50%. That's like... That's crazy. What are your thoughts on putting more water slides in OpenRST2? You mean like the... What's it called? The soaked program. Because uh, the developers are trying to get the RCT3 soaked expansion into open RCT2, which would be great. So yeah, I would like that. Alright. Let's open up a fun park that you can watch while I go to the toilet. Um, I know. I'll open up one of my Giga Coaster records. Let's see, Giga Coaster. That one. And there it goes. Oh, I can't follow the train here. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I'll use my auto clicker for that. And there we go. Have fun watching this. I'll be back in a bit. And we're back. How many? Just on two helixes. 
Yeah, it's quite a big ride, isn't it? Yeah, let's get back. And let's close the auto clicker. Because we don't need that for the scenarios. What are you on about, Slate and Rampant? You know, one more comment like that and I'll just ban you. You don't contribute positively to the chat in any way. I think it's time to load up the split for Vecchi Worlds. Which is uh, 17 scenarios. Uh, did you PB on RST2 base scenarios? No, it doesn't count because I started with some pre builds. Time to get wacky. Yeah, I quite like a lot of these scenarios actually. They're, I think they're interesting. Although, Roller Coaster Haven Heaven is the stupidest scenario ever. You literally can't fail it. There's no money, there's no fail condition, there's just. Nothing. Wacky Worlds and Time Twister feel a lot more fun than the RCT1 expansions due to the theming. Yeah, the RCT1 expansions are just endlessly the same scenario. Like, some of them are fun, sure, but it's just... It just keeps on going, keeps on going. There are so many as well. Before you start, how much time do you save... The uh, time save do you think there is by maxing out PC specs? Yeah, a bit. Depends on the scenario, of course. Um, like extreme heights, quite a bit. But on Wacky Worlds, less so, because there aren't as many high guest goals. Let's see what the highest guest goal is here. Um, 15 to 2000. Yeah, the 2000 is one. But European Culture Festival takes very little time anyway. Um, 2500, but this one is also quite quick. 2200. Yeah, there are only a few with higher guest goals. What's in your current rig? Um, an Intel i7. Uh, some kind of graphics card. I don't know. I, I knew when I had it built. Now I don't. <laughs> Fikanel Kipcorn. I don't know what Kipcorn is, so Fikanel. Fikanel are great anyway. We're gonna count from the 390 for much so you can test if good PC specs would help. I'm gonna like get a new computer at some point, but probably like in a year or two. Or maybe quicker if I suddenly make a lot of money. Who knows? Okay. We are seven hours in today. Of, of today at the moment. Exactly seven hours. What do you think of that? And we have completed 96 scenarios. Five hours to go. Well, I need to complete this within five hours. I said the reason before, I'll repeat it. It's because YouTube can't archive live streams uh, longer than 11 hours 55 minutes. If you do stream for a longer time, then it just only uploads the first 11 hours 55 minutes, which is what happened on my previous long live stream. I lost like the past, the last um, eight minutes, which wasn't a big deal. But if in the last eight, like if it takes me 14 hours and the last two hours, which are like these two sections or whatever, are just not there, then obviously that's not okay. That can just restart the stream. Now, then, in that, if that would happen, if it would take me longer than that many hours, uh, than 12 hours, I would simply not have YouTube archive it and I'll upload it myself. But that would take a long time, we need to process it and whatever. So that's why I practiced a lot, so that I could easily get it under 12 hours and I could take my time. Like, there's another two hours or so for this, and I have five. <laughs> All right, let's go. 
Okay, uh, research corkscrew. Like, if I was a bit more prepared, I could, for example, know which one I need to disable and which one I don't need to disable. But I don't know that. Okay. I need six intense corkscrews. Come on. Got it. Okay. Uh, that's four. Five. Six. One. Okay, I need eight corkscrews here. Uh, normal corkscrews. Okay, now I... Okay, and I can fit them nicely in between there. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then I'll just uh, connect that there. Okay. Um, some stalls that aren't connected. Fantastic. Okay. And then um, that. And that. Yep. And that. Okay, fantastic. Now we need more. No, nope. dang it. There we go, much better. Okay. Will this be enough? It might just be. I think we need a little bit more. Okay, this one doesn't need to be connected. I just need to get guests. All right. Next one. Uh, Grand Canyon. Which just needs... Um, a few corkscrews. I think three is enough. And then open everything. Advertise. Okay. And let's go. Need some stuff. I think this is enough. Yes. Okay, next is Rio Carnival. For which we will delete all the scenery and stuff. Then we'll pay back the loan. Now we just need two cobras. Uh, wrong cobra. Right. And I think it'll still work. Oh god, this one needs to wait for any load. All right, that's a bit slower than I wanted it to be. Oh, it didn't work. I was too slow, it didn't work. That's fine. Why didn't I just build intense corkscrews? I had them, I forgot. There we go. Oh, uh, oops. Go back, no. Go back. Okay. Okay, this one is just... I did it on my previous Wacky Worlds as well. My personal best of 2909. Is I just forgot that I... Because I practiced Rio Carnival um, before. Where I just needed the Cobras. Because I didn't have any pre builds But obviously in Wacky Worlds, I already have the, the pre-builds. Oh, by the way, I actually have the world record on this scenario, but I didn't submit it because I thought it was terrible. Like, I made so many mistakes 
And I thought I could easily do it much faster. I think this is a new personal best. Pretty sure it is. Um, so a new world record. That I didn't submit it. I didn't want people to see that. Okay. Okay, we got another. I'll just, hang on, I'll just ban you. There we go. Well, we finally got rid of Slate and Rampant. With enough... Uh, like, I don't want to randomly ban people after just one weird comment. And with those kind of, sort of, on the edge trolls. Like, I hope you guys understand why I'm a bit hesitant with it. Because you don't want to go overboard. So, you know. You were too generous. Maybe I was. Okay, these are a lot better than Escape Hatch, which you use if you do just um, Wacky Worlds. As these um, are, what's it called? Have a queue line. Okay, that should be enough. 16, yeah, that's how many Escape Hatches we also want it. Um, that. Let me do that. And that. Okay. Now we just wait. Do the ads again. Easy. Let's do Ayers Rock, which needs a few corkscrews. Ten, I believe. Or as I like to call it, Uluru, which I think is a much better name. Okay, I don't know how many we're on. Are we already on 10? We're on 9. Now we're on 10. Okay, uh, let's get some stalls going. Oh, we don't have the cash. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, now we do. Let's go. Are Scorkscrew's the most efficient gas detractor? Pretty much. I've made a video on it. Um, called something like the most efficient ride in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. How many guests do we need? Oh god. I think we need 1500. And we stopped like 10 short of it. Yep. Okay, time for advertisements immediately. You don't need to build any rides in this one. And that is an idea of mine. The notes I got actually required me to build quite a few rides. Um, but I was like, nah, we don't need any. I mean, obviously, you do need the rights that you start with. Oh, and you need a, a no-entry sign. That's very important. It just about works out. You're not making enough money, but the loan is just high enough. At about 1850, I'm going to enable the no-entry sign, and that should work.
Let's see. Come on. There we go. And it works. Awesome. Um, next, roller coaster haven. Okay, let's see if I know this one by heart still. First, we need to delete everything. Well, not the rides. Um, okay, let's just look it up. Uh, brainstorm. Yeah, the problem is just that you, you don't have all the ones you need. All the coasters you need. You just don't have enough different coast types. And you won't unlock any others. Uh, let's see. Brainstorm, you Frightmare. Oh, we don't do Twister Coaster, apparently. Oh, no, we do. Frightmare's Twister Coaster. Uh, Frightmare. And then we do Verticulator. Pretty sure. Uh, Ice Chaser again. And then we do um, UU0096. Uh, this is 9.4, but... Oh, I used... Oh, this is 9.6. Okay, good enough. Need to disable the synchronize on this. And Empire Express, if I remember correctly. Was that? Yes. Now we need X. Which we need to extend, because it's not long enough. It's not assembly that's broken, week in the third, it's just in general. I see time twister. No. This is not time twister, this is wacky worlds. Um, I need this one. No, real parks and other parks are at the very end. Um, and we need updraft and extend that one as well. Which I extend that way. Yeah, this is all wacky world. Uh, I don't know if this is long enough. Uh, probably is. Uh, did I miss any? Yeah, UU59. Uh, or was that that one? This one, yes. I think this is all. Okay, there are enough coasters. It's just that I think one of them might not be long enough. No, they are. Oh, of course. X needs scenery. There we go. Now we don't need a name. That took a minute slower than my record. Took a minute slower. What a great, uh, well Englished. Okay, in my current personal best for Inca Lost City, this took me forever because I made lots of mistakes. And we're going to use the hyper coaster here for once. Which we don't use very often. Uh, oops. There we go. Okay. Hyper time. One, two, three, four. And we'll make a little hill. One, two, three, four. Now, the reason that this works is because you can launch it. And 61, I believe, was the speed. Uh, yes. Alright. Oh, now we save it. Alright. And time to build 11 or whatever. 12, apparently. According to my notes. And we probably need more path after this. Alright. That one. There. 
You forgot the exit path. Oh, I'll build them all custom later. That's fine. I just noticed. Uh, how many do we have? Ten. This is just for one. I'm not going to reuse it, so it doesn't matter a lot. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And time for some stalls. And uh, we need that one. That one. Alright. Before we fast forward, I need staff because you can't uh, let your park rating go below 700 on this one. Hang on, did we charge for the rides here? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm not making money at all. Um, hang on. Did I just mess up that queue line? I think I did. But I definitely need more path. And I need to advertise again. How am I feeling? I feel a little bit tired, physically, mentally not, but I'm doing well. How many guests do we even need? 1500 probably. Come on, yeah, there we go. Oasis. Now, we have plenty of money here, so that's easy. And the 50k loan, thank you very much. And for whatever reason, there's path there. Not anymore. Yeah, just move on for the guy from the annoying guy. How's the wrist feeling? Not too bad. Presumably because... I'm not stressing out too much over getting the fastest time possible. I definitely felt my wrist in my actual great runs. Um, dislikes went from 4 to 18. Marcel Bent, the dude, for just giving an English tip. I mean, yeah, for everyone who was just here for that, that makes sense. But it was being annoying for a long time. Um... Yeah, I'm not too stressed about this, so I'm not going to try hard. So it makes sense that my wrist doesn't hurt that much. Actually, not at all, really. Where can I find your record speedruns? Uh, most of them you can find on my second channel. Some of them, like the Micro Park, are still on old channels. You need Marcel Doss, the one with the orange background. Okay... I don't really know how many we need, but better save than sorry. Uh, I can put it there. Okay, that's probably plenty. And we need some stalls. And some advertisements. Some advertisement. There we go. And some stuffies more. And I think we'll get there, however many we need. As I said, I have no idea. Probably around 1500. Let's see. Is it 1500? It is! In five years, which is super easy. Okay. No, wrong one. Uh, whoops, need money. Okay, we need just five intense corkscrews. That's a lot of misclicks. 
Yes, you missed Rio de Janeiro. I did quite badly on it. I had to delete the car rides and build an extra intense corkscrew. Because <laughs> I did the thing wrong. Next. Okay, here all we need to do is advertise. Uh, whoops, split. And some more handymen might come in useful as well. And that's all there is to this scenario. Oh, there's a very high maximum loan. I didn't know that. And renew the ads. It would be very useful if there was an option that automatically renewed ads if they ran out and you had the money. Maybe a bit OP for situations like this. Um, so maybe it's better as a plugin. I would definitely use that as a plugin. 100 more. Like there is a cheat now for just infinite ads. So your ads never run out. But that's like then you don't pay for it. Okay, it doesn't quite work this time. But I know how I get it to work. A no entry sign. This is one of those things where advertising, just advertising twice doesn't always work. Sometimes you just about don't get it. And for individual levels, that's fine. Then you just, you know, try again. You just need to have that one time where it works. But if you do a full run, obviously that's not fine. I need to have quite a bit of path here because we need 2200 guests. Okay, that's a connection. And we'll go up there. Okay, then we need to delete all closed rights. Which were there. And we need to build the corkscrew. Uh, 20 will probably do. Okay. Going well so far. Oh. That one. And that one. This scenario is fun. Because if you manage to get to the other side, you've basically won the scenario. Yeah, but you don't need to get to the other side. You can just stay on this side. Delete everything on the other side. Make some money with that. Uh, oh, oh, I got plenty down there, I think. Oh, we charge for the entry. That means we need to be charging a little bit more. Okay, this should work. Let's see if it does. 12 weeks. 12 weeks. We need just 500 more. 12 weeks. 12 weeks. 200 more. There we go. Um, next. Renovation. So we delete everything. And I mean literally everything, well, except the stalls. And then we built um, eight stingrays. Or do we have, no, we don't have a better ride available. 
that's literally it. You will eight stingrays. That's five, uh, six, seven. Is it eight? Yes, it is. You pay back the loan and you win. Oh, do we have another bot? There we go. That's it. Two more to go. Extreme Hawaiian Island. Which we use a rotor drop for. Uh, how many do we need? Seven. Now it's for the. We need eight rotor drops. With ten pieces each. So, uh, rotor drop. One, two, three. No, uh, one back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then. And like that. Testing, testing. Save with scenery. Uh, and like that. Like that. Four. Oh. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, and now time to advertise the hell out of this park. Come on. Let's charge a bit more. Also, let's get some handyman. Go again. Okay. Last one. That was easy. And then South America Rainforest Plateau. Okay, I'm gonna beat my personal best of 29.09. Although. To be fair, there I had to build all the rides custom. Here I didn't. So it's clear that that was quite a good run. And there we go. 28.19. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And they're all going in synchronization. <laughs> that was the shortest one so far. Let's go! Ugh. We're still above 600 viewers. That's very nice. I don't think that many new viewers, considering the rate of donations has slowed down dramatically. But uh, a lot of people are hanging around, which is very nice. Almost 13,000 uh, different viewers. His expansion is so tacky, but profound clearing and also quick. I don't think it's that tacky. Like all, like these three scenery items, in conjunction with each other, they look quite good. You know, I quite like the shape of this scenario. A scenario like this is a lot more interesting, I think, also visually, than like another scenario like this or whatever. Like, we've seen this... Something like this loads of time. I admit I took a nap for a couple of hours, but to be fair, it started at 3 a.m. for me. You got up at 3 a.m. to watch my stream? That's dedication. I just woke up. Is it over? No, not quite. Wacky Worlds is over, but we still have three categories to go. Expansion scenery is a mixed bag. Some is decent looking. Yeah, I quite like 
this is a scenario we'll be doing in a minute. I quite like these castle pieces. Like, they're annoying to build with. Very annoying to build with. But they work well. They, they look beautiful. I put the notifications for this, but I couldn't get up at 3. I mean, I wouldn't get up at 3. So, I totally understand that. I have to say, YouTube stream interface is actual garbage. Is it? I don't watch many streams on YouTube, so... I wouldn't really know. Alright, time to have a little drink. RCT3 doesn't suck. It has... You know, it, it has cool scenery items. It has fireworks. It has on the right... Uh, you know, you can ride to the right. You can... Uh, do lots of other stuff. Uh, you have water expansion. You have a zoo expansion. It has a great soundtrack. Yeah, it has many more different rides than Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I believe. Not less. It, it's great. It's not as good as Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, but it's still great. Yeah. I'm gonna eat a little bit as well. Not a crentable. Which is bread with raisins. Is the run over? No, not yet. We're definitely much closer to the end than the beginning, though. I was planning to get up at 4 a.m., but then cancelled us planning because I've hardly slept in days. Good idea. I'm not much of a social guy, but I would like to say hello from Massachusetts. Well, hello back to Massachusetts. Oh, thank you for the 10 bucks, Cone of Arc. Always enjoy seeing videos from you. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you. Love from the cheese state, Wisconsin. I had no idea that was a cheese state. Share my bread. Oh, like I'm Jesus. Like this is my body. If you eat this up, you will become good at Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. What's your take on the latest event at Six Flags? Do you think they're going to survive? I have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't catch it, whatever happened. How fast can you do this run on Vanilla RST2? Well, let's take a look at what the world record is. Shall we? Um, you just got the roller coaster tycoon one, full game leaderboard. So, the base game for RST one is three hours and twenty four minutes. The world record set four months ago. So that's uh, quite slow compared to the eighteen minutes of fast forward percent. Of course, Kufondi literally has no run. And neither does Loopy Landscapes. This is 30 scenarios. Gonna take like 4 hours to beat them all. If even longer, maybe 5 hours. Like, that's just boring. It's the same scenario after the same scenario. Like, I even get a bit bored with it on fast forward percent. Let alone original percent. It's just one Twitch, one stream that's on Twitch, which is this one. The other ones will just be on Twitch, Jeroen. Now let's see Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Full game leaderboard. Original has no run. There are no runs for the full game. But if you go to the uh, level leaderboard. Then 25 minutes, 11, 18, 56 minutes, 30 minutes, 3 minutes, 
11 minutes, 2 hours. That can definitely be done much faster though. Like, think about it. 1500 guests, like at least 20 minutes. 700 guests, like 10. 1100 guests, like 15. Um, 3000 guests, at least 40. Let's say um, you can get 500 guests in 10 minutes, roughly on average. So then we get 1500, 720, 200. 3300, 6300, um, we ignore that for a, for a bit, 6300, um, 8800, um, oh my god, this one takes much longer, 8800, uh, 13300, uh, 15400, uh, 18000. So 18,000 guests is 36 times 10 minutes is already 6 hours for just the guest calls. And that is like extreme height, you get guests much slower, at least twice as long. So you get not like one and a half hours extra on, on top of it. It's just not fun. It just takes too long. And then you have like getting 500k, okay this is not actually difficult. Uh, that doesn't take that long. And But the other ones still take a while. Like Ghost Town, making enough money to get all the money to build the rides takes forever. Ghost Town would take you like, what's the record for that? There isn't one. Like no one's bothered because it just takes so long. So yeah, without open RST2, speedrunning would absolutely be dead. It's just boring, obviously. Do it. No. No thank you. Believe it or not, the Netherlands is the second greatest agricultural exporter in the Netherlands. Yeah, it's quite crazy. There are also, by the way, records for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Um, go back. Now, for me, this doesn't like give any perspective at all, because I don't know how long these take. The level leaderboard. Like, all these levels have a record. Well, not all of them. Some do. Thank you for the 10 bucks, slow bar one. One month ago, I had never played Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Saw your videos and got hooked on your analysis and your sense of humor. Seen almost every video now and I'm half halfway through the base scenarios. Come get on 100k. Well, thank you. Didn't you say Ghost Town would only take 6 minutes 2 hours ago? Yes, but now we're talking about Vanilla, not about Open RST 2. The reason I can do it so fast in Open RST 2 is because I can speed it up and make a lot of money very quickly. That's not a thing you can do in Vanilla. All these scenarios. I have never completed a single scenario in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Like, never. I've done only sandbox. Like, I've opened the scenarios and played around a little bit a few times, but basically nothing. Pretty sure the guy you banned for giving you a thoughtful English tip in order to help you. Ah, uh, whatever. Um, I haven't told you how many times as a kid the pre-built rollercoaster exploded in Paper Bumbly Beach. Yeah, that one's a slight bit prone to, prone to crashing. Speed running base game RC is like a 100 meter sprint over a large road crossing with a traffic light. It's... Do you mean vanilla or not vanilla? Because if it's not vanilla, I think it's more like it's a marathon where you're not allowed to go faster than one kilometer an hour. Alright. Let's save and let's open up. 
a split from Time Twister. Now here I'm definitely not going to get under my PB, even with the help of the ride already being built. Why not? Because my PB is 1948, roughly, and it's crazy good. Like I played not perfectly, not even close, and strategies can still be improved, but I played immensely good. So, you know, a 25 minutes or 30 minute time would be nice. If I do get under my PB, it's a miracle, but I'm not going to try. <laughs> I have a little drink. Don't sell yourself. Sh don't sell yourself short. You'll do it. I know I won't do it. Um, because, like, I was shaking at the end. I was tired. I was just so in a state. Probably because it was live and I just about got sub-20. So I'm not going to try that now. But, uh, yeah, let's go. Okay. You go to 10. Well, that's one done. And here we just need a few of those. I don't know how many we need, but uh, four is probably enough. Five is probably enough. I think we only need three. Yeah, that's two. Okay. Um... And then here we need... Will I remember this? I've done this a few days ago. Um, Black Panther. Drive by... Uh, Harry Planes will do fine. Uh, Deja Vu. Loop the loop. Uh, Evil Vultures. Updraft and axe. Uh, dang it. That's a bit laggy. Oh, I built one too many. Whoops. Well, still got a decent time. Rock and roll flower power, baby. Okay, all we need here. Is that... Oh god, I put it on the other side. No, that's fine. What happened to the 4 these Coaster Icon? It costs image overload, it can't load it. That's a problem in older versions. It's fine though, it's, it will still work perfectly the same. Okay, 12 of the... No. Bleh. 12 of these will be enough. Okay. And then there. And there. We have 10 now. Okay, two more. And then we can advertise. Oh, we don't have the cash. Now we can advertise. Alright. 12 weeks. 12 weeks. 12 weeks. Okay, this should be enough. We need 1,500 guests, by the way. That should not be too difficult. And with this, we're still under the average of one minute per scenario. 
Now, there are a couple of longer ones coming up, namely Jurassic uh, thing and also Castle. This one will take more than three minutes. Oh god, I need to rebuild this path. Last time I accidentally trapped some guests here. Alright. Now build a lot of path. I wish poles were a thing on here. Yeah, that would have been neat. Twitch is like... A, uh, I've said it a few times now today. Twitch is a better live streaming platform. But on YouTube I simply have a better reach. If I would do this on Twitch... I would never reach, like, have a concurrent viewer base of 600 guests. Guests, people. So that's why I do it on uh, YouTube, this. The celebration live streams. You are all guests in my live stream. Okay, and then we get the twister going. Um... Booster. We'll do 64 this time. Uh, and then barrel. Uh, no, all the way. Yeah, that's better. And all the way. It's a bit short, but it'll do. It'll do perfectly fine. And then we're going to save it with the scenery. And let's go. We need like 12 of these or something like that. We need 1500 guests I believe. I just need enough. Imagine playing this near the end of a world record run where you're doing all the scenarios. That would take... You would be so, so tired. Technically, this is obviously a world record run because, well, no one's done it. But it doesn't really count. Okay. Now, advertise... I don't know if the park is actually open. Is it? Uh, yes, it's always, it's always open, of course. Because you can't let your park rating go below 700 on this one. Alright, let's go. Quite a backwards way of saying you're tired. That was not my intention. Actually, I do feel a little bit of tiredness in my fingers and whatnot. But I'm not that tired. I was just thinking what it would be if it if it actually mattered still here. Like, my time here doesn't really matter. I just need to be decently quick and that's fine. Okay, there we go. 3.23. Uh, I think someone's already brought it below 2, but or below 3. But I think that's a personal best. Um, and then... No. Alright, goodbye. This is not going to be a record. I thought if I'm quick... It might be a record, but... Uh, no. Messed up a few things. That's fine, though. Uh, save track design. How many do I need anyway? Like five? Wait. Oh. Whoops. Didn't have any staff. Yeah, I messed this up entirely. Still need to pay back the loan and we're not making money. Honestly, why aren't we making money? Quite curious. Oh, there we go. It's because it did 41 instead of 40. Was that the problem? Or are the rights now too old or something? 
Anyway, we've beaten it. That took me like a minute longer than my record. Okay, animatronic film set. Oh, <laughs> Fry stole in the way. All right, Fry stole. Just be there and be a good boy. I think I need five of them here. Love it when you have. This is quite a lovely park, isn't it? And then I just start building those monsters all over everything. All right. This is a big one. Like. This one t definitely takes the longest out of all Time Twister. My record is still above four minutes. Okay, we need to research the corkscrew. Which I think you do. Yeah, that's the first thing you research. Okay, and uh, we obviously need a cash des machines. Now, dang it. I want to place a toilet here. And on the other side, please, as well. Yes, and then uh, food and drinks. Uh, it's all good. Cash machine. Really enjoyed bathroom stall one. The bathroom stalls are particularly great. Uh, okay. Now we just need, like, 27 of those. Those corkscrew coasters. You need a lot. It's made more difficult by the fact that the guests can only go to the other side via the transport ride, which they don't really know. And building a path in between is way too expensive due to path support costs. So instead, you just build a lot of these rides. An Allosaurus or a Spinosaurus. Are you talking about Roller Coaster or Suit Tycoon? Yeah. That would be cool. Um, okay, that's 13 on this side because you started with 11. And we have 24 rides now. Build another 14 on this side. Alright. And just a few more. How many do we have? Okay, I need to go to 38. Well, let's build a few more. Alright, well, that'll be fine. Then we need to advertise. This... This scenario is just a lot of blazing stuff. Handyman. Mechanics. Yeah, look at the little chair. Hey, it's broken down. Yeah, we don't really have the money to redo the ads. So we just need to wait until we make some more money. In the meantime, we do still get some more guests. Okay, there we go. Now we do have the money. Let's go. That's a terrifying place to be if the chairlift breaks down. Yeah, it is. Okay, 2,000. 2,200. 2,300. 24, 25, renew ads. By the way, I see we've just passed 1,000 likes on the stream. Huh, neat. Pretty sure I've never had 1,000 likes on the stream before. Okay, we're almost there, and we're there. Hey, one th we just got 11 more. Okay, Schneider Cup. That's just uh, a bunch of air-powered coasters. Easy. Oh, uh, is four enough? Yes, it is. 
Wonderful. Ah, 1051 now. We got 50 likes since I said that. Are you sleepy yet? It's 6 p.m. It's like it's not like I got up early. My my alarm stood at um, half past eight, and it's now 6 p.m. That's not time to become sleepy. Tired? Yes. Physically, I'm a bit tired. Still very much uh, good to go there. Uh, do I need more? Okay, eight should be enough. Then I think it's seven. Yeah, it looks to be seven. All right, this one's easy. Just four of these. I keep pressing accidentally backspace instead of minus. So that's why the thing keeps disappearing. 17 seconds. Okay. Um, need a vertical drop coaster. There it is. And then I need to make it six. Yes, we reused the one from MT Airfield. Um, and then we get that going on. Oh, we don't need that. You know, it's fine. Just fast forward. Oh, uh, I might want to open the park. And now I just need to uh, build a certain twister design. Booster to 107. I need to get some park value here. That's why we're doing this. Seven laps. And then save design. Oh, I don't have enough cash yet. Oh, we're still researching. That cost me a lot of money. I can also obviously fire one of the mechanics. Uh, okay, now it's just time to place down some of these steel twisters. I think we need four of them in total. This is much slower than my record, I think. And I didn't even have to custom build... We probably need one more. Maybe because the rights are getting old. There we go. Ooh, 1074 likes now. Yeah, 206. That's 30 seconds slower than my record. Uh, Roaring 20s skyscrapers. Okay, honestly, I might get a... Like, I'm not going to get a sub-20, but it's not going to be much over a sub... Over, over 20. It's going to be like 20 and a half minutes or something like that. Which is... Obviously, because I didn't have to build a lot of those rides, that took me at least a few minutes off my time. Oh, built that one that too far that way. Um, now that's the limb. And that's that one. And that one. I need eight of these. I think that's... No, that's not eight. Now it's eight. I've started halfway this run today. I've started to skip the food or the drink stall on the toilet. I think we don't need it. I think we need just one food stall for the ads. Oh, oh no, I did open the park. Okay, let's see if this is enough. It is. And then, um, I 
Let's see. Let's remove all the path. Uh, just a little bit of scenery. And let's remove everything else. And then... There we go. Okay. Uh, save track design. And I just need another eight of them. Uh, I think I need one more. Yeah. That's it. Oh, look at that. I got a sub 20. But it doesn't count because we started with all our rights and stuff. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, no, I did need the, I did need the last one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ugh. We're doing very well. We've now beaten. We now only have two categories left, which we could probably do in like an hour. I'd be lucky to get sub 20 hours. Yeah, but you haven't practiced a lot. Okay, so we did save a lot of time on not having to build the designs, obviously. Hydration reminder. That's probably not a bad idea. Ah, wonderful. We're still at about 600 viewers. So we have no big spike, but we have been between 500 and 700 for... Let's see, we're 8 hours in. We've been there for about 7.5 hours. So it's very consistent. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Henry. Got to get it under 12 hours or YouTube will start cropping the stream. Well, under 12 hours is easy. I have four hours left to do um, these eight and these 11. So it's 19 scenarios. So that's very easy. The stream is super consistent in terms of view count. Yeah, I'm just a tiny bit disappointed that I'm not going to break my all-time viewers record. I'm and also confused. How did I manage to get more than 700 viewers at once on a stream when I had 25k subs? And I don't reach 700 now on 100k. And it's not like I got more views back then. Because back then, on an average video, I got much fewer views in the first day than I get now. So, it's not like, it's not like that's a difference. Timing, maybe a little bit, but the last stream was also on a Saturday. It started an hour later. Um, it was in October, I believe. Nearly three years ago. Because it's not that silly. Maybe it's content reasons. Because the last content I did have people participate. This is very much um, like a performance from me. Last reason we built like park together. All that kind of stuff. So that might be a very uh, good thing. A very good reason. The algorithm works in strange ways. That as well. Okay, let's open the roller coaster tycoon real parks. Uh, yeah, real parks first. Oh yeah, let's save the splits. Let's not overlook that you're already one percent in towards 200k, 101k now. Yeah, let's actually see. I'm gonna quickly go to my YouTube studio. Have I gotten any meaningful amount of subs since the stream started? Uh, not particularly. Few, maybe. But not anything special.
My favorite martial card from Open RCT2 is Let's Open the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Have I said that? Probably have. I've had a lot of things. <laughs> Happened with the sprites of that coaster. Image overload, couldn't load them. Oh, thank you for the 20 bucks, RC Spriter. It's been awesome to see your improvement over the years. Thank you for making very cool content. Good luck with the run's final stretch. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do this and I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to continue playing. We're going to build a park together after this. Because um, I might as well do that. Until we reach the 12 hour mark. And I'm going to stop at like 11 and a half or something like that. Because I might as well. Hey Carrie, how you doing? It's been awesome to see your improvement over the years. Thank you for making very good content. Oh, I already said that. My bad. <laughs> Did the last set of scenarios. Almost. Okay. Let's quickly get my notes. Look through them. Okay, I need extra staff on Blackpool Pleasure Beach and on Six Flags Great Adventure. Okay, let's see how fast I can do this. Okay. Just advertising is enough. There we go. That's one. Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Need some handyman here. Okay, and I'm also gonna use that. We need 3,500 guests here. And I can use this to my advantage. Let's see if that works. Come on. Yes. Wonderful. Next, hide the park. Okay, time to advertise. Can I already do this? Okay, we just need 2,500 guests. Done. Next, Belgium. Uh, I need this. Okay, this one's gonna take a little bit longer. Don't even need to look at the park. Nope, all you need to do is advertise on all of these. Okay, might as well get those ready. Just in case, we can use them. What's the goal actually? 3500, right? Yes. Alright, well, let's go for that. Oh, that was a perfect pass. Like, almost immediately. By the time you re-update the ads three weeks, in-game pass on hyperspeed. Yeah, if I do that very... If I don't pause them, that happens. Okay, going well so far. Okay, come on. Let this work. Awesome. Next. Six Flags Great Adventure. Okay.
We need some extra staff here. Um, and could also use a few of these. Okay, what's the goal? 3,500 guests again. Alright, that seems to be doable. Alrighty. Nitro. Thank you for the 10 bucks, Kyung Wung Ko. Watching your stream and videos, I can only applaud you for your continued love for a game that I've loved more than 20 years ago. Congrats. Well, thank you. Alright. Almost there. No entry signs. They're coming particularly useful. Uh, next. Six Flags Holland. Uh, no, I just need ads. I don't need to remove anything. I think the goal is only 2,500 here. So, that should be a little bit quicker. Let's get this one ready. There we go. Okay, now we just wait. And then we renew the ads. Come on. And then we wait until we're almost there. Let's go. No entry. Oh, it's not 2500. Whoops. It's 3,500. Or is it 3,000? 3,500. Okay, it's gonna take a little longer then. Luckily, I didn't do that long enough for the park value to screw up. I thought I would easily break my personal best, but... It's taking longer than I expected, to be honest. Thank you for the 10 bucks, Peter Pendragon. Thank you for making great videos. I really like them. Greetings from Hillegom. Oh, I know roughly where that is. That's like... Not too far away from like Amstel Vane or something like that, right? So I thought I was gonna break my PB, as I said, but I'm not. I think at least. Ooh, that was, this was close. Look at the park rating. Okay, is that one done? Next, six flags over Texas. So my PB is seven and a half minutes for this, which I'm not quite reaching, which means I was Quite fast on my PB, or maybe I did some other things which helped. I mean, you think I'm saying PP, I say PB. Oh, I forgot the split. Whoops. Well, Magic Mountain didn't take that long. Let's get that one ready. Six Legs Magic Mountain is fun. It's very... Uh, Six Legs Magic Mountain is like one of the most overpowered scenarios. You can so easily exploit that. It's the, it's the shortest scenario completion time out of any scenarios. The world record is 3.6 seconds. I think we can do it on this ad cycle. Shout out to PP Pond. Oh, you mean the one on... Uh, what's it called? Factory Capers. Okay, we can't quite do it on this ad cycle. 
Maybe, maybe we could have done it if I had on this, but maybe not quite. Think two weeks is enough. Yeah, that looks to be fine. No, it's not. Crap. Park rating can't get below seven. Okay, entertainers everywhere. This is terrible. Okay, it's back up. I got the park rating back up at least. This went entirely wrong. Thank you for the five bucks, by the way, Dagmont. My son loves your videos. Okay, me too. <laughs> I like that you're not afraid to admit it. How old is your son? Come on, the park rating needs to go up. Oh, it's overcrowdedness. This didn't happen to me when I tested this. And I failed. I need to go again. Like, that didn't happen then. Why did it happen now? Maybe because it was raining? That's odd. Isn't it? But I had the same problem when I was doing Six Flags over Texas. Um, the build your own version. Okay, that'll at least reduce the overcrowding there a little bit. I was so close as well. I just mistimed the... No entry sign. I mean, we're still on a good pace. If we do like 12 minutes for 8 scenarios. That's still very fast. So it's not like we're on a bad pace or anything. Yeah, so more handyman might probably help. Keep the path a bit cleaner. Okay, there's 200 more guests. And there we go. 1131. I mean, that's still an average of like... Uh, 1 minute 25 per scenario or so. It's still quite fast. It's Peter it from OpenRST2, Tricky Gamer, that allows me to run it this fast. Save splits. And then let's do... Other parks. It's the only category we still need. It's a cheat. Well, it's not exactly a cheat. It's a feature of a mod. Which you could use a cheat. But it's not like changing the way the game plays. It just plays faster. Like a cheat... It's doing never-ending marketing campaigns or, you know, guest ignoring intensities, disable vandalism. That's a proper cheat. You've got this. Thank you, Donzia. <sighs> I'm ready for it. It's explicitly allowed in the rules on speedrun.com. Yes, like, there's a vanilla... Percent, which is called RCT percent or original percent, and there's also a fast forward percent, which is FF percent. Yeah, it's the same simulation running except faster. The main reasoning for using the speed up in OpenRST2 is if you don't use the speed up, uh, we discussed it like an, like 20 minutes ago or something as well. If you don't use the speed up, all these scenarios will take bloody forever. It's like, for example, um, Funguswood, 2,500 guests, will take like 30 minutes at least. Amity Airfield, uh, there, 3,000 guests, will take 40 minutes. Extreme Heights, no advertising, 4,500 guests, that would take at least two hours. That's not a speedrun, that's just boring. Most of the time you're not doing anything, you're just waiting around. 
Like, you built your park, you hire your staff, then you just go wait around, I don't know, take a big fat dump or whatever. Then you come back two hours later and it's probably still not finished. It's not a speedrun, that's just boring. Okay, we've got these parks left. Now, I'm pretty sure that quite a few of you have never seen, especially these top parks before. So that'll be interesting. The bot the top four are from RST1, the bottom one's from RST2. New worst ever speedrun category, no speed up and no early completion. Well, that is a category that is being run. Like from Rollercoaster Tycoon 1, the Forest Frontiers, Dynamite Dunes, they all have sub thousand guest calls. That's easy. Like, that still takes a while. But it doesn't take hours. That might take like 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Maybe 20 sometime. That's doable. But. You know stuff like. Yeah like thousands of guests. Without advertising even. That's just boring. That's just not fun. Okay. Let's start with Fort Anachronism. So for this we need a stall, and we need oh, we need to unlock the looping coaster. It looks like this. I quite like it. I like the look of the double railroad. Okay, we need like I don't know, like seven of these or whatever. If there's no speed up and no early completion. Wouldn't it just be a tie? Oh, you're right. For every scenario with a deadline, it would just be a tie. Because in Vanilla Percent, early completion is still used. Like, the game doesn't actually complete, but the speedrun ends whenever you have the amount of guests needed for the goal. Um, so that's why that's actually a competitive category. Instead of just ties all the way down. Okay, and open up. But, uh, yeah, without it, it would just be a tie. Like, things like things like Extreme Height wouldn't be a tie, obviously, because those, do those don't have a set deadline. Okay, the goal here is 1250 guests at the end of year three. Um, the same goal is true for the next three scenarios. They all have the exact same goal. So this is PC player. I'm quite fond of this scenario to be honest. I really like it. Um, okay, there. I need to go there. This is all very deliberate where I'm building the path. How do you get this? Um, I found it online somewhere. I knew of its existence, but I didn't have it and I wanted it for this speedrun. Okay, we're not going to use any of that. We're going to use these. Oh, uh, don't have the cash. They also all start with a 20k loan and allow you to borrow... A uh, few k more. Uh, I'll use borrow fifteen k more. You're gonna do some bonus challenges. Now we're gonna build a park together after this. After we get done. And. Is that connected? Yes, it is. Okay. Then we do... Uh, we want to get the guests in the park for a while, so... Let's do that. Um, advertisements. Okay, so we can charge for this. If we make this lower... 
Uh, well, not quite free. Let's do it two bucks. If this becomes an official speedrun category, these will be downloadable on the speedrun.com website as well. Okay. Let's get the ads going again and then I'm gonna need to build a lot more path. Because this simply doesn't do it. Okay, so my record for this category is 44 minutes, which was because I had a lot of trouble with uh, Six Flags Texas. Uh, I don't know why. Okay, and we'll take the top of that hill. Yeah, that's all nice. And then we're going around the back. Um, like that. All the way. All the way. And then we're gonna build some more free falls. Oh, I could have probably used the twister, actually. Oh, well, we're on to free falls now. Because when you do this category alone, obviously you don't have the twister. But now we already have the twister pre-built. Okay. You know what? This should be plenty. Let's go. Come on. Almost there, there we go. Okay, next one is a bit easier. It's PC Gaming World. PC GW. Okay, here we just need a lot of path. And then six uh, looping coasters. Thank you for the 6470 Australian dollars. That's a lot. Thank you very much, Barry. Thanks, Marcy, for the stream from Australia. RST was a childhood favorite, which you have helped me enjoy as an, as an adult. I managed to visit Magic Mountain and Blackpool Pleasure Beach due to this game. Oh, that's nice. This is the number of viewers at creation. Um... Oh, 647 viewers. Oh, that's where the number comes from. Well, thank you. If only I had 2,000 viewers. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Okay, now we go this way and then around the back. Okay, yeah, we can probably fit another right like there. What's the real challenge of these scenarios? 1250 guests in three years. I don't really know what these were originally created for, with which intent, but I quite like them. Okay, I think... Six is enough. Um, one stall, that'll do. That'll just about do. We will have 77 bucks left when we're done with the ride. Uh, we're done with all the ads. Oh, 177 apparently. Oh, because I did three burgers wrong. Oh, well. I think last time I didn't even hire staff and still managed to beat it. Will we get it? Almost. Just need a little bit more. That should be enough. There we go. 
have... Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Happy to catch the stream. Welcome. Gameplay is another one of those scenarios. Except this one. Okay, we're gonna use the gonna try the twister this time. Gameplay actually starts with more path. Okay, the twister should be a lot better than the other than the launched freefall at keeping guests in the park. But because of the way I made the queue lines, also a little bit more difficult to fit in. So I don't know. I have never done this with the twister. But hey, first time for everything, right? And uh, that doesn't fit. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna do more free falls now. They ease, they fit more easily. Come on, one should fit there. No, apparently not. I know one fits there. Yes. Much better. Come on. That way. Yes. It's another one. And I know I can fit one on top of this hill. Then why didn't they do RST4? RST4 does exist, but it's crappy and terrible. Okay, let's see how far this gets us. Now, let's get a full range of stalls going this time. And let's do ads. You know what? We can probably do full ads. Oh, we don't have the cash for that. Alright, you know what? I'll do full ads for nine weeks. And then if we reduce... Um, on the reduce the price on the two twisters that we start with to like two or something then we can go alrighty thank you for the five bucks Victor Penteado oh this is easily enough nice it ain't much money, but I want to cheer your great work. I love RCT since I was a kid, and it's amazing to watch your videos now. Well, thank you. Okay, Panda World. Which is where the panda scenery comes from. If Open RCT 2 is so good, why isn't there an Open RCT 2 too? Because it's so good, we don't need it to. Okay, this is a bit of an old one. I'm gonna make money with wood chip. Because this has a different goal. You need 1,500 guests and never get your park rating below 700. And it's a bit of an old one. Like with the money you have, it doesn't, kind of doesn't really work. So you need to make more money. Because you, have to, you start with terrible coasters. And you can't just fast forward to research more coasters. Because then your park rating goes below uh, what you need. Oh, by the way, we need to charge 10 to make some actual money. This is also basically the reason I built those rides, just so that I can fast forward without the park rating going to shit. How do I get the RST1 scenarios and open RST2? I just put them in my RST1 scenarios folder in my RST1 installation. Thank you for the 10 bucks for buying new Krentenbollen. Why, thank you. I rarely ever eat them, but for these situations, they're very nice. Okay, that's enough uh, of that. Let's build another path. Love the in-depth analysis of the game mechanics you do. Guten Martijn. Oh, thank you. Oh, oops, we're... Okay, much better. Time for some Corkscrew Coasters. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'll connect that one later. There we go. 
Isn't that the guy who just ruined Sparks by sticking Mr. Bones everywhere? Wait, what? Oh, you're talking about Joel, Vine Souls Joel? Uh, I think this is enough, by the way. Can we launch some more? Yes, we can. Let's go all out on the ads. Okay, not forget to open. And let's hire some more handymen. Alright, this should do the trick. Come on, 1500 guests. Okay, we're just shy. And we've reached the salt guest cap. There we go. Now it's time for the Build Your Own Six Flags Parks. Starting with Belgium, which gave me, gave me a lot of problems. So, to start... Well, no, to start we're going to do the same as I did before. But I'm very quickly going to build extra path. Like at some point, I had like 40 rides here. I had a salt cat of like 5,000. I was constantly advertising. And I couldn't get over like 3,300 guests or something like that. It just didn't bloody work. Because overcrowding was a massive problem in this area of the park. So, and when I built a park out there to the lake across it... It immediately solved all the problems I had. So, if you have problems, just go to the lake. Thank you for the five bucks. Brauthain Music Merch. I appreciate that. Um, let's do some here. Oh yeah, let's get rid of this, because the fence will mess up the paths. I've missed the Six Flags stuff in the RCT series. Yeah, it was, a, it was a deal with Six Flags. And if you don't renew the deal, then you don't get to include Six Flags anymore. Uh, whoops, it's the wrong one. Thank you for the $5. Wow, Doge. Marshal Club with Vine Sauce Joel when? Uh, to be honest, probably never. I don't really have any desire to collab with him. Nothing against the guy. But there's like I don't see any much of a reason why to collab with him. Uh, is the park open? Yes, it is. Have we done all the ads? No, we haven't. For some reason, I was under the impression we already had. So we need thirty-five hundred guests, which is quite a lot. What did you do? If one of the nudity bots donated money. Uh, if they just donated money. Oh, whoops. We need staff. And didn't do anything else. I would just thank them. If they also spammed, I would thank them and ban them. Like, the same. Like, if any of you donated money, but then also started spamming, then you're still going to be gone. How? If their name is the spammy ad... I mean, I can easily, I can ban anyone. You know, the donation shows up. I can just ban you. Obviously, I'm not going to do that for random people. But if you're also spamming. If it's just a one-time donation, I wouldn't probably. But although if they're do, like, depend, if they're doing it multiple times with a one cent donation, obviously I would ban them. If they would do it multiple times with a five buck donation, uh, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> But then again, they wouldn't do that because that makes zero financial sense. Why is the bot even donating money? To get attention, obviously. Yeah, like, that could work, but it costs money, so if it's just one cent, that might work. Are you also a fan of theme parks in real life? Not particularly. I like them, but I'm not I wouldn't say I'm a fan. I'm more I'm more into zoos than theme parks. Okay. 
We have 31. That should be enough, assuming we have no pathing issues and overcrowding issues. So let's start advertising the hell out of this. Let's get some more handymen. More mechanics. Okay, let's see it is. You have to get it to 3500. The grain is a bit annoying. Alright. And the ads again. <sighs> Almost there. Now it's just a bit of building lots and 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 lots of corkscrews. All the other parks have the corkscrew available, so I'm just going to use all the corkscrews. Alright. And like that. I want to see a Marcel Voss style. How much can I charge to an adult site adult site to spam a Marcel Voss stream? Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, overcrowding, as I said, is becoming an issue. So, let's build some paths. Away from this. I just need to get them, like, out of here. That's all. And I think this might just do enough. Yeah, there we go. Okay, on to Six Flags Great Adventure. We just need... Okay, here we can't let the park rating go below 700. And I think the goal is only 2500. Yeah, so 20 corks should do the job. How many parks left? Yo, you can see that. That's all that's left. Five. We've done 141 scenarios so far. It's been quite a journey. And, you know, before I started, I thought this would take me like 14 hours. I thought to get below an average of 5 minutes per scenario would be near impossible. But then I started speedrunning, started practicing, and I got better and better and better. And eventually I got to uh, an average of only 7 hours. Which is an average of less than 4 minutes per scenario, a total of 7 hours. So I got a lot better. Uh, oops. And, you know, it's taken a bit longer than seven hours now. We're almost nine hours in. But I think nine hours is still a pretty good uh, time. Uh, we don't have the money. What do you mean we don't have the money? I have all the money in the world! Uh, 20. Perfect. Okay, let's build some stalls. Right at the place where no rights are. Because why not? And on the other side as well. And a toilet and a cash machine. Um, and then we can do ads. Yeah, why not, eh? And then some staff, eh? Uh, there we go. Handyman, A. Eh? Okay. How's that one? And that one. Unbanked sloped turns upset me. 
Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a bit annoying, I get where you're coming from, and I don't like them either, really, but... Other than that, they're fine, if, you, you, you know, if you're a bit careful. What's your biggest donation today? Um, for my brother, I got 150 euros. And there was someone else who did 69 euros or dollars or something like that. And the third biggest was just not long ago. Which was 64.70 Australian dollars. That's the biggest three as far as I can remember. Alright. Another one done. Uh, six flags. Holland. Also 3,500 guests. Now we're going to completely destroy it. Not the path though. We can use the path. Don't have the money. What do you mean? We have all the money in the world. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Why is there a queue line there? I didn't place that there. What version are we going to play on in a bit? A oh, good question. Uh, could probably do the newest version. Yeah, just take the developer version. Why not? Okay, and that. By the way, it's been more than a week since I've used my original track file. Uh, track designs file. Because for these speedruns, I use an empty track designs file. Because I don't want to use my old tracks. And I don't want them to be in the way. So, my old track designs file is just sitting around somewhere. Waiting for me to reinstate it. After I'm done with speedrunning. But I probably won't be done for a while. So I need to swap between them. Thank you for the 10 bucks. Uh, Australian dollars, I think. Okay. Thank you. That's 10 bucks. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the joke. Okay, let's connect these up. Find it weird. This is a connection that actually exists in the real park, but isn't in this park for some reason. While this connection doesn't exist in real life, but exists in the game. Are we doing multiplayer after this? No, not multiplayer, but we are going to build a park together. Which is fun. Um, I don't know how many I have. I haven't been taking count. I hope that we won't get any pathing issues. I've done this twice and haven't gotten... Okay, 27, I need three more. Haven't gotten pathing issues a single time, so I think it's going to be fine. Okay. How many of these corkscrew coasters have I placed today? Hundreds. Maybe even a thousand. I need a drink stall. It's truly crazy. It's definitely my most placed ride. That's what I said. In... RCT1 base game, we don't really use the corkscrew, but here we definitely use it a lot, and it's made a comeback and easily beaten, uh, beaten roller coaster. Oops, I've oh, beaten the looping coaster. Have you really been playing for eight hours straight? Yes. Well, almost eight hours. There's still uh, nine minutes left before that. So, I'm going to do this in slightly under nine hours. Because I didn't start immediately. It took me like 10-15 minutes to get started. Alright, I'll have a drink. Thank you, Kengi. Alright, we're well on our way. And they said I was mad when I wanted to do this. Well, I tell you, I am mad. I am mad as a fox. Oh, sorry, Max, for the... For the confusion. But I don't want to do multiplayer right now with the stuff that happened last time. 
the spammer and the troll, which I don't have any defenses against. Okay, Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now, we're going to use a very fun strategy here. What we're going to do is we're going to remove that. Then we're going to build one of those and one of those. Then we're going to advertise. Uh, oh, I do need to open that. Uh, I'm going to advertise. Make the entrance 60 bucks. 65 even, because that's the lowest that guests spawn with. Did I properly... Okay, yeah, they, they can't go nowhere. There we go. That's the way we are going to make money. Because we need to pay back the loan and get 700k park value. Which is exactly the same goal as the original one has. Or as the just the normal build, uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain goal has. Except you start with nothing here. So you need to make a lot of money. And I found that the fastest way to make money is to just advertise an empty park. They'll pay 65 bucks. You'll make a lot of money. And it's fantastic. I also need quite a little bit more money still. I need 17 of these corkscrews. So this isn't enough yet. Because 700k park value is a lot. It's the highest park value goal in the entire game. Alright, that's enough. And... One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's way too many. I have 19. Oh well. Sleeves plenty. There we go. Two more to go. Well, this is an easy one. Just 1500 guests. So that's a fast one. This is the worst Six Flags Park for sure. I ain't paying 65 for this. Well, but the guests are. The things you are saying screams unhealthy. Wait, talking to me? I don't know. I'm losing uh, track of the chat a little bit. Okay, this should be enough. The speedrunning rules allow or ban auto clickers. It allow it uh, bans any auto any tool outside of the game, so that includes auto clickers, which I think is a very good thing. I technically did use an auto clicker, but not for completing any of the scenarios, and for those reasons, I think that my run might not be approved if this would become an official category. Um, also because I did open the cheat menu twice and used the cheat to win one of the scenarios, but that was one of the half fun scenarios, which doesn't count. So that was the 147th scenario, which I just cheated to win because there's no real way to win it. And I was like, you know, might as well. Okay. Is that enough? 14? Yeah, that's plenty. Also, let's assume I would uh, submit this. Poor mod who has to watch all 9 hours to verify it. Thank you for the 5 bucks, Sean Huntley. The coin is appreciated. Okay. Oops, that's security guards. First time I've ever hired security guards today. Didn't mean to. Okay, just a few more. 
Any sensible judge would see that you only use tools in between the measured parts. It would. Not that I really care if this gets approved, because it's not like it's a fault. Not like it's not like it's a fast run or anything. Okay, one more to go. This run is is just a proof of concept. A fun thing to do, a celebration of me getting 100k subscribers. That's all there is to it. More corkscrews. I've placed so many of these corkscrews today. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Oh yes, and I am at work. Like, I'm making money, but that's not just for nothing. Like, I've practiced for this. I've spent a lot of time practicing for this, so that I can do this reasonably well and also be entertaining. I've learned how to be entertaining while live streaming. I've learned to play the game. I've learned how to stream. That's all skills, and I'm getting paid for that. Hey Marcel, been a subscriber and viewer since you were around 5k subs. That's a long time then. Like three and a half years. Congratulations on your milestone. Keep up the great work. I will, thank you. Last scenario. Yeah. So, we need 3500 guests. I had a lot of trouble with this one last time. I can feel the tiredness in my fingers now. From all the clicking. It's been a lot. It's been nine hours of non-stop roller coaster tycoon playing. I mean, little breaks in between, but pretty much non-stop. Like, if you include the breaks, it's been like eight hours. How many do we have? 28? That's not enough. Yeah, watch out for overcrowding, I know. Uh... So, what exactly is the goal? It's just a year goal, right? Oh, 3,000 only. Um, well, in that case, I have plenty of corkscrews. Uh, is that connected? I think it is. Okay, I'm just immediately gonna build another path right there, because um, that does help prevent overcrowding. And now it's time to advertise. Such an oddly satisfying sound when the game speeds up. Yeah, it is, isn't it? All right. This is the real deal. Advertising. Let's build some more stalls. Alright. Renew the ads. And all right, super proud of you for doing this. Thank you, Haydar and Dad, and thank you for your help with speedrunning, for your inspiration, and for your competitiveness. A few hundred more guests, and then we're there. So I haven't been really been following the discussion in the chat, but as far as I can see, it's about someone not liking that this is my job and I'm getting paid for it. It takes me a lot of hours to make all the videos, so... If I didn't get paid for it, I wouldn't be doing it, because I would have a normal job. Why the pause during ad renewal? So that they don't get out of sync. Okay, yeah, the overcrowding is a problem again. Let me fix that. So, you know what? 
I have plenty of money. This makes it a lot easier to see. There we go. Now I'm also gonna build a bridge there. And one right through here. And a path here. Okay, that should do the trick. It already looks less busy. Are the ads still running? Yes, they are. Okay, the guest count's going up again. A bit slowly, but surely. Okay, not really. You know what we can do? A no entry sign. That ought to work. Okay. Uh, just more path everywhere. More path. More path. Yeah, I guess they're terrible spreading around in these kind of parks. But, uh, this is looking ridiculous. But it sort of works. Okay, we need just a few more guests. This is enough. I don't know which one uh, the winning guest is, but we're almost there. 30 more guests, and then I've beaten all scenarios. Just within 9 hours. 20 to go. Well, 20 to go. 15. 10. 6. 5. 4. 3. And 1. We've done it! I have beaten all Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 scenarios in just under 9 hours. <sighs> Thank you for the 5 bucks, Wolfster. I think that's a hell of an achievement. Thank you for 669 slime. 660 slime. <sighs> what a run that was. All scenarios here. Roller coaster tycoon. All scenarios and added attractions. All scenarios in loopy landscapes. All scenarios in roller coaster tycoon 2. All scenarios in Wacky Worlds. Thank you for the 10 bucks, Kyle Engstrom. All scenarios in Time Twister. All real parks. And lastly, all other parks. They're all mine. I've done them all. Imagine if during the round the one scenario is missing. You know, that did go through my head. What if I've missed a scenario? But, uh, no. I haven't. It's all good. What's the official fill time? Something like 8 hours 50 minutes. Something along that. I'm not sure what the exact time is. Thank you for the 2 bucks, Dance. Next job, all RCT3 scenarios. No thank you. We're not done with the stream yet though. We're gonna have some fun, because I still have a few hours left. So, might as well keep going, right? If you miss someone in the live chat, we'll warn you. They, that as well. Thank you for the five bucks, Dapperton. Excellent job now doing with a steering wheel on the Xbox version. No thank you. But, I will announce it now. It is my official goal. Now, I may not actually ever do this. But, for now, it's my official goal to do this run under six hours. I don't know when it's going to be. I'm, I don't know if I'll ever do it. But right now, that's in my head as my official goal. 
And I think it's possible. And I would definitely live stream that as well. Probably on Twitch. Oh, thank you, mom. Thank you for the five bucks, pseudo fox. I've been watching for several years ever since you choose your own excitement video. Funny that that was your first video. Because that didn't do particularly well, I believe. It's been great seeing you grow. Thank you. Get to strategizing. Well, I think for a few days I might be a little bit done with speedrunning. <laughs> Under 8 I can see maybe sub 7, but sub 6? Oh, I can I can definitely see sub 6. Especially the roller coaster Tycoon 1 scenarios were so unoptimized for me. Oh, thank you, Ukraine, for the $5. Marsha now official ruler of the world. Well, maybe not ruler of the world, but this might come off a little bit boastful. But I might consider myself the best roller coaster tycoon player in the world with this. Achievements as well. Although Dirkling wouldn't would definitely not be far behind, and considering all his other stuff, you might consider him better. I don't know. He's very good. What's the total time played? About nine hours. You're the best one at doing the 2D based ones. Oh yeah, I meant Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 player, not necessarily 3. Like, I don't play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, so I don't know. Alright. I'm gonna go to the toilet again. And I'll see you in a minute. Don't go, stream's not over yet. We're gonna do some more fun stuff. I'm gonna build a park with your suggestions. But uh, I'll be back in a minute. Really? Only 7 hours, 19 minutes, 56 for all the categories? Well then, sub 6 hours should definitely be possible. What about multiplayer with the mods and a handful of known people? Nah, I want to have a chill time now. So, um, I'm gonna change the title of the stream. Um... And let's see, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll keep life split there. Now I'll, I'll get rid of life split. Why not? It's not going to be any useful anymore. Save. That'll just be an empty bit of the screen now. Um. You know what? I'm gonna change a few things. Move the alert box up. And make the chat box a lot taller. Oh, it can't be that tall, apparently. 999 is the tallest it will go. There we go. Can move that up a little bit. And I'm gonna edit the title of the stream. Nah, I'm gonna keep the title the same, because that'll be for the YouTube upload. Okay. 
Let's... Uh, actually, I'm gonna go to another version. Let's see. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna go on the latest version. So, make whatever suggestion you like after this loads. Loading times have been long recently. Oh, the sound for this is not, if this is not on. There we go. Alrighty. Now, you know, I'm gonna edit because more people might join. Uh, I can all edit later. Building a park with your su suggestions. Save. Okay, welcome to whatever park we're going to build. As I said, load times are long. Um, anything goes. All the cheats. Anything goes. Uh, I don't. I don't want that one, by the way. Some are annoying. Let's start, classically. With a merry-go-round. Because it's a merry-go-round. You always start with a merry-go-round. Apparently the full speed run is 7 hours, 19 minutes and 1200. That's pretty damn good. A Croatian island. Uh, there you go. There's your Croatian island. <laughs> Can the park be called Tusenfried? Sure, a local park near Oslo. Tusenfried. If scenery isn't your thing, you should try to make some microcoaster with highly detailed scenery to push yourself to a new direction. I could, but I don't really need to. Let's get some of that going. Been a long time since I did anything like this. A drink stall. An info kiosk. Long out and back wood. Not a bad idea. Thank you for the five bucks, James Melby. What about the Treeberg place? Windy train in a hilly forest. You see, the problem with that idea is that it takes forever to build. And I want to just do fun things, I, you know, lots of fun builds. I, I don't want to have one build that takes like 30 minutes. Train transfer that goes around the park. I can do that. Okay, you know what? We'll go steep here. Oh, we still have chain it on everything. Okay, I don't want that cheat constantly on. Build, uh, build a free fall and call it Bitcoin. That wouldn't be the first time or the second time we've done a Bitcoin joke like that. That's sort of a recurring theme here. Okay, so one of the reasons I was also trying this is I was going to see if the viewer base was going to go up. Because we noticed that the content might be a problem. Uh, why I didn't get many more views than I did many years ago. Thank you for the 50 euros, Sokar. That's a lot. Thank you very much. It's not a nice donation. Oh, I don't have the cash. Well, I do now. I don't care about cash in this scenario. Okay, yeah, you know what? I want to have this be a more interesting turnaround. There we go. That's much better. Um, also, let's go to OpenGL. Um, the only reason I was running on software is because um, OpenGL doesn't really work with the old version I was using. It kind of does work, but it also doesn't because you can't build rights with things attached to them. Like if you build a pre-built ride with Path, 
and you use OpenGL, it doesn't, you don't get the path. So that's why I was running on software. What about this then? A lava pit in the middle of the fried chicken stone. And that's something we could potentially do. So far, the viewer base has gone down a bit, which is understandable as we're, uh, you know, a lot of people were here for the speedrun. We're on 500 and a few viewers now. Okay, here we have an out and back coaster. And we'll go over the station one more time. And... And like that, and then a few brakes. I tried that, looks fun. Honestly, it's probably one of my more realistic coaster designs. It's not entirely realistic, but it's definitely better than some of my others. Definitely better than the micro corkscrew. I wouldn't really call that realistic. Okay, let's go. Oh, no, I don't need to change it that fast. Let's set it to uh, 14. Ground some guests to satisfy the RCT gold. Not a bad idea. There we go. Oh, thank you for the two bucks. Relax. La -la 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 -la. <laughs> Name the cost to Bunger. Bunger. Why not? I fell asleep at like 2 a.m. and at 20 a.m. and Marcel still streaming. Uh, you got your number slight bit wrong, because I've been streaming for 9 and a bit hours, not 10 hours. Wait, no, it's only 8 hours difference, never mind. That's accurate. I got my numbers wrong. I'm gonna give this a little color as well. Because the current color is a little bit boring. Alright. Let's see. How about we do this orange and we make this brown. That's a good color, isn't it? I love this. Whoa! Thank you for the 151 bucks. <laughs> 15 fatal error. All about beating records today. I want to beat the donation record of your brother. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for all the videos and the time. Well, thank you. Um, if anyone wants to try to beat that, <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> uh, obviously, you don't have to. <laughs> don't expect anyone to. <laughs> Why do you have this, an, an article on Spirit of the Law does not? Um, oh, this is out of habit. I was going to build a corkscrew coaster, a tiny corkscrew coaster. <laughs> okay, for a lava lake in the middle, I'm gonna need a different. like this. And I'll get rid of this island. Oh god, that's terribly ugly. And I'll put in a stone island with fried chicken. Oh no, I meant to do that. Um, now, there we go. And like that. And we'll make a stairs like that. I go all the way down. Oh, the land is in the way. Alright, I'll just raise it a bit. It's not the most beautiful thing I've ever built. But uh, it'll hold up. Then we're going to connect it here. Ah, uh, we don't need to go that far. Let's come up here. And you next to it. There we go. That way. Alrighty. 
And that will be our fried chicken island. Isn't that lovely? Is this the bone zone? If two guests want to bone there, sure. Be my guest. I have no problems with that. Uh, lots of... Let's do this one. I like this one. Lots of fried chicken. Now, you know what? We'll put all of these. And then in the middle, we'll put the other one. I like that. I love that you can place stalls and things in windows of other things. May the ritual commence. <laughs> will any guests get here? Yes, they will, but they won't stay for very long. <laughs> Peace at the island. <laughs> nice. Build one final court screw, name it the final screw. Or one final screw. That's a good idea. I like that. Uh, open it up. One final screw. Uh, whoops. There we go. <laughs> I, I quite like this. Let's uh, build some stuff around it. Hey, lava fountains or Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is not that color, but close enough. More bikini ladies. Sure. Um, objects. Non-selected only. We can put bikini ladies there. Um, my god, that's a lot of scenery items. Maybe take... Ah, there we go. Uh, nah, they don't really fit nice there. I'll just put them here. And then a row of those. A row of those. <laughs> Ah, this is my kind of park. I love it. Build a micro court crew, stand up and compare the stats. Oh, that could be quite interesting. Um, let's select all the coaster types. Because why not? They're awful. They are, but they're also a meme. Why do you always first set a ride to testing before you open it? Just so it tests immediately, it's a habit. I don't know how useful it is, but it's a habit of mine, and I will probably never change it. Okay, let me put it there. You know what? I'll make this one a red. Although, in the speed run, I didn't do any of that. Well, a few rides when I first built them or whatever, but... I didn't, uh, you know, I just opened them all en masse all at once. Oh, I need to launch this. It does actually have access to powered launch even without cheats, so... This is not a cheat. Let's make it red. And white here, and then... We can do blue and yellow trains instead of the red and yellow trains of the corkscrew. Oh, this needs to be red. No. Blue. Is it... Oh, and this needs to be yellow. Nice. So, what are the stats? Not available. Perfect stats. Aha. Well, if we lay these next to each other... I think it's easy to see which one has the better stats. And I don't think this is because of a stat penalty. I think the stand-up generally has that terrible an excitement rating. Or, no, no, that seems way too low. Does it have a stat penalty? I don't know. No, I don't think it does. Otherwise, the intensity would be crazy for this design. Huh, interesting. Wait, exploding pizza? What is exploding pizza? 
<laughs> got to deal with this. Can you put two corkscrews next to each other so they can kiss? Yes, I can. Um, for that, I do need to put the entry and exit on the other side. Otherwise, they don't kiss. And I can also synchronize them. That does work. Uh, now, corkscrew all the way around. Uh, might need to place it one closer. Kissing and Bikini Girls, YouTube clickbait already. I'm the perfect clickbaiter. <laughs> Honestly, I made a thumbnail. I was never intended on using it, but I did make a thumbnail for the 400 hours video. Where I had just the bikini ladies and 400 hours next to it. <laughs> I was like, I could, but I'm not going to. I don't, I didn't like it. <laughs> I, I thought that wasn't a great idea. But I totally could have. No, if I just set it to at first. Oh, they kiss. Isn't that cute? So wait until they go again. No. Oh. Now we're gonna make their tracks the same color, red for a heart. Let's make it a bit darker red. You know what? That's fine. And then we'll make these yellow and green. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that absolutely lovely? I'll make the queue a bit longer so that maybe they'll actually get some... Uh, Guess going on them. And full terrains. Um, I might need some staff. Do you remember 8 cars per trainer? I haven't used it a lot, but I did use it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't know a lot about it. Oh hey, we've beaten the scenario. What a surprise. It's kissing with guests. That's cute. That's very cute. It's the first video game mod I ever used. It was not my first, but definitely one of my first. I used Minecraft mods first, definitely, though. Can we bring back the merry-go-round arch? Sure. Why not? Um, sandbox mode. I need to get rid of this path. Now this is going to sound horrible, but it's going to be funny. So it's totally worth it. Uh, I know I want it there. And then. Uh, like that. And like that. It's only gonna be six this time, slightly different design. Um, like I could put another one, but that's not in the middle then. So this is fine. Um, then we're gonna go, no, I don't need to build another one. Okay, let's go. Oh, no entrance. It's all the way at the bottom. Can't see that from there. No entrance. No entrance. No entrance. No entrance. No entrance. Ooh, here we go. Um, and then we go. You know what? We shall make it all black. As black as we... No, you know what? We shall make it rainbow. Of course we shall make it rainbow. Um, Merry-Ground 3 is there. Then we need 2 to be... Purple. 
Uh, six is currently yellow. That needs to be yellow. Uh, seven needs to be green. Black needs to be blue. And blue needs to be orange. And then we're going to open them all. This is already quite a cacophony, isn't it? Well, they're all gonna have a little bit of a breakdown. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? With a motorcycle in the background. Uh, don't you love that? <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever heard. The sound of chaos. Hell yeah! <laughs> I've recently discovered your channel. You're creating awesome educational content. I'm happy you're enjoying it. Isn't this absolutely lovely? <laughs> It's back, baby. Um, building park with suggestions. Uh, 8, 2022. <laughs> Your guests clearly love it by judging how many are leaving. I know, right? Get ready for the constant merry ground hasn't been fixed. <laughs> All the mechanics are going for them, but they can't reach him. Make a Giga Wacky Worm. I don't know how the Wacky Worm goes, though. So I don't really know how to do that. The ladies are not helping. The ladies are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those pixelated faces. Don't you love that? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go to one and a half. <laughs> Make a barrel in 1898. I have no idea how that one goes either. <laughs> we can do some fun stuff. If we take, uh, for example, this. Oh, no, I don't want... Yeah, you know what? No entrance is quite good in this, actually. Um, if we take this... And then we put Berserk mode on it. That's always fun. Would you look at that? Isn't that the greatest ride you've ever seen? Now, what if we do that with three at the same time? And you can also go Berserk mode. And so can you. And let's switch up the colors just because we can. Isn't that wonderfully cursed? We're not done. We're not done. How about we put this one on space rings mode? Whatever that does. I don't know I don't know if that does much different, but it can never be wrong. <laughs> How many can you fit in there until you reach the sprite limit? Uh, about 60,000. 
So that's quite a lot. Now, what you can do, what's quite fun, is I'll need my auto clicker for this. There we go. And I'm gonna need a little bit more money for this. It's just built a lot of trees in the same position. At some point, you will see the lag go up and go up. Might take a little bit. I'm hoping that stream will have chapters added to it so we can find the different scenarios. I'm not sure if I can do one for every scenario. 146 chapters is a bit much. But I can definitely do one for every category. Yeah, you can already see the lag. It's a lot of trees. So, no lag. And it gets... Oh, it's not quite laggy. Only laggy when we place them. Let's do a few more. In the meantime, do you have some suggestions for what I could do next? I wonder what the density of the tree is. Well, it's quite high. I can tell you that. Okay, let's see. Do we keep the lag around now? Yeah, definitely. Spawn ducks, sure. Okay, how many trees is this? Oh, we didn't get money from it. Well, we'll never know. But we spent 136k on trees. And one tree is 30, so... That's a lot. Where are the ducks? There they are. Invading the park. Air powered vertical cars with high G-force with an observational ta observation tower car. Sure. Uh, we could do that one, but we could make a custom one as well. Which is much more fun. We we'll just immediately make it go like that. We've got four and a half thousand trees. Pretty nice. Okay, I want to go back to normal entrances, please. Let's go wooden. You know, why not? Why wouldn't you? Uh, observation tower cars. Double deck cabin? Yeah, I can do double deck cabin. There we go. Launch at a very high speed. 922. How does that work? It only goes up to about 200. But that's still pretty high. It records a lot of G forces. <laughs> and you know what? The guests will go on it anyway. Just because I said so. Well, only if I open it. Chairlift with swan boat. Okay, that, that could be funny. Oh, hey, all the ducks. Are there any more in other directions? Yes, there are. They're invading the chicken island. The ducks are invading. Give all guests balloons. Not a bad idea. Oh, there are quite a few guests here. I want more. Lots more. Build defenses. We already have defenses. We're literally frying birds here. We, we are frying chicken. We can also do ducks. That's absolutely perfectly fine. Oh, thank you for the 1000 yen. Bro, it's 2 a.m. Please let me go to bed. <laughs> you can go to bed, Jack, if you want to. You don't need to stay. You're more than welcome to stay. Click a duck. That's nice. Okay, we have 21,000 guests. It's, uh, we're dropping a few frames. Thanks for the stream and congrats on your accomplishment. Well, thank you, Kabouterpop. Number 19. <laughs> Alfred H. Ah, that's the wrong name. 
April Fool's video on ducks tomorrow. I'm gonna have to disappoint you. Tomorrow's not April Fool's. Unfortunately. Someone said something about... Oh wait, we're gonna do a chairlift with ducks, right? Yes. Uh, where was the chairlift? Right there. Uh, let's make this a normal entrance, please. Okay, we're just gonna go a little bit this way and then back. Oh, all the ducks. <laughs> it's madness. Welcome back, Yorg. I do remember your name. Yep, I'm still going. At some point, I will stop. Definitely before the 12 hour mark, so... Oh, whoops, we're building in the ground. Uh, because zero clearance is still on. Okay, and then we'll do that. On the other side. Swan boats on chairlift cars. I've never done that. But why not? Might be fun. Okay, let's make it go slightly faster. Although, looking at the swan boat, it doesn't really want to go much faster. So, yeah, I don't think that works. Okay. No, I messed that all up. Perfect. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Guests are going on it. Hell yeah. It's not going very fast, but... <laughs> this does look quite funny. I must say. And if we speed it up a bit, at some point... Uh, Guests will come along. There we go. There's one with guests. They're actually pedaling. Has anyone done the liminal space backroom scene park and RCT? The problem with the liminal space is that it's very dependent on first person or maybe third person. But an overhead view like this doesn't really work with liminal spaces. So you can sort of emulate it. Yeah, yeah you can do sort of you know, similar things, but not really. These guys are living the high life. It seems quite fun. Also quite dangerous, to be honest. How about the coaster that overlaps itself with zero clearance? You can do interesting things with it. Um, I have an idea. So if we... For example, no, we'll take... We'll take the twister for this. We're going to do zero clearance. Love how the guests have to pedal. Yeah, they have to work for their chairlift. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of launch lift hill. And... Oh, that fits perfectly. So what we can do is we can do that. And then we'll come around. And then we can go through it. That's a nice element. You could never do it in real life. But I like the element. They might crash if they kiss each other in that element. That would only be more fun though. Let's see, if we do minimum waiting time of... Hang on, if we quickly do this... And then minimum waiting time uh, of nothing. How far do we get? Like how close do we get? Okay, not quite on the kissing part. But they're quite close. What if I make this a little bit longer? Would that work? Let's see. 
Can you keep doing all bird flying themed rides? Maybe. So far we have a lot of non-bird themed rides though. Ooh, they're almost inside each other. This one needs to be like a few tiles longer. One, two... I think three. Okay, does that work? It looks really wonky, this loop, doesn't it? Okay, let's see how well timed this is. Hey! That was almost perfect. That was pretty damn good. Like, that was almost identical. It's not perfect because you don't have the same speed when going into the loop. Obviously, the one that goes into the second loop has lost quite a bit of speed. But it's still pretty well timed. And it won't work anymore if you get guests involved. So, you know. Did you expect them to crash? Sort of. Kind of. A little bit. I didn't really know. Can you please make a section of the park called Kartoffeln Land with any stall that sells any potato based thing and a potato quality coaster? I mean, potato quality coaster is just terrible quality. What are all the things that make potato things though? You have the chip stall. You have the... Where's my fry stall? Oh, the twister. Hang on. Okay, so they did collide. So they did collide, one of them didn't make the hill, and then the other one on the next time around crashed into it. That's what happened. Fun. Uh, let me select... ...all the stalls. There we go. Should have warned you about that. I mean, I kind of expected it, so... Okay, we have the chip shop. And the chip stall. That's everything that gives... Uh, that does potato-based things, right? So, that would be like... Two stalls and a bad coaster. And train that takes you to the corner of the map that you can't return from. I approve of that. I very much approve of that. I think... <laughs> look at them, I think they're stuck. I think they're quite stuck. <laughs> okay, let's build the train here. Let's not have zero clearance on when we don't need it. And then we'll make a little hell. Hey, they crashed again. Let's make them go once more. Nice chicken nuggy island. Why, thank you. By the way, we could use more chickens again. Oh, and, uh... Oops. I just reset the date. Could use more guests as well. It's a bit of a slideshow, but that's fine. That's fine. Everything is fine. Nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong at all. We're getting rich, baby. Nothing wrong with this at all. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. How many guests did I spawn? We're on 30k. Oh, I spawned 30,000 guests. We made a lot of money from that. Our weekly profit is... Uh, Quite insane. What did I come back to? The best park ever, baby. So 
31 degrees on March. Yeah, it's because I reset the date, but the temperature hasn't caught up yet. I didn't mean to reset the date, that was just an accident. Okay, we can just put this on shuttle mode. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of guests on Chicken Island. Hey, it's crashed again, alright, you know what? We're done with that. Um, if we just have one terrain... Then we can use shoot le mode. And they'll be shuttled around. Hey, where's the steam? Oh, there's the steam. Why is there only one steam thing? That's odd. Maybe it's because we have so many guests and it can't render everything. Or something like that. Uh... This one, this one doesn't need an entrance. Or, an ex uh, yeah, it doesn't need an entrance. But I'm going to keep one anyway, so that they hope that they'll eventually get out. But we know that they'll never get out. Because we are mean. No Kartoffel Island, maybe not. Okay, what can we put in the middle? A geisha. Why not? And then around it, baby Indian elephants. Is it me or are these like floating? These scenery items are floating. Okay, that's ugly. Uh, how about pandas? <laughs> it's not quite your standard issue hell. But it certainly would be... A bad place to be. This. I wouldn't want to be here for all of eternity. Uh, let's open this up. Jumping fountains. Think. Yeah, they're, they're lava jumping fountains now. So if you accidentally touch them, you burn. Call the right train way to hell. With two W's, just like you spelled it. Sure. Big toilet tower that has the maximum price. You know, I, I really appreciate the meme. I do. But the funny thing is no one will ever purchase that. Uh, but they will, I think, go up to it before they realize it's too expensive for them. Oh, yeah, wait, they can't go out of the park, so let's not make it go out of the park. Okay, that's too high. Uh, we need to go down a few so that I can place the toilet. And then disable support limits. There we go. We have done our toilet very high up. And they're already going towards it. It's not our only toilet, so let's remove this one. Ha 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 ha! Oh, I still need to make it expensive. Uh, 20. There we go. No plumbing? What do you mean? We have perfect plumbing in this toilet. Hang on. Oh yeah, scenery won oh, scenery won't go higher than this in this version. Whoops. But yeah, they all need to go to the bathroom. And they all have balloons! Disco balloons! There they come. <laughs> you don't see it when they're on the stairs. A little bit. Oh no, but it's when they're holding a balloon. Hang on, let me quickly win the scenario. So that they don't hold their balloon anymore. And let's also make them very nauseous and thirsty and hungry. I want them to be as miserable as possible. And there comes an astronaut! 
Uh, they're taking a very long time to clap now, and there comes a panda. <laughs> Look at how slow they're going. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's not ignore littering. I want puke everywhere. And I want no handyman. Let's see where we get puke. At some point we will no longer get puke. Because you can only have so much puke in a park. We can have a lot of these though. <laughs> Here comes the astronaut with an iron chair. Is that like a wrestling reference? Or something like that? More than a thousand entertainers. Look at them all coughing and throwing up. <laughs> It'll take forever because before they ever reach the toilet. They're so incredibly slow. <laughs> the disgusting state of the pods. What do you mean? Oops, wrong one. What do you mean? There's nothing disgusting about this. Yeah, as you see them all disappearing and appearing. That's because there can only be so many pukes rendered at once, so they appear and disappear immediately. Or something like that. How about an inaccessible circle of log cabin toilets? I think uh, one inaccessible toilet might be enough. It's first going to be visited by a load of entertainers, which are also not that fast. And then the first guest is Mr. Green, actually. Mr. Green is slightly ahead of Mr. Brown. Guest 26,060. Thank you for the five bucks, Dennis. Thanks for the nostalgia. Happy to provide. We have a lot of ducks. It's 8 p.m. I've officially been streaming for 10 hours. Hell yeah. My second longest stream ever. Very happy with this. From 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Did you not name it Third Khalifa? Is my memory terrible? I didn't see that. I can name it Third Khalifa, sure. Is it after the Burj Khalifa? Uh, how do I spell it? Is there an H in there? Yes, there is. Second longest stream ever, you say? Sounds like we have another world record to break. No, because the last stream was 12 hours, 3 minutes, and the last 8 minutes got cut off. So I'm definitely going to stop before 12 hours. If you kill 9999 guests, this guest 1000 or 100,000 appear or start back at 1. They just keep on counting. Like, this is guest 27,000. Um. If we go to page 4, we're on 50,000. It just keeps on going. And these are still going to the toilet. But they won't enter it. Because it's too expensive. Entertainers everywhere. Do another face review after the 12 hour mark. See how many life viewers you will get. I don't know. My goal of getting to a thousand with different content hasn't worked. We're at 460 now, so I'm glad that you're all hanging around, but uh, the stream is tapering off towards the end a little bit. But during the entire speedrun, we averaged like 600 viewers, which I'm very happy with. Someone will eventually become the 1 million visitor. I've gone to 10 million before. So yeah, that definitely happens. Many people are in my train corner. A few. They all need to go to the toilet as well, of course. I imagine there is an upper limit for the guest count. Like, there has to be some limit. But it's high enough that I've never reached it. It might be 214 million or 2 billion. Something like that. This has been such an amazing stream. I've loved hanging out watching you work your magic. Well, thank you.
those jumping fountains are nice. They sure are. These ladies are nice too. You know what? I think this is enough. I think we've done enough for today. This was a nice idea, but uh, yeah, I'm out of energy. I've reached 10 hours. I think that's a great mark to reach. But I think that this is enough. It was certainly a lot. Yes, it was. I thank you very, very much for watching, for being here, for um, watching the stream. Let me change the title back. Um, beating all 146 Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 scenarios in one sitting. Um, so that YouTube gets the correct title there before I end the stream. So, thank you very much for this. Thank you for all your support over the years. Um, you know, the, little, the bit of monetary support, obviously. That's ver I'm very appreciative of that. But what's much more important is just the support from me. You know, watching my stuff. You know, when things go not so well, just, you know, you keep watching after I return after a break. All the support. You know, the love for what I do. Being active in my community. I just... Yeah, I just appreciate that so much. So thank you very much. Darn everyone. No, I think this is a good end screen. Thank you very, very much. And uh, I will see you, well, maybe tomorrow on Twitch. Maybe on the YouTubes next week. I don't know. I'll see you sometime later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.